Greetings, fellow living organisms. I am the grey alien that Von took a shot at. And as promised, here's the video as to why he got his children removed. Now, CPS has taken Von's kids no less than 12 times. And I'll repeat, no less than 12 times. Child Protective Services are there for the children, but Von can't see that. Why were they taken away that many times? Well, just as an example, let's hear a report read by Von. Yesterday's pizza. It's got gnats and everything. No, it does not have gnats in it. Jesus Christ. Please take it to the kitchen. I'll take it in the And put your dirty napkins in the garbage. This is exactly why that you got your children took away from no mom it isn't yes it is there was no mention of the house at all sorry there wasn't no mention of the house at all sorry you failed once again you failed there was no mention of the fucking house no mention of the fucking house at all the home is cluttered to the point that it is difficult to find a place to sit and the surfaces i.e countertops tables coffee table etc are covered with dirty dishes dirty bottles and other stuff you will have to describe in detail what occurred in my home to cause my children to be at risk. Then request the court to order the release of the records. You know? Yeah, if I want to wait until they decide to do it. On 8-9-2011, the children were seen at the UK Grand Clinic, Grad Clinic and were once again diagnosed as failure to thrive. Their formula was changed, however, despite several prompts from worker had not contacted the WIC program to obtain the new formula. The parents seemed to be lackadaisical in the care of Jeremiah and the twin, as well as their older sibling, Layla. The parents had been observed feeding their children out of dirty bottles. The twins were often left to cry it out in their bed. They have been found in feces and urine on a regular basis. Layla is often left in the high chair or swing for hours at a time without any interaction. Wrong. Layla's left in the high chair in the swing to watch Fox News and her weather channel, which, by the way, she dearly loves. Children are receiving very little nurturing, despite the fact that I took my kids to Golden Corral the other day. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Yeah, well, yeah, I, guess if, I guess if you take your kids to Golden Corral, that's not nurturing, right, guys? Right? Mother appears to have some intellectual limitations. In other words, they're saying Andrea is stupid. It has been reported but not verified that the father is diagnosed schizophrenic. Um, the father, James, has boasted he has multiple weapons in, in the home, including knives and loaded guns, which include an SKS assault rifle. Haha, <laughs> I wish. And a handgun. These weapons are allowed, allow them to protect themselves from the aliens that will be invading Earth as soon as well as the haters. Invading Earth? Oh, look, that last time was just a little bit of a misunderstanding. That's all. The home is cluttered to the point that it is difficult to find a place to sit and the surfaces, i.e. countertops, tables, coffee table, etc., are covered with dirty dishes, dirty bottles, and other stuff. The family has no income. They are dependent on James's 83-year-old mother who lives next door to them. The children are at risk of harm due to the parents' failure to meet their needs. I saw neglect of not just the two infants, but also of the one-year-old baby as well. She was left in her high chair for the entire two and a half hours I was in the home for the first visit and in the two-hour second visit as well, other than when the 82-year-old grandmother got her out. The baby's charge for the hospital's uh, stay and the SN notes speak for themselves. The babies gained weight while in the hospital, at least one ounce per day of each of them. When they got home, they lost weight. The infants are six weeks old and have gained no weight since coming home. But, uh, they both had a rash when admitted to the hospital. The mother in stated that she stopped holding the other baby when she turned six months old. When SN arrived for a home visit, the parents went to bed and left SN to feed and clothe the babies. The infants were totally covered in feces and urine. So the infants were totally covered in feces and urine. The father was uh, defecating, uh, not defecating, but uh, throwing up uh, due to the fact that the infants were covered in feces. No, no. Again, home visit notes and hospital records speak for themselves. The baby's weight gain of one ounce per day while in the hospital shows they can thrive and placed in, in a better environment. Note from hospital stated that the parents were feeding babies clabbered milk in MD office during a visit 
and that was not aware it was spoiled, refused to feed babies in hospital, always had the reason that the nurses had to feed them. I feel the babies will suffer if left in the current home situation, possible life, possible life endangerment with dehydration and failure to thrive. So there you have it, read by James Von Elford himself. Now, he claims it was all made up. I somehow doubt that. Now, this is the bad part, folks. James had people in to clean the trailer. Uh, he claims at this particular time he was in bed ill. And the people that went in to clean actually took photos, mainly of the children's bedrooms. Be warned, it's not nice. So there we have one of the kids writing on the wall that they want food. And yeah, he is kind of neglectful when it comes to food and drink. There's the sink. Oh my god. The, and the bedroom. Now, from what I've heard, the kids used to actually defecate through the slats of the bed. This is because James used to lock them in the room while he was on the internet and didn't want to be disturbed. He's claiming that the people that came in and cleaned, they actually brought all this stuff with them and dumped it there and made it look like it was bad. Those people are the Frosts. Now, the Frosts are related to Vaughn. Their interest is purely in the children and Ma Helton. He can't see that. He is convinced that they are against him and trying to get him, I don't know, taken off the property, get his kids away from him. That is actually something on the floor that had been rotting for at least 21 days. Now, that's just a small bit of the story. There's other channels out there that go way more in depth. So, by all means, check them out. I have heard James go to his kids and say to drink Mountain Dew that was like a month old just because they wanted water and he didn't want to be disturbed. In my opinion, after being here for so long and observing you humans, Von Helden is a terrible father. I'm glad that CPS took them away. They deserve better. And you heard in the last video, they don't want to be with him anymore. They've made the right choice. So to finish off with folks, I've got a latest one where Vaughn shows his trailer after he has cleaned it up. And there's also something in there for the ladies. You can't turn your phone while I, oh, okay, my bad. Well, fiddle. All right, well, anyway, it's all good because now that I have a mobile device, first of all, as you can see, this is my, I just decided to throw a blanket over the bed, and there's that black comforter and that the dog loves to jump into, you know. And, of course, the trolls are like, yeah, man, ain't no comforter there. <laughs> ain't no comforter there. Well, apparently there is. All right, here's the filthy house that they keep claiming is filthy. Now, admittedly, I do have these cardboard boxes, but I got plans for them cardboard boxes. And like I said, I got some cardboard boxes that I'm storing clothes in. And I got a basket of clothes over there. But, you know, but yeah, this is, a, you know, I mean, it's just so horrible looking, right? You know, that's well, not, that's a lie. Now, I don't have the girls' room done. That's true. I don't have it done. But everything else is done, okay? These trolls are liars, okay? They lie. They lie at the drop of a hat and drop it themselves. And I wanted to show it you with my mobile device so they can't you know they can't say anything i got got me some food um this is the girl's room i ain't got it done yet admittedly but i'll have it done long before july 22nd that's for damn sure july 22nd's a whole fucking month away yet but anyway yeah they lie they lie like a, they lie like a dog you know what else is fucking new though right but yeah there's not as you can see there's not a damn thing wrong with this house okay but see, they'll call CPS, or they'll call Clay County, or they'll call the police, or they'll call, yeah, man, that house is destroyed. It's horrible. Oh, my God. The kids are going to die. It's a, it's a damn torture chamber. They actually said this trailer was a torture chamber. Can you believe that? They actually said that shit. They said that my trailer was a torture chamber. What the fuck, man? 
I mean, it's sure. And 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 the bitch of it is, Clay County actually believed him. <laughs> they called him one time. Said I said I had my kids locked in my cellar, and they actually come out and wanted to see my cellar. Can you believe that? And me living in a damn trailer. But they actually they actually floated that idea. Let me put that down. But yeah, they actually floated that idea. Let's see if I'm still. See if I'm still. Two twenty eight even. Wow, that's that's something. And I got some laundry to do. Well, big whoopty ship, you know. And I uh, got a whole bunch of dairies, uh and, and the girls' is clothes done. There they are. I gotta put them away yet. But yeah, it's not, you know, it's it, you know, they lie, man. They fucking lie. And why people listen to these fools and them not even know where in they, they don't they're not even in my damn state, you know. But don't listen to these idiots. I do have a piece. I don't know where them papers come from. I guess they came off the off the uh, shelving there. I'll have to get that took care of. But yeah, it's my my trailer's just so horrible, isn't it? Isn't it just horrible? Oh my god, just awful. You know. But it's a single wide trailer. What the fuck you expect, right? You know. Were you expecting the Taj Mahal? Because if you are, you're an idiot. Because it's a single wide trailer, built in 1971, folks. This trailer was built in 1971. Okay. I have the majority of my dishes done. I got a few dishes in there, but most of them are done. And there you have it, folks. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye. what's going on everybody thank you all for being here uh welcome to the show i have uh yeah cad monkey gavin kit cats uh, backstage so uh i know he's uh he's got some stuff going on so i'll uh i don't want to belay him if he's here uh so i'm gonna go ahead and uh anybody i sent a link out to i guess can go ahead and uh check it out uh uh, is this before or after he got the cleaning slugs? I'm not 100% sure. I think those came with the house, but we, we, we'll we have to find out. Um, uh, and I got more links to send out and shit like that. So anyway, uh, uh, let, me, let me go ahead and give a couple announcements, and then we will uh, go ahead and get into the stream because we have a lot of content to get through, guys. This is, this is dire. This is really dire. We are going to make sure we fully understand Vaughn's warning to us because he, he he really laid down the law. He's got a whole team of techno lawyers ready to strike at us. Anyone in the hater nation that uh, that he feels has wronged him or has played any of his content on their streams, he is going to take them down very soon. So we need to make sure that we... Take this content and look at it and make sure that it is uh, that it is the uh, the unsavory content we need to destroy and not the savory, wholesome Von Tent that we always enjoy. I hope everybody is clear in our mission tonight. And with that, I will get on with uh, a couple announcements and then bring our guests in after saying hi to the chat, of course, folks. And then... <laughs> And then we will get into it. Anyway, so uh, I got it. Uh, I will be on this guy, Widow Sun, tomorrow at 3 uh, p.m. Oh, excuse me. Before I begin, sorry. Uh, that was the great alien Vaughn took a shout at. Please subscribe to his channel. The, I want to thank him for 
letting me use that. I didn't really ask. I just did it. <laughs> but appreciate it for not like uh, striking me or anything like that. But uh, yeah, everybody go check out his videos. There's a lot more on there and he does great work. Uh, we'll probably watch a couple more just because they're funny. Uh, <laughs> so, but um, yeah, tomorrow I will be on Widow Sun at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time uh, for his 100th episode, I believe, of the Sanctum Sanctorum. Sanctorum? Sanctorum? Sorry, I always say Sanctorum. My bad. My bad, dude. <laughs> stop laughing at me backstage um speaking of which today yeah I'll, okay I, i'll get a link i'll get you a link um yeah i'll be on there to, tomorrow at three and then uh other than that probably uh just brunch on sunday i was planning on doing stream nostalgia but i got a little bit too much to do i might have to go uh to cleveland so hopefully that's in like the morning or the evening or i can just fucking stay overnight or something i don't know we'll figure it out but uh a uh, little, little long story short, go there, subscribe, hit the like button. Let's uh, get on with the the hellos to everyone. Thank you all for being here. Widow Sun, Pibathulu. Uh, oh yeah, Pibathulu. That that link is just basically horror stories from American buffets, and yeah, there it's that's essentially a golden corral. Just oh, go to any golden corral and remember those stories, and that's why you know regular folk. Don't go to Golden Corral. It's it's not it's not no. I like I'll cook at home. <laughs> anyway, uh, we got Gavin Kit Cats. Thank you for being here with the folks. Anybody with folks? Oh, did I say folks from Windows Sun? Man, I'm fucking up all on, all over the place. Uh, Mango dropping links. Thank you for being here. Security Mono Lizard, such a handsome young man. Uh, sometimes only when he feels good about himself. Uh, <laughs> uh donna murphy uh thank you for the your uh question so much and uh thank you for gavin for providing the answer it is before all righty thank you all to all of the lurkers and those who are just listening i appreciate you for always being here and uh those who are catching it later howdy I should always remember those folks so speaking of folks can i get a folks and another folks Thank you guys for being here. We got a root fruity satanic fruity and a cad monkey, both of which have links that will be dropped uh, very shortly. I think. Yes. Don't you? I don't, I don't really have a channel. So. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> dude, uh, watch out for Gavin Kit Kats. He's hilarious. So, there you go. All right. <laughs> hey, I was going to say real quick if you want to show my avatar up. Uh, can no, you show on. that full uh, screen if you want to see those talons from the other angle? Oh, uh, no, dude. I didn't. <laughs> I fucking should have let that sentence finish. Hell no, I don't want to see that. <laughs> that was so gross. <laughs> I did like the uh, talons for catching prey a little yeah. bit in there. Like, I did, I forgot about that. And uh, there's something that, that I noticed that I want to go back on before we begin, but uh. Let me uh let me send out uh a link and uh once we once we get through uh uh Vaughn's I couldn't remember his fucking name Von Helden's uh threats or excuse me his uh his uh, mission statement I guess towards the hater nation uh then I will I'll, I'll uh, put the link out and more people can come in uh, after that so uh, we shall do so and i'm gonna go ahead yeah since we're not watching that anymore and thank you for being here uh revolver burning mr fear hey all uh uh i'm going to bring the hammer to on vorn in the coming weeks please do i would love to see it also if uh if anybody is like knows whether or not that mic arm is coming to me or not i'd like to know that because excited but anyway <laughs> uh Peculiar Star, thank you for being here. Vaughn exploits old people, mentally ill children he created, and socialist agendas he hates, lol. And that is hitting the nail on the head, Peculiar Star. Thank you for being here. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and put on a little music in the background because my brain's like, hey, there's not enough noise. Also, uh, I wanted to do more Ukraine-Russia. I might, I might do that maybe late tomorrow night we'll see we'll see what happens i'm not 100 sure 
but uh, I do want to cover it more and go into a little bit more of it. Uh, oh man, if only we could play my my regular playlist so I could sing along. Sing. Sing a song. Sing it, lawn. Folks. Alrighty. Get out of here. Uh, uh oh. Okay. That's why. Sorry, I had it uh, synced up and then I had to restart my computer. So I apologize to the folks for the professionalism. This is how they do it in Lithuania. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Go on. <laughs> hey, man, I, I don't know. I thought it was weird. Look, guys, if you don't have a VPN, then, like, are you really cultured? Like, are you really traveling the world? I'm just saying, that's how I learned about this. Also, there totally aren't Russian hackers in my computer listening right now. So... Don't say anything. Just saying. Please, please don't get me killed. Um, so, <laughs> uh, real quick. Oh, <laughs> um, oh, damn it. Uh, Mango, can you put, uh, actually, I think I, did I save it? The, oh no, that's the StreamYard link. Can you put uh, the gray alien font took a shot at that video in the private chat so I can link it? Because I wanted to take a look at something real quick. I, I forgot. It's my frames. So. Uh, yeah, I can do that. Yeah. I, I have the timestamp and everything, so it'll be super quick. It's not not a whole huge deal. There it is. That's what I was doing. All right. Oops. Okay. Again, thank you all for being here. I appreciate it. Uh, hit that like button, hit the subscribe, share it around, do what you like, and uh, I'll shout you out as you pop in and I can see you. Uh, Bond needs safe spaces, invade and conquer them. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Ukraine, seem, your, Ukraine, Ukraine, Ukraine seems to be doing okay. I'm not keeping up on the news. Um, it's not good. Uh, so... Thank you very much, Mango. Yeah, I was watching some of that Funker mm -hmm. 530 today. Greetings, mm -hmm. fellow that's a, that's a great channel if anyone wants to kind of keep up to date on what's going on over there. Oh, yeah. Uh, Funker 530 has been around with combat footage forever, and they, they have a whole ass app. Uh, I was in, I was in there uh, or on their website earlier today, and, well, uh, if you guys remember that television tower that got hit uh it just seems like a little snap rocket hitting an antenna tower now that was like uh, an office building that's people were in there and around there and uh yeah uh if you guys really want to see that go to funker530.com or whatever but wasn't too great it's it's getting pretty bad now uh the last report that i heard or i that i saw was 9,000 Russian soldiers have been killed so far. Uh, I don't know on the Ukrainian side how many soldiers have been killed, let alone civilians. Um, but the death toll, I believe, in Iraq and Afghanistan over 20 years was somewhere around six to 8,000. So this, this is a different war. That's why I was saying so many times it's a conventional war. It's getting, it's really bad. And the fact that the the Russian government or the Russian military has targeted nuclear power plants. I mean, those, those are infrastructure to shut down the power in Ukraine, but they're targeting nuclear power plants. It's a whole, it's a fucking game changer. And even China has come out and been like, look, that's not the thing you do. Like, don't do that. We're actually worried about that even though they don't give a fuck because they want Taiwan. But, yeah, it's not it's not good, folks. Um, but uh, I think we can... Uh, we'll touch on that tomorrow, I think. And then, uh, yeah, 
in the meantime, let's uh let's focus in on this. Why don't we? <laughs> uh yeah. What's going on, KM? Hey KM. Stop and drive to spread, spread some love. And uh so has J Dub's banned and ship or no, 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 we got we definitely got J Dubs here. Uh Ukrainians kicking ass then. Yeah, the Ukrainians are holding out like a motherfucker. And uh it's it's actually going okay. As far as I know. But uh yeah, <laughs> it's fucking it's getting pretty wild anyway uh there's something that i wanted to take a quick uh, look at you know, but yeah this is uh, you know see. i mean it's just so horrible looking right you know That's there nice. yes That's yes it lot. is right there let me see i mean it's just so horrible looking right you know it's, yes it's awful That's let's not. see there the, the dog food yeah i'd say that's uh, that bag right there is probably like a $30 bag at Dollar General. And then each one of these is probably like a $15 bag. So he's got $60 worth of food for his fucking dogs. But the kid's got to drink stale Mountain Dew. And then he has the Chef Boyardee and the Yaki Soba sitting over by the bedrooms as though that's actual food. Mm -hmm. Well, see, this was, this was when the kids were gone, and he was showing everyone that he's been working on cleaning up the place so he can get the kids back. Like, how... how I, um, I'll tell you, I, I, I live in a single wide. It's not that hard to clean. Like, yeah. It gets dirty, but it's not that hard to fucking Oh, that's clean. the crazy thing. He's he's had nearly two years with his kids being gone, and that, that's one of the big comments everyone has is, well, you've had two years, and he's shown recent videos of his trailer, and it's just a, it's a pigsty. It's just a mess. It hasn't yeah. changed at all. It's like, so what? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, P. Thulu said it earlier. He's like, I guarantee that sink hasn't changed. And if he's no. been through recently, no, it, it hasn't. I guarantee well, you. Well, and Secular brought up a good point, too, that all, all he eats is out of those Schwann, those frozen meals. True. So he's clearly not using dishes. So yeah, are those so... are those the same dishes from two years ago? I'm betting that they are at this point because, I mean, it's he possible. was given all of this time to change everything. He was given all of this time to actually clean. But images of his sink that we've seen in his live streams before because he sets up right near the sink. Mm -hmm. it The pile has grown bigger in two years. And I'm betting all of his dishes are in there. Or in the fridge, yeah. just like rotting away. I I can't imagine what that fridge smells like. Like, yeah, let alone the house. I mean, that his bedroom, think about it. So if the reason we put sheets on the bed is to catch all of the stuff that falls off of our body that we don't want to go into the mattress. So we let the mattress last longer through that. If you don't put sheets on your bed, your mattress is going to wear down. It's going to stink longer. It's going to get a lot more of your skin and your sweat and everything in it. And Vaughn has never had sheets on that bed, nor has he ever gotten a new bed. So I can only imagine how disgusting, dirty that thing, like just the, the smell emanating from that room must just fill the house. Especially when he like right. is on his mobile and he's walking into his room. You can see on the bed the like brown outline of where he lays and oh, that's yeah. fucking I, disgusting. I, I think that's like no, right I don't after have this, isn't it? Done. That's true. Oh, no, this is, uh, he's done it multiple times. Everything else is done on various okay. streams. These trolls are liars. Okay, they lie. Uh, they lie at the drop of a hat. I was looking for the. Well, I was looking for the one in in and this particular because he does get a good shot of this. Yeah, there yeah. it is. He goes back into his room. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he does get a they good shot of one time. But like, look at the corner of that bed. Look how brown that shit is. It's. And you can tell, like, you see, like, it, I don't know if this is the camera or what, but, like, you can kind of see how it's, like, a little brown over here. What fucking side of the bed does this asshole get up on? He gets over, fucking leans over to the corner of the bed and kicks himself up to go get, you know, snossages or something. Like, well, to, to add to it, he, I'm sure Midnight sleeps in the bed with him and he's never bathed that dog. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. No. That poor fucking dog. That dog's got to be so fucking, just like, not even. Not, I want to. I want to say mangy, but that actually 
implies it has mange, which is totally different. But well, uh, <laughs> and, and, and people that have been to the property and talked about all the dog shit under the trailer and all those dogs are running in and out of there. And oh, so yeah. Midnight's come, going in and out of that trailer, probably all covered in shit and then climbs yep. into that bed with them. Yep. Guaranteed. Like all the just the the ugh, everything <laughs> under the trailer gets on the dog and then gets in. <laughs> And he lives in Kentucky, <laughs> where it gets humid as shit all the time. So all of that humidity is, you know, getting trapped underneath that trailer with all of that dog shit. So the entire yep. property is just destroyed. Oh yeah, like yeah, I, I wouldn't doubt if a, uh, if they had an inspector come by and he was just like, well, you either got to replace the whole floor or just get rid of the damn trailer. Frost would probably just be like, fuck it throw this piece of shit out like uh, it, there's no use in you know putting money into it we just want to get rid of it and that's been their their theme for the longest ass time it's just like we're just so goddamn done with this motherfucker we're ready for we're ready for the comeuppance and um i guess the 15th is coming around so if his techno lawyers don't uh take down hater nation first of course <laughs> yeah and yes of course uh hashtag keep von kid von's kids safe they um uh, they definitely need to be in their their foster parents home or their well their real real parents home at this point like, people that actually give a shit like, exactly um what's going on chris the butterfly uh i can hear that mattress begging for a protector all the way up here in canada <laughs> 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 Well, well, he's in Kentucky, so even if you're on the border, that's pretty impressive. <laughs> um, Vaughn's gonna curl up, uh, curl up like something in his fridge and go away. Yeah, he's just gonna fucking shrivel out. He's a fucking disgusting. He's a worm. Ugh. Uh, what's going on, Sydney? Thank you for being here. Said I said I had my kids uh, locked in my cellar. And they no, you had your kids locked in the rooms. We saw the the locks. All right, so <laughs> I think we. Um, so anybody that wants to go to Gray Alien, Vaughn took a shot at. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to his channel so that the next time he puts out a video, you can comment on that video and be like, "Hey, you. I don't think you should have all of this Vaughn tent up. Please don't put it up." And then hit the like button to make sure you get his attention. Oh, uh, it's Lucian... really important. In the chat is absolutely correct. Larry Frost did go on a stream recently and say that uh, they did establish an executor for the will. And so anything having to do with evicting Vaughn, making sure all the property's good is out of his hands. Yeah. So, okay. so, so Jim Frost is the executor of the estate. And so yeah. he's got po power to, you know, secure the property, to be involved with the selling of it. If that's what they decide to do. To help okay. man to help manage the trust that that money or the properties will go into. Okay, that okay, that makes more sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah so basically, it's just they're basically letting the the law handle it, of kind of as a kind of like a third party handling it. Yep. Sort of. Yeah. That's that's good. Because I mean, the, I guarantee. Yeah. Like I said, the frost don't want to deal with this shit anymore. But thank you, Lucian. I really appreciate that. Uh, uh, clarification. Go ahead. Sorry, I mean Oh no, I'm done. <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> sorry. All right. So, hey Sydney. Um, <laughs> what's going on, Sydney? Everybody, hearts in the chat for Sydney. Um, uh, it's called probate. Yeah. I'm... Uh, well, there's okay. So there is probate court, but there is also a separate executor for the will. And in this case, Larry Frost has stated that the executor for the will is not him. It's it is it's, his uncle Jim. It's, yeah, it's it's Jim Frost. Okay. And yeah. and the, and the time the time for all probate's right, over right. anyway. The, the the will was official. It was read and and sealed by a judge. So I mean, the time the time yeah. to even contest the will is already over. There's nothing Bond can do about it. Yeah, okay. it's just that the executorship, once the will was established, probate was over, everything like that, it switched yep. hands over to Jim. Okay, yeah, that that makes sense. It, um, it, it makes sense for them to have one person just handle everything rather than the whole family being involved. Because I know, 
I know they just don't want to talk about it for the most part. Um, that's that's the feeling I get. So having one dude you just be like, all right, we're going to do this. All right, we're going to do this. All right, we're going to do that. It's probably way better, way more pain or yeah, way less pain for them. But Well, and that was part of why they went and locked uh, Ma's trailer was to protect the assets. Yeah. He's legally, legally yeah. obligated to protect the assets under that trust. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I, I know like that i know that that was a that's a very nice house i yeah, would for, fucking kill for that house yeah, she took good care of that oh yeah and one of the one of the things is someone pointed out you know oh she's got all these chairs yeah because she had people over because she was you know a social animal like a human <laughs> like the, you know like she regularly she still, had family and old yeah. friends and whoever over and yeah. her family the frosts they helped keep the house clean because she was a 90 right. plus year old woman right so of course it was immaculate yeah and it, it's like it, it, i mean that house is so nice sorry <laughs> but like <laughs> yeah and it, it, it just kind of uh, i'm just so glad they, they were able to change the locks because if vaughn actually did get in there for any significant period of time that place would have just been torn apart i mean just looking in there when he was walking through there was already shit all over the place like he was already like moving in yeah that, that would have been such an insult to his mother what a slap in the face to go in there and just trash yeah. her house you know it, it, like i mean as if leaving her on the floor to die wasn't well, an insult i mean that's enough, bad you know <laughs> that's like <laughs> i'm just saying to add, one insult, thing. to add insult yeah, he, to injury Exactly, she's already gone yeah. and then you go yeah. in there and just destroy what she you know yeah, loved and bad maintained. enough yeah yeah he did he just doesn't give a fuck it's all yeah. about vaughn that's all it's all about little irvy always been that fucking way and i was i was i've been listening to this at work uh i think it was vila covering uh Vaughn, also subscribe to Vila. We started really late, so she's in bed. I want her to come on. Unfortunately, she she's like, uh, it's two a.m. <laughs> I was like, okay. Uh, <laughs> so, but they were pointing out how dirty his hands are, and I I didn't get the chance to look at it because again I was at work. But like looking at his hands, yeah, they're fucking disgusting. Yeah, and, and they've been getting worse. Like, dirt. if you watch some of his videos from even a year ago, they weren't dirty like that. So I don't, I don't know what he's been up to, where his hands are just. It's like he's been rubbing them in the dirt or something. I don't know. I wonder. I wonder if it's either like his, uh, like the foam and stuff, like the yeah, like the paint and everything coming off on his hands, or if he's doing some dumbass weird ritual by like rubbing dirt in the hands well, and praying to the gods he, that he has he him. has he has said on a stream somewhere that he, he quote unquote grounds himself so he goes out and sticks his hands in the dirt oh yeah i totally forgot about that and I like totally i forgot I about the know grounding. He did that. Oh. yeah and like I, I i get that whole thing i'm i'm not into the woo woo but i know people right. are but if you're gonna do that, cool. Do do you? But go wash your damn hands when you're done. Like it takes yeah. a second. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I I've told Mango. I go. Excuse me. Her Majesty the Lasagna Princess. I thank you. I apologize. I. <laughs> I missed your. I missed your. Um, what is it? Coronation. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> so. You reviewed uh, my coronation. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but I, I'm still on the. I know you a little. I don't know you a little more personally than uh, from before your, you know, status change. So, <laughs> but, um, anyway, what was I talking about? You were talking to me about something. Oh yeah, going to the, the uh, uh, going to the woods because I've been bitching about how I really want thousand subscribers to go to the woods and be able to like look at the rocks because i've i have a rock collection i look at fossils i've i've found fossils all over the place i cut rocks for my uh uh etsy store and stuff like that so just i can understand i can understand going out and like getting your hands in the dirt and actually looking at nature and seeing things and touching fucking grass once in a while 
because uh yeah guys once in a while go touch some grass if you really need to know like how badly some people need to do it go look at the prager you comments it's, it's pretty bad uh, but but i always wash my hands i'll wash them you know in the river obviously because it's the only water there but i'm not just gonna leave mud and dirt and sand all over my hands and you know i'm going to wash my hands when i get home i'm not gonna go and grab a sandwich and eat with my hands i'm gonna wash them and then try not to get any fucking amoebas in my gut you know <laughs> but <laughs> or your brain. maybe uh but oh revolver bernie Ew. it if he's on well water and he has power, then he should have running water. Do we know for sure yeah. that he doesn't? Well, I know Larry said that there's water leaking. There's some pipe leakage under that trailer, which makes the, the dog poo even more disgusting. But I didn't know yeah. he didn't have water. I Yeah, I, I didn't know, know either. Yeah. Um, it's crazy. I have no idea. I don't. I don't know if anybody can confirm that. If he doesn't if he doesn't have running water right now it kind of checks out with what we're about to see because there's a part in here that i uh that i want to point out it's it's kind of what made me point to his hands so we'll get into that um but people do says touch grass i can't keep my fucking gra yard grass down <laughs> after all the rain here well um i didn't actually know there was a flood and shit are, in are you in the flood Australia. zone yeah Oh man, there's massive flooding down there right now. Oh yeah, I um, who was it? Uh, Doggo in in the Discord was like, "Yo, check this out." And I was like, "Oh fuck!" Yeah, I didn't even realize it was happening. I was trying to cover the fucking war. Now yeah, I've got I've got some friends over there, and it's crazy. Yeah, yeah, that's fucking ridiculous, dude. I just the picture I saw was, just, I mean, it's devastating. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, people do actually. Why don't you have a link? Anyway, so let's go ahead and get into this. Um, I'm going to speed it up because both of these fucking idiots are, are really dumb. And I, I got to the point where Vaughn actually gets triggered. And, uh, excuse me, um, let's, let's, us, <laughs> let's lose his, uh, his plan on, unto us. So uh, let's let's see this. I did. I admit that. I freely admit it. It's like, why the fuck do you guys have me taking real estate law? I didn't know back then that I would be down here and that I would need that shit. Well, surprise, surprise. The gods knew years ago that I would need real Weird. estate I, law when I got I here so that I could handle this property. Surprise, people. surprise. Okay, so. Now the trolls are saying, it. now the trolls are saying, beware of March 15th. What's going to well, happen? I don't give a damn what they're saying, beware of. I don't care. About now they were saying, beware. they were saying like months ago that something was going to happen. Nothing happened. It was all it was all jack. It was all shit. BS, right. It was right. all BS, malarkey. Bubba right. Meister. All malarkey, right. It was Correct. Bupkis, as they say in Yiddish, Bupkis. Yeah, yeah Bupkis, right. Now yeah. they're making up a new date out of their Tukis. Oh man. I don't care event. how many dates they, they can come up with hundred dates. That ain't gonna change the law. No. The law is not gonna change to conform to a bunch oh. of goddamn YouTube trolls. Sorry. Folks, folks, okay. this is the law. law. Like I said, we're getting into quite, it. It's quite clear. All right. Get your, I don't get your steno pads out. They pull out of their ass. I am the biological heir of this estate period end of story and i could show case after case after case after case where they've sold property to, to people and and given property to people and the biological heir comes along and says oh, that's my land get the fuck off and it doesn't work to, that way i have to give them the land it's that's, their that's land. not how the law works okay that's just and, um, and he, he keeps saying he has case after case after case well can you show us one just one they're, they're can you show us a drives. case where uh the the biological heir probably was not listed in the will at all and contested it and so they had to go through an entire court process if that's what you're thinking of you can't do that because you were listed in the will right and he's, he's lost all right to contest anything because he didn't show up for court yeah there there is yeah. there's a there's a period where you're able to contest but that's long gone yeah so Damn! Looks like uh, looks <laughs> like we're learning about the law here. <laughs> you know, you can get mad all you want, you can get pissed all you want, stomp your feet all you want, hold your breath until you turn blue. I don't give a flying fuck what you do. The law is still the law, and this is my land. It does not belong to the frost. It it doesn't belong to anyone now but me. Okay, you can't will land to a minor. He's Miners technically right about that. Can't. Land. Okay? You can will they land can't. to a minor. Sorry. No, I'm a trust, right? I I was yeah. saying he's he's 
kind of technically right about nobody owns the land. Yeah, it's locked in a trust. It's for the kids yeah. when they become whatever the age is. I don't know if it was 18 or 21. I think it's then they will. Yeah, th then they will inherit whatever is in that trust, whether they sell the property and leave money for them or whichever way it goes. But yeah. Yeah. The he, Frost don't like, own it. No. And it's kind of like, uh, kind of akin to money being an escrow. Hmm. Like it's just held, it's held in suspension. Nobody right. actually has it. It's just sort of like a third party is like, yeah, well, I'll hold on to this money so that when your guys' deal is confirmed and you've both signed on the dotted line, then I'll distribute the money to whomever to make sure that, you know, uh, the, the funds are there and that they are distributed properly. And that's essentially it. Yeah, and with someone being the executor of the will, since that land, everything is supposed to be trusted to the kids, the person that is in charge of it can be like, okay, I'm making the best decision for the kids and choose to sell off the land and put the money back into the trust or keep the land. Right. So it's essentially down to what is in the best interest of the kids. And Vaughn gets no say in that because, well, he doesn't even have them. Right. I mean, he, uh, do we know that he officially doesn't have any uh, parental rights? Or is he still, uh, is that still... Well we we know that he went to court we know that he had a bad court okay. day we know that his bad court day uh ended with him rage quitting miss parker's stream okay that was that was the same day all right yeah, i didn't know his, if that was the court case or his kids are officially case? his kids are officially Sorry. in in the custody of clay county they, they are not in his custody he is still the legal parent but he does not have custody Okay. Yeah, I, I guess my my question is whether or not his the uh, the his rights have not are, been terminated. So, but he doesn't necessarily have access to his rights. Uh, as a parent, he he gets visitation, like... but he doesn't take that visitation. He did it once. We've okay. seen video footage of him taking it. We've seen him on a bus going to a visitation, but otherwise, we know nothing of him taking any more of it. I don't I doubt he ever has. And I wouldn't I wouldn't doubt that like the kids are like, yeah, we don't want him to come here because we don't want to be on video. Like we don't want him to put us on camera again or we don't want to be on the internet. Like fuck off. Because the kids are old enough at this point that they're conscious of what's going on around them, you know. I don't know. But uh, yeah, Toby Memes agrees. Uh, he gets visitation, I believe. And yeah, I'm glad he doesn't take that visitation because honestly, yeah, it's... It, it, go ahead, sorry. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, you're, you're good. I was going to say, he, he, he there, there is a video out there of him with his kids during one of those visitations, but I think he's only been once yeah. or twice because there was that yeah, video uh, Ma Mango was talking about where he was on a bus. But those are the only two times that I can think of where he has actual evidence that he's ever gone. Yeah, I I don't think I've I think that's the only because I know Vila sent me one a mm. long time ago because she and I did like a long ass stream about Vaughn, and he has done so much fuck shit and there's just I don't know yeah I've seen the one video I've never seen the bus video but I feel like there Vaughn Vaughn does have some uh situational awareness once in a while like when uh andrea was on the last time and he was like he's like no no no, we can't talk about that we'll go through you know whoever the their lawyer or whatever the fucking person was because he knows like oh no, no no i can't do that i'll i'll get fucked hard so i imagine that like he's got some kind of agreement like even if he does visit there's no real evidence of it because the I I'm sure the foster parents because I don't even know all I know is that there are just these vague entities called the foster parents that's it and I'm pretty sure they're just sort of like not internet people I mean even if they that way. if they were internet people you know there are certain laws and regulations around like posting foster children on the internet 
Mm -hmm. uh, it varies state by state. You would have to talk to your individual caseworker to know what those laws are. So, I mean, it's entirely possible that they just don't do it. They don't post them, but they have them. That makes a lot of sense. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't understand what the laws are. Or I don't know what the laws are. Their intricacies either. So it's, I don't know. It's, it, that's why people focus on one aspect of the law and you always get a lawyer. Lawyers get lawyers for court, <laughs> folks. Because mm -hmm. yeah. like, it, they, everything makes sense. It's just like, I, I can't, you can't tell from what he's saying. And what he's actually doing what's going on fully in the background especially with his kids because that's such a touchy subject and to delve too deep into it gets it starts getting weird if you're like okay well what are the kids up to it's like no, no, no they're going to school having friends that's it that's what they're up to that's what we care about so uh hippie code that's not necessarily true because there are cases where the biological parents can give foster parents permission to post videos and pictures of the kids and go through the caseworker to make sure everything they post is on the up and up and sometimes it's just completely against the law it all varies state by state county by county check with a check with a lawyer find out go online check with your your state and everything and find out what the laws are because It'll be very beneficial to you, especially if you're doing any kind of recording, because that's one thing I had to, I had to learn. And, uh, well, I was in the National Guard, so it didn't, didn't apply to me, really. I can film you if I wanted. <laughs> Hashtag federal government. Anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, Chris Butterfly, SML, you should look up the most targeted citizen. He believes government officials are sending drones and vehicles to spy on him, and he has he has convinced his young son of the same. Krista, I I just had this conversation with the lasagna princess the other day. <laughs> I can't, I honestly cannot watch that guy. When Secular turns him on, I'm just like, okay, well, I'm going to come back when it's like Vaughn or someone else. So, like Cyrax gets really fucking annoying because he's just so, fuck you. What is it? Uh, uh, who's his uh shut the fuck up marty yeah marty <laughs> shut the fuck up marty fuck you marty I'll, I'll come for you and he's just like what are you yelling about and there's two other calm guys like damn dude you need to chill the fuck out <laughs> fuck you marty you fucked my life up you you made my youtube it's like well just get off you why are you on youtube still <laughs> what? well he's left and come back like 13 oh, yeah, 14 he's... times now he is not far from me, honestly. Um, and I mean, that like, that's location wise, that's unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> terrible. Luckily, never seen him. But uh, then again, but uh, yeah, the the most targeted citizen. I honestly, I don't, I can't watch that because um, how did I how did I explain it? Like, it's extremely frustrating to to watch this guy and see him not take personal responsibility for anything in his life he's always so adamant about literally everyone else doing something and he's manipulated his son like listening to his son is one of the most heartbreaking fucking things because his son is just repeating what his dad says and yeah the, yeah I don't, I don't like watching him either and that that's what yeah. changed it for me as well when he started having the videos with his kid and his kids just repeating oh, whatever yeah. his dad told him but... yeah and the the uh the biggest problem I have is the fact that he has a, he does have some kind of serious mental illness that needs to be treated. So like, I don't feel right watching him on stream, like going after him simply because this guy needs help. He seriously needs help and he's just not getting it. Whether that's his choice or not, uh, I don't know. doesn't really matter, but it's just not something I can stomach, honestly. <laughs> it's like like oh, oh like i get it i i get why people are enthralled by him because it is very interesting to just watch somebody never never take responsibility it's fucking weird <laughs> but it's just in such an extreme case other than these idiots but uh 
Uh, that all aside, uh, welcome, Widow Son. Thank you for being here. Folks! Uh, hey, Widow. Folks! Can we get some folks in the chat? Um, How so is hello. everyone? <laughs> Doing well, thank you. Good to Super see you again, Mango. Tomorrow. I will thank you. Thank you. Super excited for every uh, for everyone to come and hang out with us. Uh, oh, yeah, it's gonna be fun. I can't wait for it. <laughs> oh, uh, I have an answer to uh, Lucian. Uh, the punishment for a green card marriage is no more than five years jail time or no more than a two hundred fifty thousand dollar fine. Ouch. Yeah, how many of those go to prosecution? Right. Yeah. I mean, there, those there's are, a those lot are of usually stuff that's that out. involved. Uh, you usually yeah. have immigration lawyers that deal with everything after the green card is given, and they do regular checkups and stuff. And it's very, very rare that one will go to trial, but it's happened before. Yeah. My guess is the government would be more willing to rely on deportation than, you know any kind of long battle or fines or anything like that. It's just like, yeah, well, it costs us 5,700 bucks to send your wife or husband back over the border. And then you can take all the fees trying to get them back, you know, through, or we could spend, you know, a hundred thousand dollars trying to get that 50,000. You're going to end up paying us in 20 years. You know, something like that. But, uh, Urchin Quay. Let's uh let's continue on because Vaughn has yet to unleash the uh techno right. And every day an that I can't access that double wide over there, that is grand theft. And grand no, theft it's not the felony, and those felonies do stack. They no. do stack. And that and that double wide's been locked how many You're days right. now? <laughs> that that double wide's been locked how many days now since last Thursday? Or or what maybe what maybe it's been over has it... the problem is is it's one action right so the felony would be locking you out of the property well and he has no legal right to the property so the, the whole oh. thing is you know but i mean you the, good, the, you good widow son well the the, right. the thing about it is is that he doesn't seem to quite grasp the concept that he's not the executor of the estate so therefore he has no say um it's bad enough that he had medical power of attorney and he did nothing um yeah. so this soon to be homeless homeless hillbilly hobo here um thinks that he's going to get the upper hand on somebody and he has nothing he knows he has nothing, but he has to continue to perpetuate that everything is going to work in his favor because if he doesn't, then he's going to look weak and he knows everybody's got him, which they already do, but he just can't accept that. I mean, this piece of shit has been running his mouth on the goddamn internet for so long with his bullshit conspiracy theories, and then he lets his fucking mother lay in the fucking floor for God knows how many hours, and now she is no longer here. Fuck you, Vaughn. Fuck you, bro. I actually think yeah. in his private matter stream, he did say how long he left her. I did send you the link, Lizard. Oh, yeah. We're, well, we're going to get into that right after this. Thank you. I'm, the I'm is... sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to rant like that. But... No, it's okay. No, you're good, dude. The problem is his story has changed multiple times. He's oh, told yeah. that story several mm -hmm. times, and it's always a bit different. So it's hard to tell what the truth actually is. I well, think I mean, the truth I, came out in the first stream that he did about it, like the day yeah. after it happened, quite literally. Yeah. And that's the one that we get to look I, at, and it's exciting. I would tend to I would tend to believe that one more than the others after he's had time to revise his yeah. story. Right. I I totally agree with that, and and I mean. There's always some little consistencies in there. It's it, and the things that he changes, you can pretty much just dismiss and be like, okay, well, those are the things that he's trying to fix to save himself, rather than looking at, you know, it, they're just they're red herrings, they're distractions. If you know, you honestly, I think that one. I think Vaughn has a has a tell. Um, if we want to put it in like poker terms. Um, I think the hair, when he messes with his hair like he does, mm -hmm. I think that's 
that's his tail. Or when you he know, starts yeah. rub, rubbing his hands together. Exactly. Oh, that, yeah. th those are his tails. He knows that he's about to blatantly lie, and he can't. Mm -hmm. He can't play it off. Just like you yeah. either fuck with your hair or rub your hands together, you're giving yourself away right there. If this was poker, I would have already beaten you multiple times. Uh, which I mean, uh, I mean, it, a, a fucking cat turd would beat him intellectually anyway. So. Uh, yeah, fucking you're what's interesting is you're like you see Vaughn and you and I don't talk about Vaughn like ever. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like we we don't really communicate. You've picked all of this stuff up. You just you're just picking this up from your own observation. Exactly. Like see, it's, it's and you're not the only person to do that. Basically, anybody that watches Vaughn is like. Yeah, he's like, wow, he's about, he's getting frustrated. He's about to lie or something. He's about to say something because he's rubbing through his fucking greasy ass hair. Which, yeah, we'll, we'll, we're about to get into that. But uh, let's let's continue on with the video a little bit. And um, uh, Wilson yeah, wanted to come in, so he's got a link. It's been more than a week. Uh, it's, been, it's been like two. Once weeks. we get through this like video, okay, I'm going to actually put the link in the chat stacked. as well. Okay, so uh, for those folks that want to come in, um, yeah, I don't see anybody. It's not how that works at all. Though. Not even on good behavior. But I mean, you could try, you know. <laughs> I don't think it's going to work, but you could try. But, uh, but are yeah, you I ready mean, for are you I ready for prison, Vaughn? That's yeah. what I want to know. That's grand theft, okay? Ask any real estate agent. That is theft. I cannot access my shit. I no, it's my name not. in that house because they changed Bring, uh, bring that up in a little I bit. I them in advance. I said, don't uh, do it, don't do it, don't do it. Which one? They didn't the, listen about going to prison. Okay, so they got no excuse. They have absolutely no excuse. Bring that up in a little bit. Every day I can't get in that double wide. But I want to talk about that. Grand theft. Grand theft. Grand theft. Every day. Every day. And I got StreamYard. StreamYard, or not StreamYard, excuse me, uh, Steam, or uh, shit, not Steam either. Uh, Spectrum. <laughs> I'll say it right. Spectrum, my cable company, is in there saying, hey, man, you got to get in there. You got to get in there. You got to get in there. And I keep saying, I can't get in there. I can't get in there. I can't get in there. So Steam, uh, or uh, 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 Spectrum, may get involved. What up, Wilson? At my behest, because I keep trying How to get in How's the, the, how's the ocean these days? So, so Spectrum may actually get involved. Fast. As well. On my behalf, <laughs> because I keep going. <laughs> How's it going, I'm Wilson? Doing it. I'm doing it. Howdy. You can't get into it. And uh, so, Damn, you fucking... know, uh, uh, Spectrum may actually me, get involved Me, as well. Wilson, so and Cyrex all we got Spectrum, and in, uh, whatever the same else area, is, and we, uh, uh, we hang out all the time. Well, the gods. That's true. Well, the gods are overseeing all this. What's going like, on, you know, like I said, the gods told me, they said, don't like, do anything, oh, stay out of it, don't do anything. Oh, you are forgiven. Stay out of it. You got this covered. Well, apparently they do. Apparently the gods definitely have it covered, and so you know the. Uh, can I get uh, a hashtag? Vaughn's gods hate him in the chat. That because. Oh, oh, oh! I know. this see like this like, reminds me of a conversation I had with uh, Tav about you know beliefs. Normally, I don't give a shit what people believe. If you believe in God or gods, I, I normally don't care. But the way that Vaughn describes his relationship with his gods, it makes him sound like a cult leader. That that's been not I've I've kind of observed that. I mean, being someone who does read and study philosophy, it just irritates the absolute piss out of me the way he would disrespect a belief such as paganism. Um, it's I'm like, dude, you're using this as a mean for selfish ends. And if you supposedly know anything about this particular subject, you know that if you use something like this against someone else, that it's definitely going to come back at you and it's going to come back at you hard. And that's exactly what's what has hit. I mean, philosophically, yes, that is in fact what has occurred at this point. But I mean, Jesus Christ, man! Well, I, I don't believe for a second that Vaughn is an actual pagan. Oh, I don't either. Not for one fucking second. Uh, because, I mean, go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry. Well, for those of us who might be you know privy to this information, uh, one of the first reasons why Vaughn changed his name. From you know Irvin Eugene Helton Jr. Originally, he changed his name to James Paul. 
okay. he did that while his father was still alive because he was going under the auspices of the Reverend James Paul. Oh God! He he was trying to pro- proclaim himself as being you know a minister. Oh, yeah, he's what? a Christian that larps as a pagan. Yes. He administers that, bullshit. That's all he fucking does. Like <laughs> it's the same reason why, you know, whenever someone like tries to appeal to any sort of religion, the first thing he goes to is the Bible. Hmm. I, I don't think for that's, a second that he ever actually stopped being a Christian. That's I a just good point. I, he, I never noticed that. But go ahead, yeah. sorry. Well, I mean, yeah. look at the two people oh. that we we're looking at right now. Uh, we're looking at you know a, a fucking mouth breather who eats on camera, who changes religions the same way most people change socks. <laughs> he was a Christian. Yeah. He was a Jew. He was a Muslim. Uh, next, he's probably going to be a Buddhist. Yeah, and as long as he can that, you know, buy another wife, like him switching religions like that, doesn't piss me off as much as his uh, fake ass fucking Brooklyn Yiddish. It's just like a he's in Jew face. <laughs> is is that accurate? Yeah. That, yeah. That like sounds it's right. it's I find it like racist and offensive every time he speaks. J Dubs is desperately trying to be Mel Brooks. J Dubs is talentless and boring. Mel Brooks was fucking charismatic and hilarious. Yeah. Jay Dubs, die, please. Just just explode in front of me. I find it hilarious. I don't care if I get fucking space aids from you. Just please do it. I don't... What the fuck? <laughs> I really just hate this guy. I really just hate him. He's just a, such a there's piece your, of shit. <laughs> there's, your, there's your next t-shirt. Space AIDS. <laughs> like I, I can't hate J Dubs because I, I I couldn't give two shits less about him. I mean, I mean we're I just, talking about a guy that you know, Vaughn. Like he legit get trolled. J Dubs has to lie about being trolled. That's fair because nobody gives a fuck. Who the fuck would troll J Dubs? He's an idiot. He's just. I mean, he. he who cares? Who cares what he has to say? I guess he's a fucking vacuum of humor. Oh my god! Well, yeah. That's... Well, I was gonna, I was gonna say too. That's a, a lot of these lulz cows. What they have in common is a lack of any kind of personality, and that's why they're always trying to grab onto something else. And they're, they're, they're obviously pretending. Extreme you know, lack of self awareness. Yeah. Look at Rev. Oh, yeah. Look at Shani. Look at, look at any of these guys. Oh, Rev is a main prime example of that. See, I disagree because you know you look at Vaughn, you look at J, you, know, you look at Rev, you look at Shani, look at G Man. They have a personality, and it's fucking detestable. J Dubs, he's nothing. He's fucking, he's plain yogurt. He's untoasted white bread. There is nothing to this man, and I'm using that term very fucking loosely. I, well, now, like a, it, it's like Lizard said, you know, I've been watching what I have of this, and I've listened to um, you, Wilson, and and Mud, and Grampy, and everybody talk about <clears throat> him, and I've just gathered my own conclusions. You know, um, J Dubs, I know nothing about, but I do know that he. Um, I, I have no words. I'll just put it that way. The reason that J-Dubs still exists on YouTube is because of Brett Keen. Let that sink in. That's the pissed true. off wrestler who never made it. Dude. You know, Honestly, J-Dubs I, was a Brett Keen fucking sycophant supplicant who would just nod along to whatever the fuck he said. J-Dubs is that person that... You know, you invite to dinner, and he literally brings nothing to the table. Yeah, it, I mean, they're look at like look at him, listen to him. What does he have? And that's you're talking about him gassing up Brett Keen. That's exact same thing he does with Von Helton. 
all the time. The only reason he's here, the only reason he lets Vaughn on here is because, honestly, Vaughn is his plaything. He just fucks with them. Well, Vaughn is the only reason anyone's even watching J Dubs at all. If it wasn't for Vaughn, who's watching? Who's watching J Dubs for J Dubs? Sure, you know. Yeah. No. no why? Who would? Uh, Will Kincaid. Well, okay. Yeah. You got. Oh, yeah. You got, okay. You got um, wow, Will let's... Kincaid. <laughs> yeah. Let's. <laughs> Can we? Okay. Who are, who watches him other than literal pond scum? And I'm sorry to any pawns scum out there that's watching. I don't mean to offend you. I just figured it's a <laughs> fairly low enough light for me. The, the one credit, I, the one credit I will give Will Kincaid is, yeah, Will opened his fucking eyes to fucking Vaughn, that he is a fucking online sexual predator and a negligent fucking father. Will being the fucking father that he is, yeah, he, he's kind of washed his hands of Vaughn. Even fucking with Vaughn, with him, it's kind of distasteful. So he basically, like, looked down and dusted the dirt off of the bar and walked over it. and was like, yes. Yeah. Done. Will and, Kincaid uh, for the win. <laughs> no, like, Will Kincaid is not for the win. Like, once again, Will Kincaid is an absolute vacuum of humor. Yeah, I mean, it's, I don't think there's any cow that's actually funny. Not on that, own, without no. being like unintentionally funny or us yes. on them. I, that was the correction i was gonna say on, is any like, girl most of the cows <laughs> are pretty funny but it's just unintentional g-man mm -hmm. is unintentionally funny yes rev is unintentionally funny right. shanny right. is unintentionally funny but it's the fact that they want to be taken seriously <laughs> Why is the fact that they want to be taken seriously so funny? That's just such because a weird psychological zero self awareness. Right? The sheer fact that these people have existed on YouTube for more than a decade and have fuck all to show for it, I think that's the reason. That is that's pretty goddamn good reason cuz yeah. uh, I mean just just pick one pick one out of the box and like it, we all do better on youtube anybody that i have known from my time streaming that has started streaming like after me or whatever is just doing so much better it's steady growth all the way and there's more people coming into the community. They're like, oh, hey, what's this? Oh, hey, what's that? Oh, hey, you're cool. Oh, I like this. Oh, I like, like, I like that. Meanwhile, these motherfuckers are plateaued at the same thousand people that are just like, they're like, oh, okay, well, I got 13 different sock accounts to uh, fuck with you on. So, yeah, I'm going to stay subbed so that, you know, when you go live, I know I'm at work and I work night shifts because your dumb ass gets up at 3.30 in the fucking morning to stream so nobody can contact you, which is, you know, the exact way you're supposed to do YouTube. Make sure you don't have an audience so that you can get the views. Well, like when you when you listen to Vaughn talk about like his 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 big channel back when he had like 16,000 subs. Which was... Oh, when? this was eight, almost a decade ago. Like this was right after the Kelly incident. I don't, I don't know much about the Kelly incident. Uh, Vaughn got uh, caught at you know trying to solicit nudes from someone he thought was a okay. sixteen. Oh yeah, 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 okay. I know about that. I didn't realize it was referred to as that. I uh, Vaughn's that. main, like his big channel, he had sixteen thousand subs. And this was before, like, the whole, like, adpocalypse to where, like, you had to be, like, you know, monetized. Right. Vaughn was making some money, but it wasn't much. No. At that point in time, I think in, like, 2016, maybe, he had claimed that over the course of three years, he had made $3,000 that he used to buy a 3d uh rendering software 
that he paid for, logged into it, and then updated his, updated his computer to where he couldn't log into it anymore. <laughs> oh my god. That's hilarious. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> oh no. He, did you say a $2,000 software? I think $3,000. Yeah. $3,000 software. And he locked himself out of it. I'll yep. tell you, if he still has that computer, if he has that fucking computer, Larry Frost, you know what you know what to do. Get to, get in contact. Postal iguana at gmail.com. I will mosey right on down, pick up fucking that computer and midnight and get them the fuck out of your life. I'll take it. I know a guy. <laughs> let's just say that which if he can't do it I, he knows a guy too so <laughs> yeah I, I yeah i know i know a guy that knows a guy that well <laughs> anyway eastern europe was a thing <laughs> um, <laughs> so no <laughs> all right so uh yeah software gets expensive but like three thousand dollar software to a, just like a a civilian like a consumer no nobody does this motherfucker nobody does that like i i want adobe but i'm not paying that much for their fucking software when i don't have time to edit well and and, and a little fun fact i i do computer-aided drafting for a living oh, um nice i've been doing that for 20 years and I will say I, I I've dabbled with some of the 3D stuff, and um, it's not something you just pick up and learn. I mean, it takes it, most of that software, especially if it's one of those ones that did cost three thousand dollars, because th there are software suites out there that cost three times that. But uh, yeah, it's not something you're just going to buy, install, and then hit the ground running. It's going to take years no. of study and practice and learning. Yeah. To do well, anything. You, need to keep, you need to keep in mind that Vaughn has been modding computer games since the fucking 1960s. When you know, he, he, was, he, was he was modding Warner 3D back in like 1972. Because that's a fucking thing. Yeah. Well, how did he have time when he was designing the stealth fighter? It's because like, Vaughn is fucking stupid. Oh, okay. When I hear Vaughn say <laughs> that, yeah, he was modding Wolfenstein 3D back in the 1980s, that's not a fucking thing. Why? What would be 3D in the 80s? Well, once Wolf, again, the original Wolfenstein didn't come out until like the early 90s. No, that's not correct. There is a Castle Wolfenstein game that existed back in like kind of like the mid 80s. But it, it's right. not it's not first person. It's it's a top down like it's basically like. Is it like Fallout One or Two? No, I this know. is like imagine like the first Metal Gear game. Oh but, wow! Yeah, or, like it's oh. a stealth game. Wait, is it kind of like uh? Do you, does anybody remember the first GTA? Barely. Yes. But vaguely. Is, yeah. is, kind of like that where it's just sort of like you're top down you you're just sort of like a block character moving through and you steal these block cars that have general shapes but i'm talking about like, like 1980s graphics on a computer where right. there are no graphics it's basically like lines and like stick figures you yeah, control one stick it. figure to where you don't get seen by other stick figures that was the original castle wolfenstein Wolfenstein 3D was, I believe, 91. That's the one I was talking about. Yeah, like, that makes no sense. Especially since... Well, I mean, it kind of makes sense considering uh, apparently how good he's uh, at it, modeling horse vaginas, but... it He's never actually modeled anyone. He just, he downloads them. Yeah, he installs oh, okay. them and reviews them. Oh, reviews. okay, that's disgusting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he, he, he's been beta testing the fucking, you know, death call rape animations on Fallout 4 for the, like, last, what, eight years? Okay. It's bad enough getting fucking murked by a death claw 
just like out of the blue when you're playing Fallout. The last thing I want is to get fucking R worded by the goddamn Death Claw <laughs> out of the blue. Like that's not who makes these mods. Like I can understand, look, things people do things clearly, but don't make th certain things public. <laughs> like it, it's like Vaughn, don't talk about these things. That's all I'm saying. I I don't know. I don't oh, guess. I mean, that, that was one of the reasons why he got cooked, uh, kicked off of uh, Utah Gun Exchange. It was a platform very similar to YouTube. Okay. Uh, he posted a video talking about you know how to mod, I believe, Skyrim. He didn't go into detail about the mods he was installing until oh. someone... Yeah, Go someone ahead. reported him for posting a video on how to install, basically, you know, rape mods. Was I remember someone posted uh, posted some stuff earlier. I think it might have been in the THN Discord, but it was uh, yeah, this was a couple weeks ago. I'm not gonna fucking go search for it. Um, oh, the just, mods he uh, made of the young girls, and I say that term loosely. Yeah, when it comes, comes to Skyrim, it's it's very easily you could mod the model of a you know fucking elder dragon and replace that with a child. That's disgusting. Yeah, uh, the the person that you want to talk to is a sock account. Yeah, I was gonna say there's there's a there's a whole stream where Sokka went in there and just laid it all out there, and you should hear Vaughn squirm trying to justify and, and oh, deflect. Oh man, uh, somebody! If anybody can post in the private chat, I will save that and listen to it at work because that sounds like something I need to hear. <laughs> Don't listen to it at work. <laughs> oh, no, no. Well, I I'm not gonna like I'm not gonna have it on. I have headphones. So, well, I'm allowed to have one earbud in because I have to hear my machine and all of the other machines going on around me. But I'm allowed to have but one you, earbud, so. You probably will become sick. It's bad. I mean, they, I mean, it's okay. I could use... When use Sokka covered uh, his <laughs> fucking, like, Fallout 4 mods, uh, one of them is called the Come and Wealth. Let that sink in. I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to no, be on I, this planet anymore. Yes. Yeah, like I'd rather not. Can we just do that? <laughs> Can we just walk away from the situation? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Cobes is making nachos again. That's what's up. That's Guess what's what up. we're watching on brunch. Hopefully, uh, no, well, so not. hopefully you can, hopefully you can join us for brunch one day. I'd love to have you there. It would be, it would be really great. Uh, I don't know if you're, I don't know if you're available. It's usually Sundays at like eleven Eastern, but that's up to you. Anyway, who's got beer? I mean, I, I usually work mornings on Sundays. Bullshit. Anyway, <laughs> I mean, I, I work mornings. <laughs> okay. every like my schedule was always mornings. I never worked nights. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go grab a beer. <laughs> All righty. <laughs> yeah, I. You're you're like a chef or a cook or something, right? I'm a cook. I'm not a chef. Okay. Uh, yeah, I know. There's very fairly big difference, but uh, yeah, that kind of makes sense because um, I don't think I've ever not seen you. It's weird because you are always like in someone's stream somehow. Maybe chopping parsley, like, yeah, Miss Parker, check this shit out. <laughs> I don't know. Let's uh, continue the, on. The uh, truth bombs are going to be dropping. You know, real bombs are dropping in Kiev, but truth bombs are going to be dropping here locally, and it's going to it's going to wait. The, I this slap him. this pissed me off when I heard him say that. Comparing nope. his situation to Ukraine, fuck him. Mm -hmm. Motherfucker, I can I can 
link you to the the videos I watched earlier today and heavily in my favor. Yeah, and not in the favor of the trolls or the haters off or anybody. any of the local miscreants. But it's going to be happening very, very soon. Uh, there is no doubt. And this is your last chance, trolls okay. and haters. Your oh, last guys. chance. Listen. Took us an hour and a half to get here, but it's okay. We got here. This is our last Listen chance. To my voice. This is your last chance. Delete all my content wherever you have it. Because anywhere you have it on the internet, Google Wayback Machine will find it and it'll pull it up. You know this to be true. The internet never forgets. Remember, trolls? You guys used to always scream that shit at me. Well, guess what? Look in the mirror, bitch, because now it's coming back on you. Oh, the shit, internet never guys. forgets. So now if you have anything with my content in it, anything with my name on it, this is your last chance to delete it. Here it is, right What's the point of deleting it if you can use Twitter, Google Wayback Facebook. to go find it again? What's the point? Anyway, that's a stream, folks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like, I mean, that's a really good point. Like, what, what the fuck is the point? Um, also, uh, I, I, I just want the techno lawyers to understand that this is a stream to understand what we're going to be destroying. This is an analysis. All right. Somebody has to, somebody has to be the censor. Oh, and that uh, should be as many people in here as possible. Lizard, you asked <laughs> me to remind you about the going to jail. Oh, the going to jail. About oh, Vaughn, okay. Vaughn going to jail. Yeah. Vaughn going to jail. So. Uh, I kind of wanted to bring this up when uh, Wilson came in because he's he's had a lot of experience with Vaughn. I know Cad Monkey has. I know uh, fucking Lasagna. I mean, I'm no Vila. Princess has. <laughs> <laughs> but um, uh, so Vaughn's. I don't know if I've said this before, but Vaughn's first real life experience, the first time reality and true life actually hits him are going to be homelessness and probably prison. It's the first time he's going to experience real life. I'd say that's fairly accurate. And this is at almost 60 years old as well. So a, a fun fact uh, for someone who proclaims to be themselves a model citizen, Vaughn has spent exactly one overnight in jail more than I have. Yep. Yeah. And I've been arrested. Same. I've I don't technically been arrested, but that was training. I've never you know, really uh, been arrested. But. Vaughn's this great model citizen, but I've never had my kid taken. Thirteen mm. times. Oh, not even once? No. Like um, I'm, yeah. But he's a model citizen, you guys. Right. It's true. He's he's a model citizen. Let guys hang on. I'm contacting Kentucky CPS. Mango, your <laughs> kids get taken away. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about you, little haters. Communist organization. <laughs> <laughs> Fair Let's, hair, what's right? going on, Nizza Three Boy? What's going on, GG Allen? He ran away from it before. He runs away from fucking everything. He's uh, uh, every time life got hard, uh, he called Ma Helton to save him. Can't call on her now. Sucks the, to suck, Vaughn. The sad thing is, if he ever does end up getting arrested and going to jail, he's so delusional. I kind of feel bad for him a little bit because he's gonna not. He'll he'll never understand what's actually happening. He's so disconnected from reality. He'll be he, screaming the whole time and be like, "You should be arresting the trolls on the internet." No, I, I disagree. If if anyone comes to arrest Vaughn for anything involving like his mom, he will fucking submit. Oh, I'm not I, saying he'd fight back or anything. I'm just saying he's gonna be completely confused as to what's happening. I I I think what'll happen is like Vaughn. Vaughn doesn't interact with people. He's no. always been on the internet. So the first time he actually interacts with somebody, he'll try to bullshit them and they'll put him in his fucking place. And the moment he tries to like step up or do anything, 
the moment he gets a little bit of fucking uh, hair on his balls, he's going to get the fucking shit kicked out of him. I don't know, like that that whole image of when the frost came over to Miles Double Wide to change the locks, and we got that image of Vaughn just slump shouldered, slack jawed, just fucking defeated. Yeah, because he knew yeah. he. Vaughn has no fucking spine. Nope. He is, he's never done anything in his life. That's why that's why the fucking uh the black people scared him out of the army. Like, isn't that the story? Like he I I, I feel like he was probably dropping too many N bombs and uh all the black people around him were just like, dude, you're about to get the fucking shit kicked out of you because anybody who's in the been, been in the military knows that in basic training like actually pretty much throughout the military uh leadership will look the the other way if they know someone's a problem and needs to be fixed and that goes for like the drill sergeants too yeah you will get a fucking the shit kicked out of you and no one will care uh dragnaut has a story about some some asshole from his basic training that that's the exact thing that happened i never had that in mind but well, yes, I guess luck. Vaughn never has like made the story of his basic training. He he tells the story about him at Fort Hood. I don't, yeah, I don't understand how he. Wait, did he get to Fort Hood and then he quit? Yes. Okay. So yeah, yeah, he was in for nine months. So he didn't fail out of basic training. He uh. The, the first way, is uh, go ahead. The first way he spun the story was he walked into his captain's office and said, "Hey, Cap, uh, we need to go train because that's how you speak to a you know, any commanding officer. It's like mash." Well, and, and wasn't he going uh, like, what? "Hey, there, there's a there's a war coming," and <laughs> oh yeah, that was I remember that that he was in a. He said he got Quarter a vision of a, of a war, and he so he went to his superior officer and was like, "Hey, there's a war coming. We need to train." Yeah, that's the ending of the fucking Terminator. <laughs> Anytime Vaughn tells any kind of story, he tries to weave it in the same way as some kind of movie. Punisher, so, like, you know, Terminator. there's a war coming. We're not ready. I predicted fucking Desert Storm and you know Desert Shield. I saved hundreds of thousands of soldiers' lives. No, you didn't. No, you you went into your commander's office and made a complete fucking ass of yourself. And at the time, they probably thought you were just undisciplined and stupid instead of having serious mental health issues. So they fucked you up. And I guarantee the person that was like, you know what, I think, you know government work is better for you was probably some like compassionate officer that was like telling him look you're never gonna be a soldier get the fuck out of here maybe we'll maybe we'll get you an application to be a janitor at the fucking uh, px well you didn't grow up to become the fucking punisher i'm is if this is the punisher then uh, thank fucking god <laughs> like what? Oh, You're I did have an answer to a Nissa's question about what got Vaughn finally <laughs> muted off of Twitch. Uh, um, before you say that, also uh, GG Allen says, "Who is that laugh?" <laughs> OMG, I love it. That's the one. <laughs> so, but yes, <laughs> good. Uh, answer that. I'm gonna uh, hit the latrine real quick. I will be right back. Okay. So, uh, Twitch recently implemented new guidelines for all of its mm -hmm. streamers that say that you cannot spread harmful misinformation in your streams. And if you continuously spread this harmful misinformation, then you will be removed for guidelines violations. In this case, it is COVID-19 misinformation that he spreads in damn near every one of his streams. Yep. I, I like how he tried to spin it. Some some troll hacked his account and put a bunch of nasty stuff in his profile. Oh, that was me. <laughs> I, I hacked him on help. <laughs> I believe it. I thought you said that him. Larry hacked him. Yeah. I heard that too. 
<laughs> yeah, that, I have actual footage of uh, Larry hacking, you know, Vaughn's Twitch account. Yep, I saw that. That was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it. The fact that he just he just doesn't get it, like everything he says and does is correct, and that's just. I. I it it up, boggles I think, my mind. I think he does get it to a certain degree. I really do think he does, and I think that he just likes to overshare on the internet and he likes to make up stories about what's really going on just to make himself feel better about it like there is some degree of understanding but he's making himself feel better about the situation by blaming it on the trolls haters and naysayers oh and and, and while i can certainly ag agree with with that um uh the the thing that gets me the most is he honestly believes that he's going to get those children back. I he's don't not. think he's at that point no. anymore. Not after his right. last stream with Miss Parker. I think he's he was very well defeated when he got onto that stream. He was very well upset and enraged, and so he rage quit. Mm -hmm. Like I, well, I think again, he like understands it, but just doesn't want to admit it to the public. When it comes to getting the kids back, the only kid he's actually interested in is Jerry. Right. Because that's the fucking paycheck. Right. Mm -hmm. Vaughn is too stupid to realize that, well, hey, the, the, the government shut Jerry's money off. I don't get a fucking paycheck anymore. You are fucking communists. No, Vaughn. The fact that you're getting government assistance for your special needs child does not mean that you can go out and buy fucking Hot Wheels or fucking racing chairs or your fucking cable bill. That money is supposed to go towards your fucking child who is a special needs autistic son. Well, see, uh, when it comes to SSI, you can use, if you do not have a job, if you are the live-in sole provider for that child. You can use SSI payments to pay for things like power, phone and internet, and sure. uh, things like basic utilities, like a basic fucking internet plan so that you have access to those resources for your child, you can pay for. And they'll actually increase the amount that you get based on that upwards of like 936, I think is the federal cap on it right now per month uh but no everything else he's all that money is supposed to go towards what medicaid won't pay for in support services for his son it's supposed to go towards shoes clothes all of the basic needs of the child and that well, includes I, utilities I would, if you do not have a job on on an ethical basis i would say that like any any money that you don't that so if, say you get you know, a thousand dollars a month for the child, any money that's left over for that month, whether it be, you know, a hundred fifty dollars or thirty five cents, it should just go off to the side to be used to roll over for needs of the child because that thousand dollars isn't going to cover shoes in six months. You know what I'm saying? One thing you have like to remember is the when you get SSI like that. If you have some of it in some sort of savings, if you have it on the government debit card that can be switched over to the child when they turn 18, you cannot have more than $2,000 of that money saved up for more than six months. Otherwise, mm -hmm. they will reduce your benefits. Yeah, Or completely a, take it away. Like, with <laughs> Vaughn's, like, team of lawyers working on his, like, SSI and disability, if Vaughn gets his SS SSI... And he gets it all in a lump sum in his bank account. I think Mudberger brought up the fact that, yeah, the best thing that Vaughn can do is spend it. Yes. Yep. Well, e even Grampy said that when he got his disability, uh, that's what they told him. You better spend this because if you uh, leave that money sitting in your bank account, they're going to decrease your amount over time. Because mm -hmm. you clearly don't need that assistance if you're not spending it. Right. 
And he very well could have used that lump sum that he initially got to buy actual beds for the kids again. Because when we saw Jerry's room in the last video, like, the bed was just on the fucking floor. Like, that was he could have bought an actual bed. That was a year and a half ago. Those kids yes. aren't coming. But you also have to consider how long, potentially, that bed has actually been sitting on that fucking floor. If anybody's it's... really curious on, like, how the government spending like oh you have to spend this money otherwise you don't get it next year uh it's the office episode with the uh, photocopier versus the, <laughs> the, the surplus chairs, episode whatever. yeah the surplus episode uh, very surplus good explanation episode season yeah. four about it's, the middle of the season it's, what sucks uh, is i'm not back that vaughn is so quick to call everyone else a fucking communist when the only reason he exists is is off government assistance. Oh, yeah. The only time I've ever gotten government assistance is when I was working for the government. <laughs> like, <laughs> And that's actually that's, my, my, yeah. my favorite story arc of his right now, about calling people communists because the government shut off his money and the government can't steal people's money. Well, it's not your money. No, it's not. First of all, is, I mean, you, you didn't earn that money. That's not your money. No. <laughs> Who do you certainly think that's coming to my money, asshole. Right, certainly did, he certainly certainly didn't fucking pay into it. Fuck right. no. Yeah, that, you know, I I go to work every fucking day, so... It's book. I, I, Wherever it is, you better be deleting it. You guys are paying it, your federal taxes, you're paying for this dipshit. Because you will get a reckoning day, provided the gods ain't killed your ass before I get to, you know, which the gods do seem to be doing here lately for some reason. <laughs> You know, I keep and, telling you guys, hey, I can't kill them if you kill them. But they're, you know, they, they think differently. Though. This is the whole thing about Vaughn's, like, narrative. That it really rubs me the wrong way that Vaughn had a conversation about a year and a half ago with someone called UK Troll. They think I can tell the gods what to do. I can't tell UK Troll has been fucking with Vaughn the better part of a decade. UK Troll, she told Vaughn that, you know, at, at least 15 of his fucking haters have you know gone the way of the dodo only two people that she could name were someone named spellbinder who yeah he was a fucking drunk back in the g plus days right yeah. and then uh jennifer souls who is formerly known as southern <laughs> raven right uh Southern Raven did not pass away. She kind of, I hate saying it, uh, she took her own life. Well, Vaughn, I mean, you know, Vaughn, you know, takes, you know, I heard Jen, like you're all your troll buddies. You're going to join your friend, Jennifer souls. He has no fucks given talking about someone's that once again, at one point, this woman treated him as a person, not as an idiot. She tried to treat him as a human being. Vaughn took that as, well, obviously, she wants to fuck me. And when Vaughn started, you know, pushing that envelope, Jennifer told him, like, no, I think you're a sack of shit. You're fucking crazy and stupid. I want nothing to do with you. And then Vaughn went on the offensive saying that he was going to, you know, join the fucking U.S. Marshals and, you know, get a bounty hunter license. <laughs> Vaughn the bounty hunter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, that reminds me of that. I am the bounty King of the Hill episode <laughs> where Dale becomes a bounty hunter. Yeah, he takes the eight hour dude course. That's exactly like him. <laughs> He's got the fucking. Uh, Shotgun in a pizza box. <laughs> Pocket slavery. <Delivery>. Pocket sand. <laughs> <Cha -cha -cha. laughs> um, uh, give me one. Here, I'll play this. Here, give me like one second. Just like, because this, I have your ear, the Schneider guy, guy, the troll, one of the troll Schneider. This guy's a complete loser. I mean, this guy lives in a, in, you know, complete poverty. He has nothing to even. Well, I got, I got my problems with Schneider Handyman, but those are political. Schneider is doing way better. Not a good idea. Myself, uh, posing as a police officer is a felony say that. in most states. Now, I don't Fuck know about yourself. Kentucky. But in most states, uh, posing as a police officer is a felony. You can go to prison for that shit. 
so if the rumor is true and he was posing as a police officer, uh, yeah, he's in hot water. Dragon Jim, I'm, I'm more and more convinced every day Dragon Jim is not a police officer either. He's just full of shit. Um, but in any event, uh, yeah, um, uh, posing as a police officer is a felony in some states. I want to look that up for your state, boys and girls, because uh, you're not supposed to be running around know. posing as a lawyer or a police officer uh, or a judge or anything he else. He says he's a former cop. Former cop. Uh, well, the only thing I've ever heard you say is that you work on air conditioning units. You've never mentioned being a cop before now. So, you know, I, I don't know of any time that anyway, Schneider is going to be a former that, police uh, officer. This is your literal last warning. That I have no idea. Your last air, right. This is probably literally in some cases, but then, but this is your last warning that if you want to be spared any type of legal repercussion. Wait, is he is he alluding to people? He, does he think people are going to be executed for this? I, I think so, because he I mean, J-Dubs did say your last rights. And Vaughn agreed that for some people, yes, like, do they think they're going to get the death penalty? I think it's more that the gods are going to snuff them out. Oh, yeah, it, it's, it's, a, it's a real shame that, you know, I've already told Vaughn via Cash App that uh, his gods are impotent fuck ups. <laughs> his gods are the, his <laughs> gods are the best trolls ever. He he uses it's his true. gods the way that Shani uses God as her personal assassin. Yes. Mm. Oh, yeah. The the only difference is like. Shani's God Vaughn doesn't, doesn't weigh 600 pounds. <laughs> Well, <laughs> well, that, but Vaughn's God doesn't, or, or Shani's God just is indifferent to her, whereas Vaughn's gods just actually fucking hate him. They actively work against every one of his interests and prayers. I don't think, I think Vaughn has the 100% negative, like 100% no rate on prayers to his gods. Like, this is, that's pretty fucking like, Xbox achievements, folks. Uh, he, he said <laughs> earlier today that, uh, yeah, according to him, like he's batting a thousand when it comes to his gods, like you know, it's a little killing us off. Yeah, I'm actually in pretty good shape, honestly. Like the VA keeps telling me, uh, like I didn't have to do anything prior to my hand surgery. They were just like, yeah, you had some stuff done a few months ago, so you should be all right. You're in pretty good health. Like, oh, okay. My blood work always comes back normal. Mm -hmm. Things good. Yeah. Anybody even struck by lightning, leprosy, plague of frogs, firstborn son passing, <laughs> water to blood. I mean, mine. I, mine does I don't that, think it was this stream. I think the, it was the stream from yesterday where, graveyard. yeah, same fucking idiot. <laughs> Picked up fucking J Dub's ear talking about my fucking dead kid. Uh, spoiler alert: I don't have kids. Don't want kids. Yeah. Kids are fucking gross. Say, I was about to say like, you had a you what? I was like, I didn't hear this story. I, I was about to, but no, like it doesn't. You don't seem like the. It seems like you're in the same boat as me. Like I don't want. I don't want. It, it's some <laughs> random idiot that jumped into fucking J-Dub's stream yesterday. Oh, peace of mind. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, Sorry, attempting man. to dox me. Where? I, I don't know where he's getting this fucking name from. It's not my fucking name. Your name is Wilson. You're or is it Wilson? <laughs> Wilson! <laughs> I'm sorry. He keeps on calling me Bill. Uh, 39 years. My name is technically William. I've never gone by Bill. I've always gone Bill. by Will. And on certain occasions, yeah, my Wilson. grandmother was a Will. <laughs> Sorry. I did it. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> but apparently, like, my fucking kids are getting run over the same rate as fucking Vaughn's dogs. Or G Man. <laughs> BB2. <it. laughs> <laughs> you are all of your Yeah, I don't I don't I I don't know where they come up with this shit. Like I honestly don't know where they pull most of this shit out of their ass. It's like I don't know. I don't, I don't even know how to compare it. And and thinking that you have it privated or that you have it tucked away somewhere your name is, is not Rick. going Why to help you. Sorry. Bill? It's not gonna help you. Okay. 
Daily Motion, Live Leak, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, um, guys, Rumble. Um, you know, I vlog. Um, whatever, whatever, whatever uh, 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 social media you may have, if it has my name on it, or it has my content in it. You're to delete it immediately and all backups. Okay, this is your last warning. You delete any Final warning, folks, of mine and all backups. This is the only warning. As you can get. see, I was in the military. Like I said, just after like today, Vaughn, things start happening. Except I did something. And like um, I said, I now have a team of lawyers. I don't so we know. Lawyers. I have a we team. Know this I have is a an warning. office of lawyers that are working <laughs> on my true. benefit because Sorry. they want that money, buddy, and they are motivated to get their share of that money. So they are definitely going to be working on my behalf. Mm. So I don't give a damn what your excuse is. And you can sit there and scream free speech and fair use until you're blue in the face. It's not going to help you. Not in the light of three kids crying to want to go home. And not, That's in the light, a lie. not in the light of a young girl whose life was totally destroyed. And not in the fact By that my you. mother dead as a result you of You destroyed story. her life. So no, whatever excuse you may have or think you have is not going to fucking Actually, help Actually, I, th I think he's talking about Andrea. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Vaughn, yeah, you destroyed her life and she is doing fantastic. Honestly, like, she has a college degree. She's one step above even myself in that regard. Like, she has a driver's license. Do you? Does he? I don't I don't know if Andrea has a driver's license. No, she, she, said she said that she, she does, does have her <laughs> license. She said that she worked really hard to get it uh, once she was, like, off of certain meds that she went and got it. And I'm very proud of her because, I mean, I don't have one. Uh, the, the, the crack team has shown up uh, to to make sure we're following the guidelines of this review. Remember, all of this is going to be destroyed afterwards. This is just a review to make sure this is off the internet. And if anybody wants to go to uh, subscribe to this channel and hit that like button as well and hit the bell so that you get all of those notifications and you can go back to this video for reference on what should be destroyed as we watch more when we get into this. Uh, yeah, it, please do that, and uh, also check out the uh, great alien Vaughn took a shot at because yeah, he, he's done great work in archiving things that need to be destroyed. No, it is not. Also, subscribe. So it to is them. in your benefit to heed my words. Don't worry, we'll get to Nana Force. Any and all content confirmed co uh, conforming to Vaughn Hilton in any way, shape, or form. Fake accounts, sock accounts, uh, any type of content, anything with my name on it. You better get rid of it. Because once everything is dealt with here locally, you trolls are next. You've been warned numerous times. And there is no more warnings. This is literally the last warning you get. Eat a dick, now, Ron. That's provided the gods don't kill you before I get to you. <laughs> but you know what? Hey, that's out of my hands. I got nothing to do with that shit. Solid gum to orb. All right. And if the gods Vaughn's are like to scare me, really <laughs> <real. laughs> <laughs> Okay, wait a minute. Gum a dick, Vaughn. <laughs> I was actually <laughs> talking with the you lizard about this the other day. Like, this oh, is God, how many times? final I mean, I mean, I mean, warning. Yeah, and my theory behind here, why uh, he's doing the final they warning. No excuse, they literally have no excuse. My videos are on BitChute for everybody to go see. Why? I have warned these fuckers numerous times on live shows, hey. on, on video, and in messages and everything else, private and public. They have no excuse. My shit was None. So Zero. They have no excuse. So they have no justification. Because I know it's not loud for you guys. And, you know, and I've got their own messages. Anyway, we did it for the it lulz. L-U-L-Z. Okay, well, what does L-U-L-Z Sorry, what were you saying? It means they did it for laps. They did it for kicks. Well, they did it for I was saying, uh, I was talking with you the other day about someone's life, the theory that I have behind him. why he's Especially trying to give this final warning to people, why he wants that content removed. Because we we know that... uh he does have certain oh, federal yeah. investigations open because he yeah. did threaten a federal investigator. There are people that have been looking into him, even though like we can't really get the details on that. But right if you just Google his way. name, if you search his name oh, inside you know, of I, YouTube, I you, you get not, none too happy all of this home. proof of him threatening people, trying really to dox to. people, his followers trying to dox people. You get him admitting to leaving his mother on the floor multiple times over there's all of these things out there that could be used as evidence against him because it's not edited it's just I, I don't know of anyone in Vaughn's camp right now that is trying to dox people because he has burned those bridges 
oh, but I mean, yeah. previously, I, like there's there's still video of that out there somewhere, and it probably oh. wouldn't take too long to find. Of well, what I'm saying, like, to he, he's his, burned those bridges, his mom on the, the floor. And do it live. Right. The, uh, well, yeah. the the people that he's calling okay, on, like the Doxby, video, um, they want the, nothing to do with him. And those two people are Monograph and Agent 19. Uh, these are scum fucks when it comes to the internet. Yeah. Uh, Agent 19, for the longest time, he, he tried to claim that he has a, you know, detective license as a you know private investigator oh you mean like lola yeah okay. no yeah not way worse than lola uh -oh. gotcha uh agent 19 like he, he claimed that he was a private investigator to where he would facebook stalk people and that's... then just release their information on the internet and they're that's by information i say like their first and last name that's just doxing. Let's, 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 I mean, I'm not just, sure like, if uh, having a you know private uh, private investigator license means that you can you know DDoS people and nope. just no, you release. Can't. You can. You can't. Is what I said. No, no. you can't do that. No yeah, because it's kind of a sort of a federal fucking crime. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is is DDoS a, a federal crime? Yes. Because I I I feel like that's true because I learned about it like I feel like a year ago, but I I know it's uh, digital denial of service, but I didn't know it was a federal crime. But I'll look well, on that on my own. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, it's basically like you attack someone's you know IP address. Yeah. To it, such it a just, degree, like. Doesn't essentially just like flood the IP address with information so nothing can get through or something like that. Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. 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 Anyway, but uh, let's hear, uh, like you were talking about, uh, let's hear about um, a Mango, that is. Uh, excuse me, Her Majesty the Lasagna Princess. Thank you. Sorry. Uh, I'll get there one of these days. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Uh, like we like she was talking about. Let's hear uh, Vaughn talk Situation, about how he left his mom on the floor. Um, was not supposed to have been discussed at all. Um, nothing was. Well, supposed well, to how have the been fuck said. is there things in the atmosphere? How is people knowing about shit that's not supposed to be discussed? Well, then? exactly, exactly right. And I'm, I'm going to get to that. Uh, apparently, Larry Frost uh, decided to tell the whole goddamn planet. Um, you know, is uh, there a, is there a timestamp? Because this is like a two-hour uh, video. It, it's getting there. He's talking about Larry right now. He okay. addresses it in the beginning, like, okay. and then goes. I didn't know if it was right off the bat or not. Personal no matter yeah. between me and my mother. Uh, I sent my mother to the hospital this early this morning, and uh, you know because she was lethargic and she was in the floor, and so I sent her uh, to the hospital this morning. And apparently, uh, she had had a. <laughs> it apparently had a stroke. And um, Larry busted his ass to start a bunch of shit and tell everyone on the goddamn planet my and my mother's personal business. Uh, the thing of... I'm sorry. He eats like a fucking orangutan. This is disgusting. What the fuck is wrong with this guy? Oh, you're just anti-Semitic. He's just a fucking goyle. <laughs> I, honestly, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna walk out into the woods and die now. I don't I don't want to I don't want to exist. You guys, it's, someone it's take every over video he's in. I don't understand why is he eating? Like I eat in some of my videos, but that's to throw shade on Shani and Rev because they're poor and it's, own, it's their own fault. Like I'm poor, but I can eat well because I'm not dumb as shit. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I just don't like. Honestly, like I, I, I'm going because I. You're trying to I'm, make sense I'm, of J Dubs. Yeah, don't. That's weird. Like, he, like, why does he exhibit Exist. so many traits? <laughs> why is he so like primitive in like in being like a fucking goddamn like? Because we're all apes, but why is he a fucking so? Why does he have a fucking shark fin at the top of his fucking hairline? 
<laughs> hey, look. Okay. Don't hate the shark fin, man. Some of us got that shit going on. It's that's just some, damn good, that's some damn good soup. <laughs> <laughs> but I just... I, <laughs> nobody give J-Dubs a banana. That's so all it I'm is, saying. is that the last thing a stroke victim needs is to have someone go to the hospital. Oh, there's food all over his mouth. It's in his person. beard. That's the last Stop thing it. A stroke Stop. victim, particularly one who's had their speech affected by a stroke, the last thing they need to do is to try to talk. That's no, that thing. is That's not That's false. True. That's so fucking wrong. Oh, my God. I've said this a million times over. Within the first 72 hours of having a stroke, you are supposed to talk to stroke victims to gauge where their neurological stance is so that you know exactly how badly affected everything was it's well you're standard you're practice. talking about so, you're, you're talking about someone who was an orderly for 14 years and emt for five uh somehow some way can't recognize someone who is suffering a fucking stroke oh i i think he knew that she had a stroke and he just fucking left her for shits and giggles yeah uh hashtag von killed his mom Allegedly, yes, basically, um, with allegedly in, in, in all sense of the terms. Wants. Yes, Vaughn, you left your mother on the floor to die. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, correction. He, well, he left her. No uh, Vaughn's right. orderly hat is no longer fucking credible. I mean, it was made of paper in the first place, and he likely only wore, wore it the first day because there was no second. And I don't know. I, 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 well, long story short, I kill this mom. We'll see. <laughs> like it's terrible to laugh at, but it's just. See, my dad but, had several light strokes over the course of a few days. He was in the acute stroke unit for like almost a month, and that was one thing that the doctors told us when they got him to the hospital was that they kept him they kept him as lucid as possible they talked to him they tried to get him to talk back to them and everything cuz that's exactly what you're supposed to do and yeah, to hear him sit there and blatantly fucking lie like that because he thinks he knows better than everybody else man that's that, that oh, that's so some fu that's some fucked up repugnant shit bro yeah, when Vaughn, you know, pulled his medical power of attorney card and told the you know, hospital in Lexington, she does not need visitors. She she needs to recuperate like a fucking migraine. Dude, when I when I got back from Korea, a family friend of mine was uh, in hospice for cancer, and I mean, I she passed away hours after we got on, like my my mom got the text hey she passed away while we were on the plane because obviously you can't have your phone on on the plane i i, I got home from korea and it, within a few days just flew to new mexico to to do that i was just like okay and this motherfucker can't like stay in the hospital with his mom they, they'll well, make he, accommodations for you if you're too far he didn't if have you're gas money uh, yeah, I'm sorry. No, you have the gas money for a one-way trip. That's all you fucking need. And the people there, if you actually give a shit, they'll provide for you. They'll help you out. Actually, but nobody also, gives a fuck about Vaughn it, because he didn't give a fuck about his mom. When it comes to hospitals, too, if you have to take a bus to go visit someone that you have the medical power of attorney over, they can and will provide you bus passes to be able to get to and from the hospital through the bus system. We're talking about the same motherfucker who left his twins in the hospital. Yeah, that's also for true. For weeks. Yeah, because and refused to feed them whenever he was there and... No, him and Andrea were too fucking stupid to realize that, hey, the bus in fucking London will drive you there. They didn't know that. The point I'm trying to make was when Vaughn pulled his medical power of attorney saying, like, Alice does not need visitors. He did that because uh, a person by the name of, I believe, Linda Judy 
was the first one to visit Alice in the hospital. That technically is Vaughn's niece. Sister. It's his niece? Adop it's... adopted sister, but she's family of some a cousin, maybe. No, okay. It's his adopted sister's child. Right. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I believe niece. Right. Yeah, yeah that, that would. would it, it's his. It essentially it's his sister's kid. Is it's his niece because um, I know this point has been made tons and tons of time. Uh, it's it, just because you're adopted doesn't mean you're. It means your family. Like being adopted what? means you're adopted into the family, part of the family. So is she sister, blood heir? So. Nope. Doesn't matter in Kentucky. <laughs> no, blood, blood. I guess not. So yeah, so I guess uh, that's why he made sure she stayed away and uh, died alone, which is fucking horrific. Anyway, um, let's hear about how he did that. The last thing they need to do. They need quiet. They need darkness. They need to rest. They need Just to relax. Judy. Okay. They literally could no, cause her to have. I, I went to the fucking podiatrist and they had this shit in their, in their office of what to do during a stroke. It's, it's a five point little card right there. Vaughn, you've been to the V. Oh no, you haven't. Stroke tonight because see her <laughs> last the, the stroke she had uh, when I found her this morning she had had the stroke during the middle of the night and and she could literally have another one because she was not allowed to have rest. Um, Larry Frost of Oneida, Kentucky, sent Jessica Judy of Hamilton, Ohio, over to the hospital to get all the drama and find out all this shit and start a bunch of crap and you know and as a result it's very possible that that could be my mother's demise because my mother had a stroke that affects her speech. Okay. She needed rest. She didn't need somebody sitting there trying to get her to talk. Oh my God. That's the last thing she needed. She needed rest. And if she dies from another stroke tonight, it will be Larry Frost of Oneida, Kentucky's fault and Jessica Judy of Hamilton, Ohio's fault. Now you say, well, Vaughn, maybe Jessica Judy didn't know. Maybe she honestly did not know. No. Uh, Jessica Judy is a registered nurse and her husband is a doctor. So if anybody fucking knew not to be yakking at her, it was, it was Jessica Judy. And I am telling you right now, if my mother dies because she didn't get adequate rest after having this stroke, it will be because of Larry Frost and Jessica Judy. She needed rest. I didn't even tell my friends. My friends were emailing me. My friends were messaging me on Facebook. My friends were contacting me on mobile device. What's going on? I didn't talk to nobody because I wanted. Yeah, uh, Lucian, I'm confused by the first part of this. It says Yvonne Center, the hospital. Oh, Vaughn Center called to, the hospital. Oh, Vaughn sent Center her to, the, to hospital. the hospital. Okay, yeah. Vaughn called her to or sent her to the hospital after he got to be nine, and he realized that Larry could show up, and he was worried that maybe his mother would come to and tell Larry that she stood over, that he stood over her at five a.m. Yeah, that's that definitely checks out because um, yeah, that's exactly what he fucking did. And yeah, Nissa, Nissa Threepwood, uh, your anger is ex is shared by. I'm sure it's shared by the panel. Oh yeah, I, I'm sure the silence Absolutely. coming from everyone is just sort of because um, I'm just sort of like fuming over just listening to this piece of shit. And Kennedy, no, he was afraid they would ask her how many times Vaughn left and walked away. Yeah, exactly. Hundred percent says Nissa Threepwood. Uh, Yes, he was streaming while doing it, uh, but he thinks that by telling us and by telling us over and over again that it makes a difference because, you know, what he that he has no concept of how much uh, he uh, lets out. A, mom to get some rest, and B, because the specialist didn't know yet what was going to happen. The hospital First of all, didn't know yet what was going to happen. Business, Vaughn. That's the biggest thing. It's none of anyone's fucking business. Well, what exactly. What's going on? Yeah, no, it doesn't of matter whether the specialist or not the specialist didn't fucking know. Fucking cocksucker a, should have left yeah. her alone and kept it quiet. There's a reason that the like... specialist didn't know yet. Because you, you take that first 72 hours after a stroke to determine where everything is and if anything improves. You can't do anything until after that. Holy shit. There's... The specialist can't do shit until after they know exactly what all is wrong. Yeah. They they have to run tests. It takes time. 
That's why you stay there. So you can get like, the updates so you know what the fuck is happening. God damn it, Vaughn. Fuck you. Well, and, and the frustrating like, thing about this is during this whole time, he wasn't answering the phone. And they, the hospital and family kept trying to call him, and he refused to pick up the phone. And he keeps saying, sure. well, no one's telling me what's going on. I didn't know what was happening. Well, yeah, because you won't answer the damn phone. Yeah, the the Frost constantly tried to call him to be like, "Hey, you need like you need to go with your mom." And he was just like, "No, it's the Frost. They're trying to they're trying to fuck with me." Yep. Um, was his excuse, but in reality, he's just like, "No, if I don't pick up." It, it was like my like my boxer when when he was still around. If if I told him if I was just like I, I was a like, guy, did you get in the garbage? He would look at me and. He would just sort of do this thing where he's just like, like, like if I if I look away long enough and not look right at him, he won't he won't think I'm it wasn't me. He'd just be like, oh no, it couldn't have been me. Vaughn's doing the exact same thing. He's he, no no no, it couldn't be me. Just uh, if I just ignore the problem, but kind of look over and make sure it's okay. So, I don't know. Yes, he did, Lucian. Oh. He did clean the bedpans for his mother for years at the nursing home that his family owned, which is why he was an orderly. But uh, beyond that, she very much could use the toilet herself. Yeah. That's why she lived alone. She could make a pallet for herself. Yeah. Same. Uh, Nissa Threepwood said she's looked at uh, that's uh, Sticky doesn't have any friends. Lie number one. Yeah, there you go. Hey, whoa. Look, are you his lawyers? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's the team of butthurt lawyers. So oh, not gonna have anything okay. nice to the, say. These, oh, we got the anti lawyers. Oh, shit. We got fucking mercenaries coming into the front. Sweet. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. Nissa, when. I, I know what stream you're talking about. Right after this happened, he was streaming. The phone kept ringing. He got up and went and turned the phone off or unplugged it or something. Yeah, yeah. I I think I remember that. There was a there's a few streams where he like got up and left for a short period of time, and we we're all just wondering like, what the fuck's going on? What did he What did he do? And he usually came back with some poopy face, usually because he got a, a phone call. Like, hey, you're fucked, and he knows it, but he but he has to lie on the internet because, well, it's fucking Von Helton, and uh, this is the one. Uh, I've looked uh, after hundreds of stroke victims. Von's a fool. Yeah, thank you. Von is nothing but a fool. Uh, okay, let's continue. Well, right. And how the fuck did Larry Frost even know anyway? That is Larry like Frost, okay, little fucking okay, I'm going exp to explain. I'm going to explain. Larry Frost has two cameras in my mother's house illegally, which is a violation of federal wiretapping laws, let alone an it's invasion not. of privacy. But no, it's an invasion no. of, of federal wiretapping laws. Okay? And no. these two cameras were put in there under the auspices of a lie anyway. They lied and said somebody no, broke were. into mom's house. No one broke into mom's house. There's absolutely no signs of forced entry in my mother's house at all. None. Okay, so the, the so cameras were put into the house. Have to agree lie. Okay, to have the cameras yeah, in there. Said, Larry Frost bragged that he has been illegal. Uh, no, um, his mother had to agree to it. And posting them on. So uh, he has. So he has no say whether or not. At they the got time put that the cameras got installed, she was of sound body and mind and agreed to it because she was up there in age and it was for her safety. It was for her protection. Right. So the cameras got installed and they don't face directly into the bedroom they're just out in the main areas so if someone needs to check in if someone needs to make sure that she is okay they can look at the camera feed and know that she is not being abused by anyone in any way or she hasn't tripped and fallen if they haven't heard from her things of that yeah, nature she, yeah. th there was a period where when the dementia was first starting to present where she was saying something about pe people trying to break in so they had a, a camera faced at the front door, the back door. She also wasn't supposed to be cooking for herself because they were afraid that, you know, they'd caught her several times walking away from cooking food on the stove. Yeah. So they have one faced at the kitchen, living room, you know, just kind of the general areas. 
Yeah, I mean, which makes sense. And I mean, I know Larry Frost has said multiple times, like, I'm not gonna put, uh, I'm not gonna put a camera in a 90 year old woman's bedroom. Like, right? Who does that? That's disgusting. And so he had him in the common areas where she would be, you know, dressed and uh, appropriate, so that he could, uh, you know, look and see what happened. So if anything came through, because. I guarantee you, like, Vaughn Vaughn lives in the middle of nowhere. A lot of shit happens in the middle of nowhere, but when it comes to, like, break-ins and stuff, that's that's why you hear about, like, small town of, like, 500 people. Well, the last, the last violent crime, the last murder we had around here was 102 years ago. It's like, that's, that's yeah. kind of what fucking happens. And it's not gonna... No. It's just to make sure when make sure this motherfucker doesn't do what he did essentially. Oh, and, and the funny thing is that they had one pointed where that deep freezer was, where all the, the food was because Larry's like the food kept disappearing the food that I was buying that Alice was buying. Well, it was Vaughn going over there and raiding her freezer and taking food over to his yeah. place. I, he did that several times. And then yeah. he did it after she passed away, after she was in the hospital, mm -hmm. she was, he was always stealing the food that was there. Do, do you remember right, right after that happened, he, he was doing a stream with his model planes in the, in his kitchen or whatever, his, li his living area. And he's eating that can, can of peaches. He He's yep. never had peaches. And was, everyone's like, he obviously got that from his mom's trailer. Cause he doesn't have mm -hmm. that stuff. I was literally about to say the same exact thing. That can of peaches pissed yep. me right the fuck off because you know this motherfucker has never had a, a, a fresh piece of fruit, <laughs> let alone a, a piece of fruit in his goddamn life. <laughs> hey, 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 guess guess what I'm eating? Peaches? No. Pears? Oh, oh hold on. Provolone? Oh, how come that's not working? <laughs> I'm, trying, I'm trying to turn my camera on, but it's not working. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I'm, I I bought a pineapple. I was I was gonna boast and be like, "Hey, mom, <laughs> I don't have to." Eat candy. I thought you said broke alone. I got, I got a fresh <laughs> pineapple. <laughs> Dude, I I bought um, asparagus and Mango gave me a recipe. Excuse me, a lasagna princess gave me a re recipe yeah. for for it in the air fryer. Uh, my biggest problem, it's it's too big. <laughs> my, my asparagus is too long so i can't like oil uh, it properly next time or, unless i just uh it. cut them in half just any window so in thick half. in here you can cut it with a knife yeah but <laughs> you know what like if i cut them in half i'm only eating the ends i'm kind of like thumper from bambi oh. like yeah um i like the flowers wait like i will if, did you trim the asparagus first? Did you do yeah, what you're supposed to? Of course I do? did. Okay, just in fact, sure. I had a whole conversation in my head with my uh, about my mom's knife drawer and how I cut through an entire <laughs> wrap of asparagus, and uh, she could probably do she'd probably do them one at a time. <laughs> so, hey. ooh, that I can't good. eat that What's because on, I'm Gabby allergic Gats? to fresh uh, pineapple. <laughs> Oh really? Oh, that's yeah. too bad. Yeah. I, I'm allergic to only scallops. Not any other shellfish or fish. Just scallops. Well, you're I an asshole. That's yeah, yeah. Any of it. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you tell I, like, him, Mango. You are an asshole. You are an <laughs> asshole. I love you. how like buttery and flaky and just melt in your mouth they are when they're cooked right and oh, they're Look. so good, but. I may be I allergic to shellfish, but I make a mean crab cake. And I make lobster cakes. Damn, dude. I want some sushi. All right. Anyway, so before we I get on to some anyway. food. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just saying, like, now, now I'm going to get uh, hungry. Wait, wait. Phrasing? Yeah, phrasing. What kind of, what did it, I say? It, it was too big. It was too big to fit in, Lizard. That's what she said. Literally. Okay. I mean, that's. <laughs> This is the title of my sex tape. It's just going to have fucking, I don't know, whatever actress going with a big old shadow coming over. It was too big in, you know, 1960s horror fucking. There you go. That's a movie cover for you. Check that one out. At the no, we shop. have to use the uh, font $15. from Sharkenstein. Oh, dude. 
Sharkenstein? Sharkenstein, Sharkenstein. I don't know. Uh, All right. Frankenstein shark that apparently has something to do with the Third Reich. Yeah, still don't. The fuck? Still unclear. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You guys gotta watch this shit. It's fucking hilarious. <laughs> so we got, what is it? Uh, Sharkenstein, Sharkenstein, Sharkenstein. Uh, Sharks of the Corn, Killer Ants, um, House, House Shark. shark. <laughs> House Shark is probably the best movie you will ever watch. Uh, just imagine, Ooh. I don't know, it's, it's, I can't even start. You forgot Bigfoot start. versus zombies. Hmm. I was going through the sharks, I was going to get there, but yes. <laughs> Bigfoot versus zombies and then killer ants. Yes. Killer ants <laughs> is fucking hilarious. Is that that one from like the 60s or 70s? No, actually, it was no. from 2020. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen that one. There was yes. an old one that my dad used to, I think he had a VHS tape of it when I was a kid. Old movie. It was pretty good. Was it anything akin to Attack of the Killer Tomatoes? No. Anybody Way remember better. that movie? Way better. <laughs> Way better. That was a good movie. Oh my god. Like, I mean, my my oldest brother, <laughs> unfortunately, the anti vax cop. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, him. His favorite movie was attack of the killer tomatoes when he was a kid so checks out folks <laughs> all right let's let's listen on to the Vaughn internet to the trolls and haters oh longer. shit which is a not only a, not only is that a violation of my privacy it is also a violation of federal wiretapping laws no it this is guy's a sick fuck fun yes this yes. guy is very fucking sick in the head. Yes. yes. I mean, he's putting cameras in the people's homes, spying on them, yes. and then giving everything to the fucking haters. He's fucking. No, no, you. Shit is just part. a the giant piece of shit. The best part is when I called the FBI That's, and said there was cameras in my mother's house under under under, uh, under uh, less than normal conditions. The FBI didn't do shit. They didn't try to remove the cameras. Nobody I'm, did. Honestly, Nobody sir, little wolf. I don't know whether or not there was a hotel involved in that movie. It was Larry just sort of and, like and Jessica Judy's it, involvement. Like I said, let me stress this one more time. Most of these time. movies okay, are just the last a series of scenes is someone to go to that hospital and start only. yapping at them I'm gonna and, say getting, and, and you know, getting them to try to talk <laughs> and shit like that. That's the last thing they need. We gotta, I'm going to pray for your mom, Vaughn, that she, she's, she's going to be successful and everything's going to be okay. Shut the fuck up, Jade Dawson. Shut the fuck up, Comrade, uh, thank you for being here, Comrade Von Helen. Call me to the bone. Uh, <laughs> uh, I just, I just might let my Facebook friend Vladimir Putin know what you said about me. Oh shit! Oh. He's coming after Ooh. us now. Shit! Oh, he might, he might first, lose a little more than nine thousand. I'm, I'm just saying. First Ukraine, then the trolls. Oh, fuck, dude. Oh, is he going for a war on two fronts? Because they're coming after us now. Oh, this is the cyber war. Putin's using Von Helm and his team of techno lawyers to use a cyber war against Hater Nation in order to cripple Ukraine for some fucking reason. Uh, excuse uh. you, we are not Hater Nation tonight. We are part of the trolls, haters, and naysayers because we're covering uh, Von Helton. Right. Okay, so what is, uh, is there a difference? Uh, Hater Nation both... goes after okay. people like Negs. Trolls, haters, okay. and naysayers go after people like Vaughn. Okay, well, you should have made that a distinction when I posted this hours ago, and it said, well, the <laughs> I didn't read the description. <laughs> the communities it's, overlap it's, quite now a bit. Who, now, whose fault is that? I think it's Man, uh, Lasagna princess. It's a lizard Wizard. show. I mean, shir yeah. she's shirking her duties. I'm just saying. <laughs> Look. <laughs> I design I the guess flags. I, uh, I do the lettering for secretions. I pull your you links. Know what what okay, more okay, do you want from me, okay. man? Okay, 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 okay. That's enough out of you. Oh. <laughs> Wait, just don't get off my ass now, okay? <laughs> hey, you're. This is a family show. No, okay? it's not. Don't you be flipping people off, you fucking asshole. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, see, trolls, haters, and naysayers, and you know. I, are in cahoots with the Ukrainian Nazi war criminals who stole my children 13 times. That's not true. <laughs> as far as I know. However, trolls, haters, and naysayers are under attack. 
I guess. Instead of Hater Nation, thanks. We'll blame it on Mango. How about that? I'm not Mango Fair tonight. Enough. Exactly. Fair enough. I'm Lasagna <laughs> Princess. Yep, and, and Mango's not here to defend herself, so. Yeah. Perfect skin. Do you know how many do you know how many <laughs> keystrokes this is gonna cost me? <laughs> Look, what you stroke and when you do it is none of our business. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but right. I'm <laughs> Man. I'm so I'm really glad. I'm actually kinda hungry because I'm really glad I got these frozen fish sticks or fish fillets. Because I'm out of mini egg rolls, and those mini egg rolls were not substantial. Fuck you, P.F. Chang's. <laughs> Never trust their frozen than... food. Fuck no. Well, it was the only egg rolls I could find. Otherwise, uh, it was pay like twice as much for, I don't know, good egg rolls, I guess. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I, have no, I have no idea what the egg rolls, uh, egg roll prices are. Like, the egg roll economy is going up and down. It's fluctuating <laughs> quite a bit here in the, uh, here in the rural Ohio. God damn inflation. Tracking that. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Thanks, Obama. Thanks, and Putin. It's, it's, yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Putin uh, Putin shut off the Silk Road with his Ukraine war. Now we can't get egg rolls. No more people to fly over the Pacific. Can't do that. <laughs> they got to fly balloons over the jet stream or some shit, whatever. I don't know. A broker and her name, broker Tal Nayo Hino Malako oh. Alam, she'll call me a yabba. Ah, this bullshit. Thank you, sir. Uh, I, I yeah, don't know. Just putting out good vibes. Like, like I said, then, I mean, you know, Jessica you know, Judy is a registered there. nurse. Her husband is a doctor. Oh, she, of oh, all people, yeah. should have known to not go up there and start a bunch of drama with my mother. She should. She needed she wasn't starting she needed drama. Quiet. She was doing she what she was supposed to do. She needed time for her brain to heal. And yeah. visiting a family member. The, the fucking trolls and haters and fucking Larry, the fucking table oh, guy, no, she, cocksuckers, fucking harassing mommy and She has mommy. medical experience. She is a registered a re nurse, which means that she right. knows what to do with a stroke victim, which is to talk to them. God damn it, Vaughn. Well, and, and regardless, she was already at the hospital. She's under their care in a stroke unit. They know better than anyone what to do. So she was in good hands. All things right. considered. I mean, you would... Didn't they, uh, yeah, they flew her from one hospital to another that had a better, that actually had a uh, stroke unit. Mm -hmm. right? uh, yes, uh, Sir Little Wolf Lucian, I did say secretions. <laughs> yes, secretions, hashtag. Get your secretions mugs at the uh, link posted below in the description. It's uh, oh, That's what I was going to do. I was going to wear my shirt tonight and I forgot. Oh, shit. Well, yeah. <laughs> I was, I was going to mod, mod, model it for everyone. Oh, uh, yeah, you look great in it. I'm just going to say, yeah. it looks like it fits very well. It looks it's very a, Those are good shirts. Hey, folks, go get some shirts. They're good shirts. They're very, yeah, they're very nice. Honestly, I have two, it, and they're it, super comfy. Yeah. I, I agree. Like, mine, the only reason I'm not wearing mine is, like, one, it's in the wash, and two, it's fucking, it was cold as shit when I, like, woke up from my after work nap. Because I'm a sleepy lizard and uh, I work very hard, um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, like uh, they are super comfy, especially in the summer. Like, I, I prefer them in the summer because it's super light. I love how lightweight the material is, so it's like wearing, it's like, it's like wearing nothing at all, uh, <laughs> nothing yes, at all. Sir Little Wolf, nothing there at all. There is a secretion <laughs> shirt. I did the lettering for it. Because I do too much for this shirt. channel, and we should double my zero dollars an hour. Exactly. You. I will say get... triple it. You, you know yeah, what? I'll, I'll vote. Widow's son. Widow's son. <laughs> there you go. For the greatest <laughs> ideas in the world. <laughs> Tripling up mango salary. <laughs> we, we got it going. Thank you so Yay! much. Yay! Right. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, like the the secretions mug is probably like the best it's it's the most iconic if you want a secretions mug get your secretions mug i love that mug i honestly uh the design the the feel of it it's one of the best products on there the t-shirts are great but that mug oh plus if you ever come on and you're like oh yeah i want to join some brunch everybody's got their secretions mug it's a thing just, just don't stop, just, won't quit. 
with them things. <laughs> yeah. For reals, though. For the fans. And everything and whatnot. <laughs> Much love to the women. You know what? I'm going to I'm going to say I'm going to say this. I have to say this. While a lot of Loke's videos are very strange and he says some things sometimes that he certainly shouldn't be saying. He can take a punch. You got to you got to give it up to him in a way cuz he's just being him, man. Seriously. Living like his best life. Exactly. Yeah. And who gives a fuck if his like all his short videos are pretty much all the same. He's just he is just happy as fuck to be doing it. And I got to give it up to him in a way. I really do. I mean, I, he's kind of creepy, yeah, but I got to in some small way I got to I got to throw some respect at him. I think the biggest uh deterrent for Lokes for anybody is just that like it's so hard to match his energy. Like, how do you do that? Yeah. He's just like, all right, let, uh, don't stop. Won't quit with them things. And he's just like walking down the street. Yeah. I beat your <laughs> motherfucking <laughs> ass if I wanted to. <laughs> yeah. It's like, uh, not unless I have a dog and a fucking cell phone in my hand, apparently. <laughs> like, <laughs> but, like, why? Like, like, when I go in public, I'm just sort of like, yeah, um, don't touch me, you know. <laughs> like I'm non Don't come near me. Don't just, talk to well, me. Es just... Especially until somebody yeah. figures out what that thing is on his nose. Is it skin cancer? Is it staph infection? Like what? It... Um, I yeah, I'd like to imagine that he doesn't clip his nails too much. So like he mm. scratched himself and just continuously scratches at it. Mm, yeah, that that's... could be it, man. That's that's gross. <laughs> That's my running won't, theory. Because he won't stop, won't he quit. Won't quit. <laughs> no, with them <laughs> For real stuff. <laughs> For real stuff. <laughs> Much love to the women. <laughs> Much love to the women. <laughs> with all pushing right. with all the fans for life. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> I, oh man! All right, so I, I just posted this uh, streamyard link. It's we're two and a half hours into this. I, I don't know how long we're gonna go. I really don't care because started late. Uh, we're gonna get into this more Vaughn. If you guys have any Vaughn tent, please come in, share your Vaughn tent in the private chat, and we will watch it. And uh, if you have any defense of Vaughn, if you are one of Vaughn's techno lawyers, please come in and defend him. <laughs> Because that is what you're supposed to do as a lawyer is uh, talk about your case in uh, in absolute detail on the internet for all to see. Always. Oh, yes. did uh, real quick? Uh, did did everyone hear that uh, uh, the land whale and her manlet said that they were now obligated to do a 24 hour stream tonight? Oh, uh, is, that, yes. is that going that's on? I'm not watching it. Oh. That's uh, that's what? why Drag is doing a twenty-four hour streamathon. Yeah, he's Shani. playing Shani's greatest hits. Apparently, mm -hmm. well, you know uh, well, I don't. I think greatest hits is stretching it. <laughs> well, let's uh, let's just hope Rev isn't you know too much involved in those greatest hits. If you know what I'm saying, I've uh. I've actually <laughs> been following XX about it on Twitter, and some of the fucking shit that they've been saying is just ungodly. They they literally started fucking on stream. Like they turned off the cameras, put up the stream coming oh, back to and like started yeah. fucking. And you That's could hear disgusting. it. Yeah. That's yeah. disgusting. Yep. That's Sounds disgusting. I mean who was and, what Go ahead, we, man. I'm sorry. No, I was just gonna say, like we've seen the yuck bang. Yes, what, I finally was, got the chance to see that. And uh, yeah, who was fucking what? Like, uh, what was going on there? Because I don't think there was any sort of actual intercourse. Oh well, you see, um, you know, Shani has these folds that can be mistaken for other things, and it it's gross, but it's a thing. Flop sweat, bro. Flop sweat. <laughs> 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 
flop sweat acts as the lube. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Drink your drink. Just try and forget what we're saying. It's okay. Oh my god, I drove him to drink, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, just Is it all right, man? Are you okay? Do you no, want me just, to send you uh, a Belgian waffle maker? God damn. It. <laughs> <laughs> That's just going to be like our continuing inside joke. Dude. <laughs> I just, I'm just, I was just about to make a, a, a comparison to like fucking bread because of all the yeast, the yeast interfolds, yeah. but like, <laughs> honestly, at this point, considering how, how, like, uh, how little she showers, it's probably more crispy, like a Belgian waffle out of that fresh Belgian waffle maker. You know, oh that, God, what is, what's so his gross. face? Cody. <laughs> Cody R- won. Ooh, Cody. Cody. <laughs> yeah, just oh, reach around like a truffle is... pig. <laughs> <laughs> Looking for the best, <laughs> the best fold. Oh, my God. Which is the which? <laughs> it's it's whichever yeah. one's most yeasty. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I've, if no, you I, find I've, one with a mushroom growing out of it, that's yeah, the one. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> can, I I've I've said this before, but can you imagine the outgassing of Shanny just oh rolling my God. over? No, <laughs> don't do. <laughs> she's, been, she's been vapor locked to that mattress. <laughs> yeah, just like it's like it's like turning over a mulch pile, probably. <laughs> so hot, steam. Yeah, fucking <laughs> smells uh, real earthy. <laughs> uh, it's in my mouth. It's in my mouth. <laughs> oh my god, I can taste it. <laughs> Tastes like. Why is it so hot? Tastes taste like. <laughs> Tastes like DoorDash and ass. <laughs> oh. oh, God. Oh, who fucking. <laughs> who dumped the fucking cigarette button and in bucket in this thing? God damn it. It's a fucking trash. Oh. 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 Walk into oh. that apartment and just. It's like, oh my God. It's like bad weed and. Ass crack uh, and, un- bat- and rotten onions. <laughs> if I can, oh, smells like someone f- farted through an onion. <laughs> farted through an onion. <laughs> A rotten onion. Yeah. <laughs> Just like, yo, look what I can do. <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> Smell. Stuart, no. why are you oh, farting God. out of an onion? <laughs> Suck it back in, please. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh, man. Hey. Thank you you, done, you done made me cry, you asshole. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, well, welcome to the party, man. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, have you been drinking? <laughs> yeah, no, not right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm driving, because I do it better when, I'm, when, I'm <laughs> when I don't have the shakes. <laughs> <laughs> Put the bottle down. <laughs> Face. Hold on. Put the bottle where? Hold on. Take it down? Sure, can do. <laughs> All right. Chug it. I dare you. No, it's actually really too sweet. And <laughs> I'm already choking on my own fucking tears. But I'll tell you what. <laughs> I'll tell you what. If somebody... <laughs> somebody... I would love to... Uh, hang on. I would love to see you shotgun one of those or attempt to. Yep. Do it. I the, now I've I've kind of been waiting for someone to say that. The only reason I'm not never going to shotgun anything is because it it I have all of my electronics around here. It's okay. never going to happen. I'm not going to shotgun anything. Open containers do not belong lo- around electronics is my go-to 
which is why all of my fucking beers over here and my computers over there. Well, I mean, so, like, I, obviously, I, like when you said you could stream outside, do it then. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, I could do that. That's for sure. But I was just going to say, I will also do most things for money. You just got to <laughs> find the right price. Wow. Also, uh, that, sounded um, really, yeah. that sounded really bad. No, I'm saying like it, it, literally. It's true, if, though. You, well, I know. You, I if, mean, he's if, pimping if, himself out. I mean, come on. But if he gets like a, naked okay. on stream. Like, come on now. Right. I mean, if the you fact. If you want to see me take my shirt off, I'll do it for $20. I, I was or, just about to say the fact that he has not mentioned taking his shirt off the entire time that we've been live is just. It's cold. Uh, <laughs> 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 That's why I'm wearing my waffle top and without, without anything underneath because like it keeps insulated but uh <laughs> but like i if if you if you would like a picture of my penis that is one thousand dollars to the cash app and you will get a picture of my penis <laughs> you're gonna get a picture of my penis you hear that ladies one thousand dollars i'm waiting for it <laughs> they're, they're all having you... to sit, they're all having to sit on towels right now <laughs> yeah they, i mean it's caution wet floor signs going out of stock on amazon computer chairs <laughs> have just become slip and slides <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, just, hey just make sure you got some fucking uh i don't know oil dryer <laughs> something for the floor oh in case you're on linoleum <laughs> yeah it's, in fact, they want to put down multiple tiles. It's easier clean up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ann Kennedy, I I don't know. It's just always been that way. And now you're covering my face because I'm still at the bottom. <laughs> Asshole. Oh. Well, you're <laughs> represented by another woman, so that's good enough. I don't know. I have asthma. And I, don't, <laughs> I don't laugh like that. Oh, <laughs> you you're go. just not trying hard enough. Uh oh. There she. Okay. Well, she turned off her camera, so we can put her down there again. <laughs> no, she's. Uh oh. I'm about to get a very. I'm about to get my ass ripped into. <laughs> you're gonna get a very angry DM. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, I mean, I'm actually expecting you to just be like. A, Cause she was like, "Excuse me," she's got that look. Like, uh oh, go ahead, fucking. You know I'm a first degree black belt, right, and have been for okay. multiple years. You're also like a thousand miles away, so thank God, bitch. Hey, I got money. Were... I work a job. You and Vaughn have something in common. Shit, karate. <laughs> oh no, <Taekwondo>. mango. <laughs> No, Mango's gonna come up here and choke me. Oh God! Oh, oh no. Don't do it. no! Not that. No, don't do that. <laughs> oh no! Oh, no. oh my God! No, oh please. my God! Even, Someone wouldn't, help me! Who wouldn't want that to happen? Well, means. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. Res I'm not <laughs> resisting. Stop! No, please don't. <laughs> Just oh no! Don't don't. don't. <laughs> and the bomb is fucking behind right. the stroke. Well, Please. here's the thing. The thing of it is, the, the thing of it is, is is that you know, her being a registered nurse, she should have known this information. You know, this is not you know this is shame right now because it's because it's a tempting idea and I'm old enough to be your mother, Liz. Well, to be fair, most most I don't give a shit, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I like older women. Fair enough. There you go. It's not rocket science. You know, when you got somebody that's had a stroke, they need rest. They need to recuperate. They need further money. Anything eating. between eighteen See, and the very and, you know, the very center that controls speech I'll take. and 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 eating was that was the very center that got Probably that had between the, stroke. the eighty and that was the very that was the very one that got the stroke. Mark. Was the one that eighty five um, you know, yeah had the um, had the uh, uh, the, it was the uh, like a, uh, of speech and 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 eating. Yeah, you know, yeah I like something mouth, a little you know. leathery. And uh, and so. Uh, <laughs> So yeah, so yeah, uh, but yeah, you know, uh, you know, the, you know, everybody's like, well, why didn't you call? Why didn't you? Why didn't you pick up the phone? Because I didn't know anything. I, if I came you down to Kentucky, I ripped those fucking cameras off the walls. <laughs> See, I the reason, you know, cause I know that they're going to say, well, he never, he never, he never answered the oh, phone. I he never one, picked up the phone. Clearly. We called, we called, and he never picked See, up. He, he of course, I'm it. not going to pick up the phone mm -hmm. because I need the phone free. So that when the hospital calls me, I'll know what the fuck's going on. So that's number one. Number two, I didn't know anything any fucking way. Um. um so, question. 
I have a cell phone here. You guys can see that I'm watching YouTube, my stream, so I can watch the chat. Oh, um, hey, same. <laughs> oh, neat. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> oh, imagine that. Thanks for the views, guys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, um, I'm going to step away wait, for like, just a minute. I'll be right back. Okay, too easy, man. Uh, come back when you need. Uh, so when you guys get a phone call on your on your mobile device, <laughs> do you get like any notification that comes in, like a beep, a boop, a bloop? Uh, yeah. Now, now, whenever... now that you now that you mention it, it makes a noise or it vibrates. Uh, mine yells at me. Actually, <laughs> it says, "Whose phone is ringing?" Mm -hmm. I, I was going to say, too, that if, if my mom was in the hospital and for whatever reason I couldn't be there, that phone would be in my hand 24-7. And, and if it went off, I'd, I'd be answering it. Even if I My mom had number. emergency oh, yeah. gallbladder you know? surgery, and my phone was constantly in my hand, even though I didn't live with her at the time. Like, I yep. was always just waiting in case something happened. Yeah. Yeah, it's because you're humans, and you care about the people who you like care about you. And it it kind of amazes me that Vaughn, being as uh elderly as he is and experienced as he is, um doesn't understand that he has twenty-five years on me. He has a whole quarter of a century century on me. I had a rotary phone in my house. I still remember what it sounds like when mm -hmm. someone calls you on a rotary phone, a house phone, on a phone line. I also remember that it's important to have an, uh, an actual phone line in your house in case the power goes out. Because phones don't run on the power grid. They work off of a separate line. Right. That's way, that way you can call emergency services. Granted, most people don't ha have that because, well, it's an extra fee. But if, if anybody were to call while you're on the phone, you get a boop, 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 yeah. or a boop, a do something to interrupt the, the conversation and be like, hey, I got somebody else on the line. Hey, who's this? Yeah, this is uh, Nurse Jenkins from the hospital. Uh, your mom's condition has changed just a little bit, and blah, 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 blah. You should probably come up here and not be a piece of shit. Also, take a <laughs> fucking shower. Um, so <laughs> wash your hands. I, I get a, I get a little aggressive around Vaughn because I want to punch him in the face. Uh, Don't we all? <laughs> oh yeah, I, I I told him the you know what lunch I would treat him to at the moment he comes over to Ohio and I see him, you know, a nice little picnic of knuckle sandwiches and boot four, heels, four knuckles, steel toes. Yeah. Yeah. I want to give him the same type of uh, permanent face numbness that I have. I oh, be hmm. it'd be um, a lot more beneficial if he actually had like teeth. No, because even uh, even without them, you still get annoyed that you just can't feel all of this. That sounds annoying. No matter what you fucking do. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, you could do it to both sides. That would be fun. I mean, there, there's a lot of things that Vaughn could uh, be treated to. And, uh, so, hey, what's the point of sitting here talking... Oh, sorry, go ahead. Never mind. I was just going to point something out. His nose is actually wider than his yes. mouth. Uh, it's yes. wider than his mouth. A lot of times people that have a nose that's that wide, it's because they had some sort of cleft palate. Hmm. Um, I am unsure of his medical history, but knowing the people I know that have had cleft palates, have had corrective surgeries in their childhood to fix it, they do have a much wider set nose. Hmm. That does make a lot of sense. I mean, just looking at this frame, have you ever seen uh, kids with a, like a cleft palate? You know, just pictures, you know, or, or hmm. whatever. Like, yeah, they're going to have a smaller mouth because 
you're, you're taking the skin and, like putting it back together back um, yeah. so it like, would not back. surprise me if he had a cleft palate as a child and is there is there any link between like a cleft palate and like uh, any medical or mental conditions uh, not that I know of, but I know okay. that there is a connection between having a cleft palate and needing to get dentures at a younger age than most other people. I wonder, does anybody know if any of the cows have a split pupil? Not that I know of. Hmm. Because I think a split pupil is like, like, it's not like a slit or anything. It's just like it kind of drips off to the side. Fun fact, the brigade commander uh, of my unit in Kuwait had one of those. I think that's a, like a sign of autism. I'm not 100% sure. It's a sign of something. It's a sign of some genetic issue, but I'm not 100% sure what it is. I want to say... Maybe it's Asperger's. I Which would, think that might be is no longer a diagnosis. Okay, so yeah, if, if you want to, if you want to, I know Mango has all the fucking excuse me, Lasagna Princess has all the fucking resources, so she'll be able to <laughs> pull that one up. But uh, yeah, I I wonder if any of them have that, like let alone Vaughn, because. Dude don't look right. The more you guys pointed out, like his big ass nose, his fucking tiny ass mouth, he just looks off. He looks like a Muppet. He looks like Jim Henson sat down with some felt and some glue and put that together. He looks like Jim Henson gave up. <laughs> <laughs> Got halfway through and was like, fuck it, good yeah. enough. <laughs> yeah, like, like, oh, just like what are we calling this guy? Uh, it's called Riker Syndrome. Okay, is it what? What is the symptoms or? Uh, it is. Is there anything associated with malformation of the iris, uh, pupillary anomalies, and hypoplasia of the teeth, with or without maxillary hypoplasia? So there's no like it doesn't have anything to do with like mental conditions or anything no. like that. Okay. That's what I want. That's what I want to know because I thought there was some kind of association, but which uh, unfortunately, if you knew my here, commander, folks. sorry, I was going to say if you unfortunately if you knew my commander, a full bird colonel, so our military functions. Let's go ahead with that. Anyway. Go ahead with uh, Widow Sam, what, you, what you were uh, going to say. Oh, no, I, I I was just saying fact-checking around here, folks. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like, our, our, our yeah. I, uh, that's why I, I, I always appreciate it, man. Yeah, man go. Sorry. Do, his, do what? his nose was most definitely smaller in older streams. However, comma space, if you look at his nose comparatively to the rest of his mouth and his face, it does still present the same symptoms as someone that would have had at least a small cleft. Yes, old age can make the nose bigger, but the way that it is growing, the way that it is shaped, the way that it sits at the center of his mouth and his mouth shape in general, it would be closer to cleft palate than it would be just old age drinking or any other symptom well and the mouth shape too let's not forget mm -hmm. he doesn't have teeth so that right uh, that's a large part of it right it, it's semi part of it um it would depend on if he had previous jaw surgery altogether when he got the teeth removed because most of the time they can just remove the teeth leave the jaw sitting as it is the mouth shape will stay mm -hmm. the same but in some rare cases, they do have to perform surgery and bone grafts on the jaw, causing the mouth shape and overall face shape to change. Is it fair to say that his nose is uh, more bulbous because yes, of old age? It could be yeah. a rhinoplasia, I do believe, is the proper medical term. Uh, a lot of older people get it. Uh, Dr. The, Pimper, the Pimple Popper covers it. Hmm. Ew. God, I, I see. I'm not. I'm not a big fan of 
Doctor Pimple Popper. I can't. I can't watch that stuff. Like, like you got <laughs> That's gross. Like I, I get sucked into Sack Deep Spa, which is the exact same thing, but it's just, yeah, it's disgusting. <laughs> but sometimes I get sucked in. I know where. I know where you're at. It's just sort of like ASMR. We had this whole <laughs> discussion about ASMR, and how chewing food Ugh, is yeah. like disgusting, but like rain or snow or you know you know river sounds that's cool that's all right we can do that asmr but i don't want to hear you fucking chewing i don't know how people like get off to that that's so Lucian, weird i'm uh i'm really confused by your comment my dude what your mango role play is tame buddy Oh. That feels awkward. Like I, I just don't even know how to interpret that. <laughs> I don't we need either. more info. Uh, now my idea of role play that uh, I have no clue what you're getting at, like at all. If this team, buddy, no, Do my you, idea. Would of you role like play... to explain? Because uh, I'm confused. Oh. Uh, uh... Oh, I think he's talking about uh, getting choked. But that was a while ago. Yes, maybe he's catching up. <laughs> I mean, it's it's up to him. I mean, it's a live fucking show. It's live chat. <laughs> but, <laughs> so, oh, we don't do that here, Sydney. <laughs> anyway, let, let's listen to more about how Vaughn I'm gonna pay killed his if mom I don't know anything. The hospital didn't Lucian, know. The specialist didn't know. The doctor didn't say. know. We have to wait until morning to find out some information. That's why I didn't pick up the phone. That's why I didn't answer any calls. That's why I didn't tell my friends because I didn't know. The and there's know. there's the another lie know. right the there. Don't know. We wouldn't He's know talking about. Tomorrow. Like the doctors situation. didn't know, the so specialists no, didn't know, and all of that. If that's somebody who has had a stroke, they're immediately going to start running the appropriate tests. Now, it may take them, they may not have the results right away, but they will have them by, I'm sure, sometime early in the morning. She had trouble responding. And um, one side of her, uh, one side of her. Uh, uh, P. Basulu, uh, the delay is about right. ten seconds. The droopy, like right, they have yeah, to yeah, paralyze. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah, I, I, I don't know. So you, we'll, took, we'll so you called the uh, ambulance and they came and pick her up. Yeah, I'm yeah, willing to give the benefit of the doubt pick her up. So, and, uh, so Larry Frost must have saw that uh, on the camera. <laughs> yeah, he saw it on the camera. Wait a minute! Yeah. Wait a minute! Wait a everybody minute, hits that live button. This cocker sucker has cameras in the video. Videos in her house. Cocker sucker. She, he should have saw her on the floor. Why didn't he call the ambulance in the middle of the night? He couldn't see her on the floor. There was only two cameras, one in the kitchen and one in the living room, so he couldn't see her on the floor. But really... And there's the admission. Remember that, folks. Remember that shit. Remember, yeah. this is this is the material we need to get rid of. So make sure that it's not imprinted in your minds. Make sure you don't share this uh, stream and don't like the, uh, like the stream or anything. Don't make sure you uh, timestamp this or... Anything like that to make sure Vaughn doesn't get this information out. He oh, he and uh, don't message me on Discord for the link to this full unedited video. No, and I will absolutely not be putting it in the chat at any point because we don't need this around. I mean, this is Vaughn. Vaughn's techno lawyers are going to be coming coming after us, and luckily. Luckily, everyone here is uh, okay. We're safe from litigation simply because you guys are on the security team. We're doing this for analysis to destroy this uh, this content and make sure it just doesn't go any further. Yeah, so, I mean, how yeah. else are we going to know what we need to destroy? We have it, to look exactly. at it. Exactly. Like it, right. You know, somebody has to be the censor, right. you know, and it's best that we have the maximum amount of eyes on this as possible, so... Yeah, we gotta we gotta analyze this and get it going. Yeah, you know, at first I thought, well, you know, she got up to use the bathroom during the night and she was tired and went to sleep on the floor because she had pillows with her. And at first I thought, well, maybe she just made her a pallet on the floor and went to sleep. And I said, well, I'll give her a little while to, you know, wake up and 
Yeah, she wasn't waking up though. That was the problem. I'm so and glad we're destroying this so he doesn't get in trouble. Uh, Mike can do <laughs> with what me, money so we am don't I get in to trouble. Go all the way to fucking Lexington. No. What money am I doing that with? I don't have Jerry's money. I don't have my money. I don't have my mother's money. I don't have my motherfucking inheritance money. I don't have any money, Mike. Every, because you people. fucking YouTube trolls made damn sure that Clay County CPS, that, that Clay County in general, that the Frost, and that every motherfucker on the goddamn planet hey, has hey, my bon, money. Hey, Vaughn, get a me. job. All you little slimy cocksuckers uh, out there, cut, cut, how, cut me up 10 How would he have inheritance money before his mother passes away? Well, he's talking about when his dad died. He he claims that when his dad died, everything went to him automatically, not his mom. So oh, all this yes, time, right. it was his, not his mom's. Blood air, his, all that His nonsense. daddy's money. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I forgot about blood air, which only applies if, like... Well, because... Go ahead. It, in, in his mind, everything is patriarchal. It goes from father to son. And since he's the son... It totally skips, cuts out the mom. She doesn't even exist. She doesn't matter. It goes straight to him, whether his mom's I mean, alive or not. That definitely makes sense because he has no respect for women. He doesn't see women as people. Right. So, I mean, that's kind of a trait of at least the male cows. Fifteen twenty dollars help Vaughn out in the time of need. They Come ain't gonna do shit. I know. Do shit. Shit. But at least they they do shit. Do. yeah. Guys, if, if you want to help someone out in but time now I want to need, make it abundantly clear uh, go ahead that if and, my mother dies uh, during the middle of the night, I got a link that it is, here it is the fault tag. of Larry Frost of Olympia, Kentucky, I'm and it is the fault shot, of Jessica Judy of Hamilton, Ohio. And like I said, Jessica Judy is a registered nurse. She should have known better I I than to go up there and start playing 20 questions with a stroke victim. Holy shit. I mean, and still the cameras in the house, you should have seen something happen. I think Larry's responsible. If he's monitoring your mother with cameras... He should know what's going on. He he left her ah, there, guy. That's what I'm thinking, Vaughn. Nah, I'm well, thinking he knew. I'm thinking he know. put something on the cameras and he didn't do anything. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, you know. Now, like I said, my gut feeling, my best I don't know either, but that's my gut feeling. Hundred percent correct. Uh, Ann Kennedy, sorry, Larry offered to give money to be able to go see Alice in the hospital. He refused to answer him. That is true. Larry did do that. Larry did offer to uh, give any resources. At, uh, at least money, if not any resources available to take Vaughn to the hospital. To get Vaughn to the hospital because he knew since he was the medical power of attorney, there would <laughs> might be a chance that Vaughn seeing his mom in that state might just be like, okay, well, Sorry maybe, maybe we should let other people in and I need some uh, some assistance. But nope. Vaughn just fucked right off. Yep. Because, well... Uh, uh, also, if you guys have a, uh, if you're not like in a shit relationship with your parents or something, uh, text your parents, call them, be like, I love you, mom, love you, dad, this, that, and the other thing, because, um, uh, yeah, show up, just, just to do it, just do it to show up Vaughn, because he can't well, do I'm, that. I'm, I'm by my best guess, that. it happened during the middle of the night. Well, and because uh, when I went in in the morning, murder. Was... He, he attempted murder. That's attempted murder, in my opinion. When you can, when you know someone's ill and you don't help them, you don't call the damn one one emergency. Well, that's that's on him, man. He's, well, he's the thing of it waiting is, for you to come in the middle uh, middle of the morning to get it. Well, the thing of it is, I'm my mother's medical power of attorney, and so everything rests with me anyway. Okay. Uh, I would remind everyone that Larry Frost has absolutely no direct ties to my mother at all. I'm sorry to hear uh, that. He is a can, distant relative have, um, of one of my mother's half brothers named Some, Arnold. Uh, and that's it. That's all he is. He's a distant, distant, distant relative folks. to a half brother of my but, mother. Um, yeah, he yeah, sounds like a just distant, life, distant, and, uh, uh, distant uh, scumbag too. Yeah, well. But uh, but the point is is that I'm I want to make it abundantly clear Parker, to anybody and everyone. If my mother dies, yeah. it will be the fault of Larry Frost, <laughs> who stuck his nose where it did not belong. This was a private matter between me and my mother. I am my mother's medical power of attorney. He had absolutely no business getting involved in this whatsoever. None. And, and, and the last thing, let me stress this again. I want to make this abundantly clear. The last thing you do to a stroke patient is sit there and play 20 questions with them, aggravate them, get them that all worked out, get them frustrated Absolutely. because their mind what needs happened? to rest. She's in the hospital. She's in my bed. And what happened? Someone called her. Someone came living. to the bed. And Someone I'm, came to the hospital. Jessica you know Judy went to the hospital. I know she, they left, love you. she left Hamilton, Ohio, and went to went to the hospital in Lexington, Kentucky. And she was there at the hospital harassing or costing her? Well, I don't know about harassing her, but I mean, you know, just ask anyone. He's got a really punchable face. 
I was thinking it. You I said it. See, J Dubs does this thing. I I sometimes wonder about him. He he's intentionally gassing him up, mm -hmm. gassing Vaughn up. He says mm -hmm. these things to get Vaughn all wound up. But then he's always like, "Oh, Vaughn, calm down." No, he's you're the one doing this. Leading the witness. Right. Like this that's all he's doing right now. He's just like, "Oh, so they're doing this and that." And Vaughn being as dumb as he is, he's going to be like, "Yeah, yeah, he's going to start yep. making the connections." Vaughn makes the most like tenuous connections between shit in his brain and then just runs with it. Yeah, he 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 makes connections like a child would, like a young child. Yeah, so like it's like uh, I don't know. Oh well, uh, this liquid and this liquid are the same consistency, so I should be able to use them for the same purpose. It's like no, one's an acid and one's a base. Like or 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 like um, humans breathe oxygen. That therefore the atmosphere has to be hundred percent oxygen. There's no nitrogen in the ox in the atmosphere. He's no, been going on about that. Wait, who? Vaughn. He's he went off one time saying that humans breathe oxygen, therefore we cannot have what what's the atmosphere? Like eighty five percent nitrogen? Uh something like 70, that. Seven I think it's seventy some yeah. seventy seventy two or seventy six. Well he he, he he was going, Oh that's impossible. We'd all die. We'd all suffocate. Yeah, Ooh. like he he's just flat wrong. It's just can't even argue with that. No, we, um, if the atmosphere were 100% oxygen, one, the daylight sky would be black. Two, we would be completely different beings. And three, like we probably wouldn't exist because, well, well, we you can't have 100% oxygen. It just wouldn't. It wouldn't. It wouldn't happen. I mean, it's. Po I guess it's theoretically possible that life could have evolved in some other form to exist in that environment right but like but it wouldn't it just wouldn't be us i mean no yeah and um why is the sky blue then because oxygen is colorless hmm. just saying if you if you've ever seen um you're all, you all ever seen a, a vial of like nitrogen gas like a flask See, i've seen i've seen some gases i don't know of nitrogen no. i've seen nitrogen it's well it's weird I'll, I'll play this and i'll look it up for you a bunch of questions and i can put out a caustic she does yeah, that, that's the last rest. thing that's the last thing yes. you should be doing you need rest you can't be a caustic. She needed rest correct she needed rest and i am i am saying categorically that if she dies in the middle of the night it will be because of larry frost and jessica judy now, those people now you know you say well uh you know they didn't exactly kill her well you know, call it whatever well, you want yeah you call it whatever you want call it whatever you want they had, they had the part in it well call whatever you want but you know they they are the ones that will be responsible there is absolutely no reason for larry to stick his nose in this at all he had absolutely no business being in it whatsoever and the fact that he did and the fact that my mother was unable to get rest as a result is going to be squarely at his feet and the feet of jessica judy and like i said folks jessica judy's registered nurse she should have known better than to go up there to that hospital and Excuse and stir a bunch of hornets myself. that was the last thing you but you know like i said you know doubt is anything going to be done if she does die in the night oh, of course not of course not because th it, this has never been about what what the law is or about truth or about any of that so no they ain't gonna be nothing done i just want to make it clear though who's responsible in case these motherfuckers try to turn around and spin this shit back on me i want to make it abundantly clear uh who is responsible i stayed away i stayed away okay i stayed away because i knew she needs rest and i stayed away because i knew that um mom uh, you know needed rest and i knew that the you know the spe i talked to the specialist on the phone i talked to the hospital on the phone and i talked to her doctor on the phone all of whom said we're not going to know anything until the morning anyway get some rest relax let her rest and relax and we'll deal with it tomorrow and i'm like okay that sounds like a plan so i already had this ironed out with with the doctor the specialist in the hospital it was larry frost who once again stuck his nose where it did not belong and start a bunch of drama and a bunch of shit and you know and that's why i never answered no calls because i needed the phone free in case the hospital called me there it is makes no sense if you want to know how you feel larry frost is the only one that gave what, a shit and, what was the and knew what was happening because he's december probably 12th. an emergency that? contact at the they hospital kept saying something about december 11th and december 12th remember that they kept talking no about no that, that couldn't be again. right they have he's... a bit of another stroke i don't know 
I don't control know. here, yeah. naysayer, I don't know. right? He's a, he's a convicted you know, criminal. There's no way. That is particular. That's very peculiar. Yeah. I mean, yeah. How could yeah. how could a, a model citizen yeah, like Bond and it happened be on December the 11th during the I'm night? I'm curious. Which would be uh, 12, 11th going into the day. Yeah. Something Maybe like someone that. slipped or something in some water. I, well, isn't it interesting that obviously without without her ability to... Piva Thulu, I think Vaughn may have had to iron his uniform in the military. That's probably why he got fucked up all the time, because he didn't know what, what he was doing. I also wonder if he had the same hygiene habits that he has now, and that's why he kept getting his ass kicked, and nobody liked him. Because, you know, the stinky guy in the platoon isn't going to go over too well, you know. I never told you guys about Helms, did I? I don't remember. I, I may uh, I've known I've known Lasagna Princess for quite a while. I've never told you about Helms. Okay, Helms was this kid uh, in basic training. Uh, we're talking about like lied about a bunch of shit, you know, uh, you know, tried to puff himself up. Everybody does it, especially in the military, especially in basic training. Like, oh, oh, he's the guy. Oh, I killed some dude with a 357 because he was standing in front of my TV. Like, no, you didn't. <laughs> stupid. Uh, his his front teeth were all jacked, like crusted over due to neglect. Hmm. He was in fourth platoon. Uh, now he was he didn't he just couldn't make his bed. So you have to make your bed to a certain standard, right? Obviously, mm -hmm. it's the fucking army. He couldn't make his bed. He couldn't do it. No matter how many times he tried, eventually people just started making his bed for him so they wouldn't get in trouble. The entire platoon grabbed him and put him in the shower and was teaching him how to shower. And when a clump of shit fell out oh between from between his ass cheeks, all but about four. <laughs> Four people dipped out and we're just like, nope. And the rest of them were just like, okay, you got to continue to shower. Here's what you're going to do. Wow. Here's how are you going to do it. And then you're going to clean the fucking shower. So, yeah, Vaughn definitely would have been that guy. Yep. There's always that guy. And no, bro, you ain't getting in my trench that fucking dirty. You better take a shower. Yeah. Don't shave, though, because, well, someone else could use your gas mask once you're, uh, because <laughs> the seal's gonna be broken anyway. Whatever. <laughs> but... Oh, it's a milky. <laughs> hey, it is a milky. Oh, it's a wizard. Yeah, the, the link's still there if you're speak. willing to join. She can't testify in court. She obviously can't testify in court if she can't speak, right? So isn't that isn't that a coincidence? It is a coincidence. Yeah. Isn't that a coincidence was... that, 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 that the stroke it. affected the very thing that she needed to prosecute the frost? Isn't that amazing? Mm. Isn't that amazing? No. Now I contacted the FBI this morning. It's harsh, no, you did. And I don't Bob, know do you have really. access to those cameras? Uh, do you have access to those cameras? No, no, I don't. Good. You can't. You can't like log into them Wi-Fi or no. to the home. No. That, that I don't. I don't know how. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know how to do. Oh it. No, 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 no. If I was out here in Kentucky, I would Please. do that for you, man. I, you you need to put a camera in there. Maybe get caught uh, Larry down. going in and out doing something. I don't know. I don't know. I just find it interesting. It's that the very thing that she needs, which is speech. Is the very thing that was affected by this stroke. I just because because it, strokes affects speech, you fucking dick bag. Go at him. Let it loose. I want. I want to hear this. Look at. Look at his hands. What? Look what? What I have hands. to say? Mm -hmm. Um. This guy is a goddamn fucking moron. Strokes affect speech every single time. Mm -hmm. And just the, the severity of it is going, I mean, I'm not a medical professional, nor do I play one on TV, but um, strokes affect speech. My father was an example of that. He had to fight to get his words just to speak. Has anybody here dealt with a, um, just like a bad machine when it comes to a computer? You're just like, you get yes. a bad machine. You're just like, oh, okay, fuck. I got to go take this into somebody. Yep. When when you get, like, 
head trauma or anything like that, that's essentially what happens to you. Your computer stops working properly. Now imagine just being in the perspective of your busted machine and trying to just simply calculate your fucking life, your survival. Like it, it's it's impossible to put your wrap your mind around it, and it's fucking terrifying. And this asshole just left his mom like that for hours. When you and I, uh, we can all perceive time, right? It's been three hours, and it doesn't seem like it to me, but I'm pretty sure to Vaughn's mom that was days. Yeah, I, I thought about that when I first heard him telling that story about, because he even said she had the stroke sometime in the night. So she could have been laying on that floor for hours before he even went over there. And then he left her for who knows, you know, what length of time afterwards. That must have been yeah. an absolute eternity. Because, I mean, he did oh, yeah. say that he went and saw her. Mm -hmm. He left. He came back. He left again. He did it three times before he yep. finally called someone. But the length of time between each of those visits to her to see where she was and what she was doing, we don't know because he's never said. We also right. don't know from Larry because Larry has not said, but that might be more so for legal issues. No. Yeah. yeah. Okay, there you go. Stop. Well, other than sitting back there at the window and watching, no. No, please. I know you're Canadian, but please recycle those cans. Vaughn Helton is the real victim, and he needs the money from those cans. No, they use the beer cans to build forts. Remember, we went over this. <laughs> yes. Those, yes. And milk, these and milk are is saving. Crushed. These are, these are non- Okay, okay, okay. I'll clean them up. I'm just saying, these are non-load-bearing cans. <laughs> Come in here, just say hello, and <laughs> tell them me how to clean my, my house and shit. Yeah, like, it's I okay. Like I'm not saying wizard? you have to. I'm not saying you have to do it right now. I'm just saying, look. Okay. Right. Von Helton needs your money. That's <laughs> oh, why you no. should go to what's, what's Cash Tag Komodo Gold on Cash Cab. Cash oh, Cab. Sure. That's the one. Go to CashCab.com <laughs> forward slash. <laughs> Cash tag Komodo Gold and don't do anything because the website probably doesn't exist. <laughs> My cameras have been, have been disabled. So wait, wait, wait. What? Your your cameras? Your security My cameras have been disabled. Yeah, somebody pulled the pulled the power plugs out of them, and the dogs chewed up the cables before I even realized uh, there was a problem. I and, and I have a legitimate question. Cables out of the cameras and then yeah, this camera. I mentioned this in I mentioned this in Vela's chat one morning. Why has someone not called the ASPCA on him? Uh, Riddle me that. They? I wonder if anyone has. Or yeah, I if... Uh, I don't know. My guess would be it, if anyone has, there are not the resources within the area. Because he is in the middle uh, of so, fucking nowhere. Go so ahead. what's going on with this uh, this wizard here? You mean right, right, right now uh, or in this video? Um, yeah, this video, video right is now. from December. Mm -hmm. uh, this okay. is a video that he did the morning after his mother, or the morning that his mother went to the hospital. Uh, after he left her on the floor for multiple hours after oh she god. had a stroke. Oh my god, what was he doing? Well, he went to her trailer, he saw her three different times, left her on the floor for an undetermined amount of time. And then finally called someone. And he he claims that, oh, he thought maybe she just got up to go to the bathroom and then decided to take a nap on the floor, like a 92-year-old woman does. Yeah. She yep. had uh, she had made her a nice pallet. Yeah, they call it a pallet. Like, a nest. Like, like, oh, like you do. Um, and I think he, he tried to say that oh, that's what you call it in, in the army or in the military. No. You bed down. That's what it's called. It's called bedding down. Get yourself a, a nice little fucking place. Not a pallet. I've never... A pallet is what I put metal on to get shipped out on truck. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, get the fuck out sure. of here. 
Either that or it's a skid. Very, a lot of confusion huh. there. Yeah, what's going on, Mr. Unite for the Children? Children. Uh, uh, I think Marsha Frost said Animal Rescue was called a time or two. Yeah, I don't... Honestly, I hate to say it, but, like, the children are first. And I, I think the people... Nobody really gave a shit about the animals running around. Well, and those dogs would be hard to wrangle up, or wrangle up anyway because they're kind of just right. running wild. I mean... And then right. when you look at Midnight, uh, he does have multiple bags of food for her seemingly in the house at all times. So she does get food and water and she does primarily live indoors. So there's really not much they can do about that since he's not officially at a hoarder status or anything <laughs> of that nature. But the, I think the outside dogs. From what I understand, most of them are dead at this point. Know. Jesus Christ. Yeah. The, the, uh, there's someone by the name of Mountain Neighbor that shows up in a lot of the chats. And apparently this person lives in the area, like really close, if not on C mm. Crane C uh -huh. Creek Road. And uh, says that. I, that, I, I says don't want to. Can you uh, not do that? Mm hmm. Oh, just I, thought, I don't, I don't that was I don't, common knowledge. Yeah. No, no, I, I don't I, like regardless of its uh, public information. I just don't oh, like sorry. addresses and stuff. It's okay. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna like, uh, get shit, it, like shit you out of. Like, well, oh, it, it, it's, it's yeah. similar to like Christian Weston Chandler and how you know yeah. where he is, like Rickersville, Virginia, because it's just blatantly yeah. put out there and publicly. But at the same time, yeah. Right. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah. I my I'm public. I'm a pretty public figure, but it's just it's more of a courtesy. But that's just uh, I just, I'll put that out there. But anyway, continue. On a, I don't want to. I was, was going to say on a lighter note, can we take a moment to observe the look on Vaughn's face right now? Yeah, I was he looks, hoping someone he looks, point that out. He looks kind of like he's got the the pog champ look on him. <clears throat> I was about to say that's a screenshot waiting to happen. <laughs> Crop his face there, and make it into emo. You got yourself a paw champ. Look at that, private matters, <laughs> light work, Von Helm. Dude, that's that's fucking amazing. <laughs> that's beautiful. Um, that's like one of the best screenshots you've taken. I, I got it. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna keep that one for. That um, face you make when the gods don't help you out like you wanted them to. <laughs> <I've>, <laughs> what? If, if and when I make super chats, I'll put that one up. And it's Belgian waffle maker, right there, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> but uh, I, I'm I'm sorry to uh, cut off Gavin. Uh, uh, I, I want you to continue. I'm sorry. No, you're fine. No, it's good. Did but you have like, anything so more? there's someone that's that's in the area that's kind of like keeping. Oh like yeah, keeping yeah. up with what's going on that knows what's going on anyways oh, someone that lives yeah. in the area th yeah a lot of those dogs have been reported to have been hit by cars on the road because they just run oh, wild God. yeah i remember so, that yeah I, I something like they have to the speed limit is like 25 and they have to drive 10 because the dogs are all over the fucking yeah they're place. just constantly running out into the road yeah, yeah. And that's and, like, his this, dogs yeah well, they're they're kind of like feral dogs that he's sort of adopted or that live around his trailer, and they keep breeding because they're none of them. It's are like cats; you don't do that. You, yeah, you gotta. So they keep having puppies and multiplying, but then they end up running out into the roads and yeah, yeah, getting injured and stuff. It's it's no, yeah, it's not good. Oh boy, no, no. it's just and... abuse in general. Like you shouldn't be doing that in the first place. Contact your your local. Uh, SPCA and stuff. That's that's the what the question that I asked Common. before you came ah, in was, yeah. why hasn't somebody called the ASPCA on him? Because well, I mean that for feral, it's not his, but like at the same time, he is feeding them. They give him like right. I mean, if you have if common you're sense, feeding... if you're like, oh, go ahead. I'm sorry, man. No, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Oh no, man. You were talking before me. Go ahead. 
Ah, okay, we're gonna go back and forth with this. Okay, no, I, I just yeah. It's just right, don't stuff, don't get right? into like, a plight off. He's Canadian. I understand I that. I'm okay. passively aggressive. Like that's that's our thing. We say sorry <laughs> passive aggressively. Sorry, pal. We're not really sorry. <laughs> All of a sudden, you're gonna get maple syrup in the mail. And be like, how did he know my address? <laughs> I don't. It's just, I don't it's cool. It's he's nice enough, but like, <laughs> jeez, it's common knowledge. <laughs> okay. Come common knowledge now. <laughs> yeah, they say, apparently widow's son's address is just so sort of common knowledge in Canada, and they just pass it around. Like, hey, yeah, you know I'm gonna get. Lives, I'm gonna, eh? Yeah, I'm gonna get a case of, of maple syrup in the mail. It's, Shit, I'll take it. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you what, if I get a case, I'll send you a few bottles. How about that? Hell yeah, I'll, I'll fucking I'll, I'll put that. Oh. I just thought you got way too that. excited about maple syrup, dude. It's delicious. Well, I, who, who wouldn't? It's, yeah, it's, I'm in Ohio. It's like, it is what it is. If you go to uh, Burton, they they make the maple syrup. They still have like the lodge and everything mm -hmm. where they the same process. They take they it outside. And they right put there. it in that big barrel and they, mm -hmm. they mix it uh, it's, continuously. Yep. Oh, oh, it smells so good. It's too sweet so for me, man. Delicious. I don't um, mind a little bit of syrup, but not too much. No, no, not too much. But my eyes dilate, and there's just like sugar rush. I'm like, oh my god! Oh, oh dude, I'm, I was just thinking, taking that maple syrup and maybe brushing it on to a steak instead of me like brown sugar. Actually, you could do rub. a brown hey. sugar uh, maple. Yeah, Ooh. yeah, that, that's and, yeah. It would yeah. stick together a little bit more because mm -hmm. the brown mm -hmm. sugar would congeal it would that maple yeah. syrup. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. or you could. Or you could take the syrup and mix it in and make like a homemade, uh, like sweet tangy barbecue sauce. Dude, put a little I bourbon in there. Ooh. Yeah, a maple oh, yeah. bourbon sauce. I was going to say, I could take the Jack Daniels and put it in there. With indeed, the sir. Indeed. <laughs> oh, I think you're dude. onto something. Yeah, yeah, I think I, I'm. I'm into this. But make sure, Guys, but make sure you stick to the recipe. Pick up my own hands. What's that? Make sure you stick to the recipe, sir. Mm, well, yeah, if I'm going to make you your recipe, I'm definitely going to stick to it because <laughs> the last two times I haven't stuck to it as much as I as much as I need because I haven't found like good good like barbecue sauce or honey barbecue sauce because I have the Jack Daniel stuff, but I got like cheaper whiskey, so it's just kind of cheating. Yeah. But like, I wonder if I can. Oh, I wonder. I'm just wondering if I could crust up with like just a steak. I do oh, have could... a couple good steaks. To, I can uh, send you a, a good recipe for a homemade barbecue sauce. Is that even a question? Please. Please <laughs> just put, it in, put it in my DM. Send that shit in my DM. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh. Now I'm thinking about because I I have a, a big old steak for uh for me to cook, and then I have a, a smaller steak. Lizard, you're getting way into this, man. Man, I he's know. passionate I about his steaks. Every really time I've jumped in, <laughs> listen to the conversation, he brings up steaks like maybe two or three times during the stream, and it makes me go. Yeah, yeah, we, I really hey, 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 steak. hey, hey, <laughs> hey! This is this is food porn, individual. Yeah, mm. hey, normally I give, <laughs> I give the food porn to uh, to brunch, but look, I'm a little hungry. I didn't eat much. He doesn't much. like food. I, did, I actually, I made a, a one pot last night and. The uh, meat ended up being really bad, oh, so no. I took like one bite of it and I threw out a whole fucking one pot. I was really pissed. Oh, that's so disappointing. That was my protein for today. <laughs> so I had like pasta and cheese with like a store bought meat sauce. So like mm -hmm. the bare minimum, and I was just, I I was like doing student, all day. I was right like, God damn. I was just, <laughs> pounding that shit down like, I, I don't know maybe it's just because i eat way too much red meat but mm. i'm really carnivorous i need to i need to have protein with every one of my meals because i've been I yeah don't... i've been cutting back on it like i had second dinner and it was a big mistake <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah i've been yeah, cutting back dinner, so I had a second dinner. we've had <laughs> we've had one yes what about second breakfast 
We had some, yeah, second breakfast. <laughs> I've had that too. I'm, 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 I'm it's just too much red meat. Uh, cutting back on a lot of things. I cut back on pork, uh, any any kind of pork, which is so oh, cut back on the bacon. I had to pork. I had to. Yeah, uh, pork, well, is pork it. loins are buy one get one free mm. at my uh, at my grocery store. So I might get two of those and put one in the air fryer after these. Oh, there you go. If I See, can get through the steaks. Ooh, in yeah. Time. Ooh, wrap, I, I find uh, the pork is cheaper, but like, oh, it is uh, for some reason. The mix roll, is can't back. Do Thank you, Lasagna. <laughs> roll one of them and uh, <clears throat> roll one of them in spices and smoke it. Mm. There you go. I That's don't a have a smoker, good. but I do I know how to smoke things on my grill pretty well. Mm. I'm not bad at it. I can actually smoke. I can actually get smoke, smoky flavor on shit in a uh, gas grill too. Yeah, if anyone has a smoker, I recommend putting apple, uh, applewood, and hickory as your your your, uh, your base. Just add See, both, just use, like mix in something about. I it. use uh, uh, weather treated two by fours. Mm. <laughs> No, that that gives it that nice yeah. hallucinogenic. <laughs> 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 and while you're turning the steaks, you're gonna have a trip while you're at it. So, mm -hmm. so, so you oh, like yeah. it when your when your steak makes your tongue go numb? <laughs> <laughs> you take one bite of the steak, and suddenly you start seeing uh, you start seeing music and hearing colors. Yeah, dude. Like it's it's My pretty purple. wild when you you know I, the the fun. The fun part about about it is I always wake up at at least five thirty in the morning and can get to work. Let's just say that it doesn't matter how where I am or how naked I am, it <laughs> I can get there. So, <laughs> also Carter Lumber has the best uh, best oh wood for your smoker. Just want to say, uh, what's going on, Marcy Marino? I don't think I've seen her. No, the moose uh, like to hang in my front uh, front yard. I, I guess what you're saying. Oh man, I would love to taste some moose. Moose is scary, man. It's it's pretty good cool. stuff. It, it is. Moose is delicious, really but meat. at the same time, it's yeah. It's moose are scary. They're about I think an average uh, bull moose is like 1,200 pounds, and they're about yeah, six they... foot at the shoulder. Yeah, so massive. don't six to eight. Yeah, there's there was one that was like the size of a minibus that was walking on they, the on the. I didn't believe how big they could get. They're massive. Fun fact: now. the uh, I think it's the only natural predator to moose is a killer whale. <laughs> <laughs> because moose, I mean, Seems they weird. eat their aquatic uh, grazers, so they eat. Like seaweed and stuff, so the killer oh, whales right. ju just come up through the yeah. uh, channels and fucking snatch them up. That makes but sense. you have to imagine how big a killer whale is for to take a, out a moose, like a yeah. snack a moose, to be yeah. a moose. Like uh, that's that's nature. You scary? Oh, terrifying! <laughs> Learning new things about it, and I don't want to go to Australia for sure. <laughs> It's like everything uh, there. We got sticky, tree. sticky, not stitchy. It's sticky, not stitchy. <laughs> the flavor of arsenic Oops. poisoning. Yeah. <laughs> you can't be beat. <laughs> so what what exactly happened to Von Helton uh, recently? Like I'm I'm not too caught up with the lore. All I know is that he's a wizard. Mm. Yeah, literally anyone here can take that. Go ahead. Uh well, okay. So his mother did pass away. Oh, that's uh unfortunate. Currently, one of his mother's family members, Jim Frost, has the is the executor of the estate of the will. Um, he missed the court date to be able to contest the will. He also still does not have custody of his children. They are with foster parents and is looking like he's never getting them back because his last court date did not go well. Yeah, that's pretty much where we're at. He's about to lose everything. He's in denial about losing everything, at least on the internet. But you can see rare glimpses of him being aware of it. So, oh, is, and, did and, he? Sorry. Oh, go ahead. 
Oh, I was just oh, going to oh. say, so that makes sense. Oh, Jesus, guys. Sorry, okay, let me go just quickly. I, now I have what the idea time, why he would just let his mother lie on the floor, because if he thinks that he had, uh, you know, the will or whatever to the state stuff, maybe he did that on purpose. And That's what oh, we think. Oh. I don't have assumptions, but go ahead. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Oh, no, I didn't mean to. Sorry. Um, oh, and I was going to say the the latest bit was his Twitch got nuked. Yes. Oh, he was on yeah. Twitch. Yeah. He, he was. was. He got he nuked. Was. What yeah. happened? Yeah. Oh, no. Uh, oh, the medical <laughs> misinformation. Yeah. Yes. The new Twitch guideline on spreading harmful misinformation consistently in your streams. He got hit with that because of his COVID-19 oh, yeah. misinformation. Oh, yeah, 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 there's a there's a certain someone else who consistently does that. That yeah, it's uh, her well, husband. I guess they don't have to put any effort into now because well, just open your mouth, dipshit. <laughs> <laughs> but I did get a there great nickname out of it. That is true. That is princess true. Lasagna. You, you, you got the long. That's cute. Lasagna That's a princess. cute name, actually. That's kind it of a sweet is. name for. <laughs> I was honestly, watching like, that. Go ahead. Go I'm ahead. sorry. No, no, no. I was, I was, I was just going to say, like, honestly, that super fits because you, you, you have a culinary Jesus. degree. Yeah. So, like, He's a princess um, of so can, and I'll bet can everybody lasagna can, is amazing. contribute to a uh, hashtag uh, baby killer mango so that uh, we can get some mango <laughs> cooking streams. <laughs> Or something like that. <laughs> oh yeah, milk. That's my cash tag. I'm Baby Killer Mango. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Huh>. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You learn something new every day. Yeah, I mean it fits. You know, I'm Komodo Gold, Widow's Son. Oh, uh, it's Cad Monkey. Is around. Anyway, you guys. <laughs> I don't know who else's cash tags or what, but. <laughs> I still have not set that one up. Like I've been going back and forth between uh, Cash App and PayPal, and I still um, can't make up my mind. Okay, the thing about PayPal is you always run the risk of someone charging back or someone making a fraudulent donation via a stolen credit card, and you lose out on that money. Whereas with Cash App, as long as you are only receiving and sending money between peers and directly depositing it into your bank, not using a cash card, not using any of the other services like direct deposit, you're fine. Because those other services are run through third parties and have completely different rules and guidelines. Kind of like the escrow uh, executor thing we were talking about. So if I send you 20 bucks that just sort of sits there, it's out of my account. I've already mm -hmm. done everything with it. It's just, it's held on to by cash app hmm. and then if you're like oh yeah i don't i don't like dude you know you don't need to give me money <laughs> send it back it goes back into my account if you're like okay cool yeah i need some gas money it goes into your account like that's uh paypal has a lot more restrictions because well elon musk is a cunt <laughs> 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 well, I'll as, I'm as gonna get the pick up cobalt for him. Right, go ahead. Sorry. Sorry I'll go I'll go back and and look over everything one more time bef before tomorrow and attempt to make an attempt to make a decision. Eh, it's whatever. I mean, the, we're all in the same boat. This is a fucking hobby. So it's just kind of a a there. Yeah. Right, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, right. I, raise your hand on the panel, uh, Widow Son. You can speak up, I guess, if you rely on this for your primary source of income. Not so fast, Shannon and Rev. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, got his, Bond's is... got his hand raised. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so does Jada. No. Look at that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, you know what's funny is uh, they both got their their hands raised in a per peculiar way, which is um, uh, weird, let's not whoa, let's not go there. Whoa, whoa, let's whoa, not go whoa. there. Well, I just wanted to. What are you saying? I I don't understand what you mean. <laughs> Use your imagination. Can you show us? <laughs> I, ab absolutely, I can show you. Check. Nope. Uh oh.
Oh. Oh, look wow. at that. What happened? What just happened isn't there? that isn't that oh, uh, what little is... screen fitting? It's in our uh, background <laughs> of Fahrenheit four five one burning books. It's so <laughs> fitting. <laughs> so fucking. Hmm. Yeah, it's all. It's almost like the uh, cows are a little bit predictable. Oh, I would say. Just a bit. I heard wow. that his uh, his PayPal got shut down because somebody reported him for ordering Nazi memorabilia. No, what happened was his his PayPal got shut down. I think for fraud. If anyone wants to clarify on that, but he's blaming it on this one story that he heard where. Uh, I guess someone's uh, PayPal got shut down because they were a neo-Nazi or something like that, and people reported them. So he ordered like German-style World War One plane oh uh, foam and stickers, and he he used that as that whole amalgamation of bullshit. To be like, oh yeah, I got kicked off of uh, PayPal. It's like, no, you were committing fraud. And that's why you got kicked off of PayPal. It has nothing to do with the fact that you ordered shit off of fucking Amazon that has Nazi flags on it. Get the fuck out of here. He's posted shit from, you know, different forums of like, uh, people will actually do the things that he wants to do. The models and stuff where it's you know german soldiers and iron crosses and everything like that nothing nothing hmm. bad to Perfectly my good. knowledge He's, his yeah. uh his paypal was not set up with a paypal.me which the paypal.me is how you're supposed to receive things like donations and tips and instead was just accepting friends and family payments which is the exact opposite way of how you're supposed to accept donations through that. Right. Yeah. Uh, essentially fraud. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and if, if you or anyone has ever dealt with any fucking financial institution, they don't like fraud. Oh, they, they seem to frown upon that idea, don't yeah. they? It's Generally, yeah. This is a classic mm. case of insurance <laughs> fraud. <laughs> I'll <find> this be. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, World War One uh, Junkers plane model, and that's where I'm. I'm wondering where the dirt on his hands comes from. Whether it's from him putting his hands in the dirt, or if it's uh, from him doing those planes, because it's essentially the same Over color. Here is so way have, up high and you have no way to load see, you can clearly see where someone pulled the power cable out but they pulled it out and that's, it's way up high so you can't see where the dog did it that's how to be a person i had to be really? a hit. yeah no shit <laughs> no shit when, when did you notice that happen so, after the dogs had done chewed up the cables which was too late obviously no 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 i mean the day huh got it so the dogs chewed up the cables that's when he noticed that it was pulled off of whatever the fuck he's talking about, the cameras, right? So what does a dog do with its mouth? It, it, it well, kind of pulls on that, shit when it's chewing on cable, so it yeah. might pull it off the fucking camera. If it that's what, I, that's what I always cable. thought. It was the same thing. The dogs were yanking on it, chewing on it, and it ripped it out of the camera. Yeah. That, that's... <laughs> Date, like the November. Oh God, I don't remember. It was. It's been a it's while. Almost like he's been never had any life experience. It's been a while back. Man. Oh it's man, long, I don't know what to say, man. You need a camera. Yeah, Look at mom's house and who's coming in and out. You don't know Larry or Tom. You hired a guy or some Tom, Tom Dick and Harry going in and out of the mom's house. Don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Gone, man. Holy cow, man. Well, I wanted to get yeah, ahead of this. Of people on you, man. I, I, I wanted to get ahead of this because anyone want to, want to explain to me why J Dubs only has two dies top in the middle teeth. Of the night is because she did not get adequate full, rest, like, and she did not get adequate rest because Larry Cross stuck his nose he looks like in between fucking... me and my mother once again, 
stirred up a hornet's nest and got Jessica Judy to go to that hospital like a beaver. and play 20 questions with my mother. And my mother never got the rest it's she needed. It's true. Like, so I want to make that abundantly clear. It looks like he only uh, has I know that I know how they're how they are. They'll try to spin this. They'll try jaw. to turn around and say it was my fault she died. I want to like make that abundantly clear teeth. that it is not my fault. I stayed <laughs> oh, away. Oh, I geez, did the right thing. Like I a turtle. And let the, <laughs> I'm, the I'm watching. I'm waiting the for the doctors and everybody handled their, their uh, job. Okay. Uh, this, this is another part of the gassing up of fucking Vaughn. J Dub's like fuck this. He he's about to uh, dig himself even deeper. Let him. I did talk. what was right. Well, yeah, because he's talking thing, about his mother like she's already dead in this video when she was alive at the rest, hospital. They need quiet, yeah. like, especially especially J-Dub's with knows the, with, what the he's uh, doing. with the center. You know, the center that controls the mouth and speech and food and you know I don't eating. Think and that, you know, is, the motor skills of the mouth and that, which is exact center. J Dub's is a jackass, but I don't think he's. What are the doctors saying? Well, the doctors give me a best case scenario and worst case. He knows. I'll leave it at that. Okay, until we know more. Again, you know, I wasn't even going to discuss this until i knew more information that's why i didn't answer the phone that's why i didn't answer any emails that's why i didn't answer any messages because i honestly did not know anything yet don't threaten fawn with a good time rickzilla dan found i guess dan found out through the end that's that's my understanding the first thing he does is jump on the internet and just spread some watch and hurrah some evil speech around the internet that's a nice guy right there that's a wonderful person well that's the thing you know um it, it, it's not his mother that's in the hospital. That's my mother. That's yeah. my business. Well, he's doing it's it to his business. You. He's doing it to hurt you. I obviously. love how like he said, to care. Or, and then you clearly can tell that he's he doesn't give an absolute fuck. Yeah. Oh, she's already dead, but and then someone talks about his mother. Like, that's my mother you're talking about. How dare you defend her? Even though I left her on the ground. Right. I get that. Yeah. yeah she, it's pretty sure kind of everyone on this panel cares more about his mom than he ever did. But sorry well, it's re- it's really interesting too because even right after this happened, even right now, there there's never been an ounce of emotion from him about his mother. None. Nope. Just it, which is crazy. I I can't imagine. The the fact that he was online the day she. Mm-hmm. had the stroke and went into the hospital rather than it trying shows. to figure out how to get up to that hospital to see his mom exactly he right. decides to stream yeah okay and right. and let's let's mm-hmm. let's also put uh this would be the same thing that that shani did she went oh. straight to stream she went straight to stream but she did have the crocodile tears and the quivered breath and all of that stuff about her mom and she did the same thing about her dad and at least she tried at least she tried Uh, well you know uh let's uh everyone quote unquote grieves differently in this situation grift oh grieves right grift (laughs) yeah (laughs) right (laughs) (laughs) yeah it just it was kind of amazing to me that like as soon as she got word that her mother had passed, she was just immediately on a stream that was really short, but she well, used that to try and get more followers, get more donations, well, that maybe, get things maybe like that. that. That way, but also just like to, to have someone feel sorry for her because <laughs> everyone loves their parents regardless, even if they're pieces of shit. It's like, well, you know. Her mother... I, I, I don't think... Jen, um. I don't think Shani has any genuine emotions. She does not. She cannot display emotion on stream. That's why, you you know, you have the, uh, uh, what is it? Searching the chat face. She she will cry and bitch and moan. And then as soon as she's like, gets a second, she will stop everything that she's doing and just see what the chat has to say and then go back to what emotion they they gave her oh yeah so she, she's, like, a, she's a vampire feeling off the emotions um and kennedy says can you imagine if alice didn't have some kind of money or proper property potentially how vaughn would have treated her oh geez oh geez he he wouldn't have treated her he he would write her off again. So, like, I've got several pairs of steel-toed boots. Like anybody that wants to fit a size twelve, 
Like, I'm not that far from the Kentucky border. I'm sure there's a bridge he'll be living under. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, yeah, just hit well, me up. Hit me up in the DMs. Isn't we'll, isn't uh, he we'll like a, a wizard and shit? Doesn't he have like a like a? Oh yeah, he has a bunch of gods that and... fucking hate him, and they have been nothing but a detriment to his life oh, forever. <laughs> He's a he's a fagan. He's not a he's a fake pagan. Oh, he's, he's a fake even. Pagan. Yeah, but what about the staff of Baal that he has? Oh, he's got a staff of Baal. Isn't what? It, isn't it? Oh, he's got name? Elder Scrolls too. Got oh, Elder I've Scrolls. Heard about the Elder yeah. Scrolls. He has the Elder Scrolls, right? Yeah, he does. He bought them on Amazon. Oh. Know, you can you can fucking do that. <laughs> I don't know. I'll take a look. And here. he's got the several Elder jars buried in the yard. Look out <laughs> That's for those. true. Mm. He he does have the jars. That, I, what are those jars filled with? Poop? Pennies? I guess uh, some kind of curse. I don't know. <laughs> some uh, kind of ritual. Yeah. How much you want to bet he has like a, a fucking small mason jar filled with like wheat pennies? <laughs> These are going to be valuable. <laughs> like, no, those are worth about one cent, buddy. <laughs> What can I get Are out of this? Are you kidding me? About, <laughs> you get about 350 out of this, dude. <laughs> <laughs> In this economy, you'd be lucky to get a dollar. <laughs> yes. <Yeah, it's like, laughs> I mean, you get two if you didn't bury them in the fucking yard and leave the fucking jar unsealed. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> but whatever. <laughs> Not even a close relative of his. Not even close relative. But his, he, pops he, is, he, is a, he is a distant relative. It doesn't matter. I, get, I leave brother. all of my oh. shit to fucking okay. anybody on so this. So he's nowhere near. Um, he's not even. He's anybody, he's anybody on this panel. As long as it goes Larry, Larry I got dibs on his hat. No, hold on. My hat is being launched. Well, we all know. We know. Well, according to Kentucky With your Belgian waffle maker. It all got the same. Kentucky law. There's no way they can You're get around have a no plug judge inside of the rocket judge. just so that it cooks so inside it the Belgian waffle, waffle maker <laughs> while you get a lawyer. through space. Uh, I can't afford a lawyer. I ain't got 10 grand. You got 10 grand. You got to get it. I called several pro bono lawyers. They all hung up on me. What the fuck is that? Really? Yeah. Really? You're going to get everything. You're going to get everything. Explain the situation. You're going to get all this money. I should get everything. I should. According to Kentucky law, it all becomes mine. I'm the sole blood heir of the estate. I should get everything. But you're, you're that thing, you're not, crooked. not how the law works at all. Not there at was all. a written established will when Alice was of sound yeah, mind and body, body, and it was signed off on. Steal my no. shit. It, oh. It's a funny thing about lawyers. You know, when they go to do a final will and testament, they make sure with all parties involved that the person writing out the will and making the statements is of sound mind and body before they will even write it up. And if there's yeah. something that seems they, off, they will consult someone else. Yep, That's they, usually even, they, one they, of... they, they go through a series of questions to make sure that what they're saying makes sense. Right. That's that's, that's always true. that's why always the first line of a will is like I, so and so, a being of sound mind and body. Yep. You know, because yeah, they I don't. Mean... You can't leave anything to chance with that. I mean, you have to make sure it's as detailed as fucking possible weird because like every lawyer i've ever talked to just sort of like willy-nilly just <laughs> applies whatever it be based off of genetics <laughs> i mean oh you're the blood heir all right always <laughs> right <clear. laughs> yeah i mean I, like I, I even bet before like 23 and me and shit like the blood heir okay <laughs> all yours like he he, he just weird. expects to walk into like the state capital and say i'm the blood heir of this stuff and they're just gonna hand it to him i well, mean he's gonna he's gonna get arrested hopefully <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh no the no the the one of the funnier uh, one of the more funny things about this whole situation is the fact that he he honestly believes that the fucking Supreme Court is going to look at this and do something about it. This is like, are what are you on? I mean, I'm Dude, sure man. you're inhaling all of like that uh, pit, that piss and all of that coming through your uh, vents in the floor. Um, 
and your slugs aren't properly or probably refusing to clean at this point. But I mean, what the fuck, man? Slugs on strike. (laughs) Yeah. Do we have any updates on the bathroom slugs? Are they doing okay? Bathroom slugs. What the fuck? Yes, he he has bathroom slugs. Yeah. Last time, uh, last time I heard. Um, Midnight had eaten the bathroom slugs, but if anybody has a link to the bathroom slugs, sure. We milk, milk. Mm. Huh. We do have video of these bathroom slugs. No he, way. He even did a video. Yeah. Where he had, he, <laughs> no he had one crawling around on his finger, and he was showing the camera. <laughs> yes, yeah. his bathroom, ah. bathroom slugs. I yeah. Mm-hmm. They they clean the bathroom. I want bathroom slugs now. <laughs> <laughs> Milk lives with his mom, confirmed. All right. Oh, yeah. And drinks, <laughs> and drinks a lot of beer. Has a nest on the, on the floor. <laughs> you have a nest has on gone up, the floor. She has what? gone up in her nest for like five days. <laughs> what the fuck? What the hell <laughs> happens in nuts. Canada? Do you guys you guys live in nests? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we all got a bag. They make little nests around the house, too. Oh, my they God. They just do their peanut butter. Is this like... <laughs> this... And like all the babies drama, have guns. You didn't tell me you have owls. <laughs> owls? No, the, there's there's neighborhood owls. You know, they they chill around. All right, I'm, I'm done owls. with this. I can't even. I can't even. <laughs> Give me some <laughs> fucking yeah, Starbucks and some hug boots. Patient needs is for people to be uh, playing twenty questions with them. They need rest. They need to recuperate. They need. They need quiet. They really need a dark room. That's what they need. So no, they no. don't. No, no they need mental it's stimulation. Bad. I want to get blood flow into the brain. That's the whole fucking problem. That's what a stroke is. It's a lack of blood flow to the goddamn brain. So you get stimulation in order. It will be Larry Frost of Oneida, Kentucky, and Jessica Judy of Hamilton, Ohio, that are responsible for her death. Period. End of story. I did the right thing. I stayed away. I listened to the specialist. I listened to the doctor. I listened to the hospital. Who said, and I quote, we won't know anything definite until tomorrow. Right now, she... And they told you that fucking days. He needs rest. And I agreed with uh, him. They agreed with me. We had this under control. Once again, we had the situation didn't under call control. And the frost fucked it up. Period. End of oh. story. The frost like didn't fuck it up. up the the frost are trying to do everything bad. right. It's like they fucked up everything. Right. Amazing how that works. The, the frost did everything. Just, right. just like you left your mom in the but, morgue you know, for days. And finally, the frost had to step in and deal with it. Yet. I mean, <sighs> oh, don't forget, guys. You need seven hundred dollars for that funeral. Seven thousand. Seven thousand. Seven thousand. That's right. I was gonna say seven hundred. Damn, that's okay. <laughs> that's yeah, right. That's seven thousand. Honestly, even though people that, had that, called the funeral home and double checked to make sure it was paid, which yep. it was. Drag did that live on stream. That was amazing. Yep. That was I so great. I could have driven to fucking Kentucky and laughed in his face my fucking self <laughs> hearing that oh. live on stream. No, you're you're full of shit. It's like, everything's nope, paid you're for. Good. Paid uh, in full. <laughs> and he had nothing to say about it. He was just like, "Oh wow, really? Oh, <laughs> oh, no, no kidding. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, that's flabbergasted. Oh, uh, so you didn't dial a number? Oh, no wonder you fucking left your mom. Also committed no <laughs> Where the fuck's the police at? Where's the, where's the FBI? Where's the CIA? Where's Interpol? Where's anybody? Yeah, all under hiding Interpol. under the desk, I guess. <laughs> or washing their tights or some shit, because they Interpol. sure as fuck ain't making no damn arrests. Now, or, I wish I could commit multiple felonies and get away with it. That would be awesome. But see, I know as soon as I break the law, they'll be down on me like white on rice. Just wait for March 15th, bud. <laughs> That'll be the last day you got away with it. Right. Well, also, you're an ethical TikTok. person, so you don't want to be evil. Correct. Exactly. Oh, midnight. Put you <laughs> Hey! Who is that, Midnight. Who is that, Is that John? Is that John? Is that John? Run, 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 run. Get him! Get him! <laughs> All right, that's it. I'm done. All right. Um, if I, I'm gonna get in contact with the Frost. Um, I want that dog. Oh my god! <laughs> right, get over there. Lay down, doggy. Oh no! I, I, I. There, I, goes, oh, there goes, there goes the toss. Okay. Oh, I didn't see. I didn't. Fucking hate this piece of shit. I want to punch oh. him in his fucking face. Like, dude, the the the, the child abuse oh gets God. to me on one level, but the animal abuse gets me on a wholly different level. My my fucking dog, the the dog that's behind me in ashes, 
that was my best fucking friend. That was my best friend. He and I pulled each other out of PTSD and we were the we were companions. Don't you ever do that to your fucking dog. No. It's a dog. It's always going to stay as like maybe a two or three year old child. Oh. God, I hate him so Look at this. much. Okay, yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, but this is this is just you know this is a crock of shit. And oh. and, and and the thing about it is, his meddling this time could really get her killed for real. Yeah. Could really get her killed for real. Well, there's going to be a special place in Guyana where he's going to burn. Yeah, well, I don't think he's again with the LARP. And... <laughs> yeah, he's not going to make it out the front door alive. That's for sure. Yeah. Well, he uh, had people, if he if people didn't actually because Vaughn should be there. Vaughn doesn't have money to travel. Mm -hmm. so this Von is what Vaughn doesn't have any money. They drain me of everything. This, every is, what, this is what I think they should do. So if you, if you slimy little cocksuckers out there, I think that Vaughn should be with his mother. No, wait, Donate a couple of dollars to Vaughn and help him get there then. Exactly. Yeah, send send uh, them 10, 20, 30 dollars, 40 dollars. Send some gas money, some, some fucking Uber money. Yeah. Come on. Don't be, you know, you, you're talking about, oh, Vaughn should do this, Vaughn should do that. Then you pony up the money. Stop being a fucking slimy little cunt. Mm -hmm. 10 20 30 dollars everyone wow. chips in three four five people if bond can get back and forth these two it's really two deserve hour each other drive. two hours or is it two did you get there by did you know that a one-way bus ticket from the nearest bus stop to the hospital is two dollars and fifty cents wow that's wow but he's asking wait i thought the hospital was like two hours away depending on the hospital but if you can get to one, if you can explain the situation, if you can get the hospital itself to understand what your predicament is and where you need to go, because she was at the first hospital that is nearest to him, they can provide a way to get him to where he needs to be. Because mm -hmm. they do have record of her having been there. They do have the address of the current hospital that she was at. They have everything. They can get him there if he just goes and fucking says something, but he chose not to. Instead, he chose to let J-Dubs tell people, oh, hey, send him 30, 40 bucks when there's multiple other ways that you can get shit done. Yeah, no, I, I made sure I fucking saw my father in his last few days. I, I, don't, I don't even, I didn't have my car working or anything, and I made, I made damn well sure I was there. And you do what you need to fucking do. Exactly. And uh, yeah, having ex excuses like, "Oh, I need to take an Uber." The fuck, you just take the bus, like you said, two fifty. Let's <laughs> fucking walk. It's your yeah. mom. No she shit. provided everything for you for your entire goddamn life. Yeah, I fucking ran. Like, the the best thing my mom ever did for me was make me independent. Mm. Like, and. If if my mom went were sick, uh, see you guys. You won't fucking hear from me. I'm gonna be with my mom. Exactly. Like, yeah. like I don't give a shit. I mean, the same thing happened. Uh, this happened actually a while ago with my brother. My brother had some medical issues, and it's like, all right, fuck off. I got shit to do. And that was it. But Vaughn and other cows, they don't understand. They don't understand. Shutting the fuck up. Is, is that a fair assessment? That's that's uh, fair. Uh, yeah, it is. Absolutely. Well, this internet thing for a lot of them has become their entire identity. So they don't exactly. know how to do anything other than this. Well put. Well put. Yeah. I mean, While... They're... While I do agree with that statement, that still doesn't give them the right to be complete and utter fucking just scum of the earth. Oh no, it's mm. it's uh, it wasn't meant to excuse it. It's just saying that. Oh no, um, I, I mean, yeah. I wasn't saying that you were trying to excuse. It. I'm saying them like as as yeah. as people. Um, oh yeah. Go ahead. I mean, that's, that's scary <laughs> though. If there's a majority of these people, sorry to interrupt you there. Uh, oh no, you're good. The majority of man. these people out there that are on the internet doing this, like, there's. There's probably thousands more behind that. Like you maybe have like three or four or five law cows, but you know, there's 
it's it's ba- mind baffling that there is people that are all sim- have similar traits like this, and some are more extreme than others. Like oh, absolutely. Uh, it's like I I was just um, sending to Miss Lasagna there. Um, if you've been watching Twitter and XX putting up stuff about the stream that's going on right now, it's pretty oh my terrible. God. Uh, Rev is so like Rev's been building up to this for a while now, but tonight uh, especially, he seems like he is ready to fucking snap. Like ooh. he is just he is so done, and you can tell. Like you can yeah. see it in his face, the way he talks, everything. He's he's finished. So uh, I have a link. Not why? Because you didn't ask. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I don't think yeah, anybody's could you sniping send me it. a link, Lasagna Princess. I would be most gracious yes. as you are. I will put it in the private chat. As your <laughs> knight in shining scales, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> They're not oily. They're just shiny. <laughs> I'm not a slimy lizard. Lizards yes, you slimy. are. You're like a used car salesman. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> you know i love you brother <laughs> yeah. uh i had this uh one of our uh, they're called katusa korean augmentation to the united states army uh they're they're korean soldiers that work with the u.s they wear our uniforms they go through our training and everything like that so uh we had this one dude lee and he did not speak very good english um he had like a basic understanding of English. Uh, and I as, I was like, I was talking to him about snakes at one point. And I was like, he's like, oh, I don't like snakes. I was like, why not? And he goes, oh, so smooth. I was like, <laughs> what? And he's like, yeah, it's too smooth. Like, it's too smooth. And that's why you don't like it. Like, <laughs> it blew my fucking mind. I had to tell him, I was like, hold on. Why don't you like it's not so not the fact that a lot of them can bite you and kill you, but yeah. You're smooth. <laughs> okay. What it, what I think he was trying to say is they were just like he thinks they're slimy mm-hmm. and like weird. He doesn't want to touch them. It's like oh, snakes are cool. They're adorable. I love. Them. If you go well, back on that stream about my chat. 30, 40 seconds, uh, you can me. see the way that he looked at her, and oh, it was yeah. fucking terrible. He looks cold. Poor Rev. Right. I love the air. Right. Fries. Yeah. Start from here, but you can see him like look sure. over at her, and every yeah, time he does, you... every time so he I, does, I, it's just hatred. I also have to pee, but I'll do that after it's this. It's in other people's content. It's not creative content because you're literally using other people's content. Yeah. Content. What the fuck are you talking about? We got a whole ass panel here. Bitch, we got we got fucking uh well one two three four five we got fifteen people watching you giving you one view. <laughs> oh, we are definitely air fryer freaks. I love the air fryer in the. Oh, drag is running it. Yeah, yeah, drag's doing the twenty four hour thing. Spammer. Oh, this is the, no. Yeah, this watch is his face. Yeah, That's yeah, creepy. Your band, bro. Really crazy and report. Whoa! Wait, like, the look on his face is just—he's so this, this trying to hold it together. Five look, minute to look at that. that! She's gaslighting the or fuck out of him. To see it. Ooh. Oh, oh, that's some disdain right there. He's fucking ain't right, it. dude. Dude, I, I've. I have had that look at so many fucking leaders. You motherfucker, you're. This isn't my fault. You mm, fucked this up. Like this at ain't this my fucking problem. At, at, at this point, I don't understand how he is still not getting it. Like you, you, oh, no. you think he's got you it. think. Dude. You think he's going to have like a massive revelation and it still hasn't happened. 
I mean, I, clearly from what we are seeing here, there is the massive possibility that within the next several hours that may come to fruition. Um, or fruition, I, excuse me, I'm stoned as fuck. It's um, actually fruition, but... Okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> words are hard. Yeah, words is hard, man. Words is hard. Um... <laughs> Good. But I, God I damn it, really Ralph. Fucking A, man. I want you guys to discuss this real quick while I go to the bed because I have something to say. Go ahead. Mm. Okay. Well, okay. So there was a stream that Rev did where he was talking about Shani's relationship with Chris. And it's on XX's archive, of course. Yeah. And doing the Lord's while, work. Doing the Lord's work. Absolutely. And while he was talking about that relationship, Shani was giving him new information that apparently he hadn't known in the years that they've been together. And he was just kind of like, wait, you never told me that. Wait, you never said that. Wait, when did that happen? And you could hmm. see on his face the confusion and kind of like, hmm, what? And ever since then, it seems like it's just gradually been building up to this moment where he's just full of disdain. He knows that the house is condemned. He knows that G-Man's worried about the house being condemned and the kids living in it. They're looking at being removed from the house at some point, potentially. No confirmation on that. Like I said, speculation on that one. And then Shani's overstepping her bounds. Shani's making all of the calls and the shots. Shani's eating all the fucking food and he has to do convenience store mukbangs. Like, he's done. He's finished. This yeah. this is not going to go well once they are removed from that house, if they get removed. Because yeah. he's he's going to be put in a men's shelter and he's never going the fuck back. I think at that point, and this is just a theory, but if it got to that point, or if it does get to that point, which, I mean none of us really see where else it could possibly go. And if it does get to that point, I'm sure that he may possibly be able to reach out to his uncle, maybe without her, or he will just disappear. Yeah. He will, he, I mean, like literally he will, if, if, if he knows what's good for him, he would just, if they got separated, if he knows what's good for him, he would just walk away. I was because, just going to say that. Go ahead. Sorry. sorry. Uh, uh, because look, look at what she has done to him. He did this to himself willingly. Yes, I get that. But uh, if you want to play, I, I play, if, honestly, you could place. Uh, and help me with the percentages if you think I'm wrong. Um, ninety percent of the blame upon her, or mm. would you call it fifty-fifty? Maybe. I think I think there. When it comes to there's a lot of factors that go into it because yeah. Yeah. Rev's naivete comes from his mother. I was just gonna say that some of that percentage has to be put on his mother. I mean. Mm -hmm. She she sheltered the fuck out of him. Same with yeah. Vaughn. It's, it's yeah. almost the same situation. But like, uh, when it comes to Rev, he doesn't have anything to fall back on, and that's why he's still there. That's why we're seeing him have all these facial expressions like "fuck you," uh, "you're gaslighting me," "I figured it out." But where is he to go? Yeah, that and it's I, 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 I somebody else want to talk. I, I mean, honestly, I, there I, are just there I, are well, literally I, no I, I words. really know anything about these people, but I know for like from what I've um, seen, and I've only seen one video, and I'm not, I, don't know I mean, Jesus there. Christ, yeah, you, you She's get. Hurting. They like you finally got a hundred dollars through super chats, and if you, and you said you would do a 24 hour stream if you got it, and then you claim to be obligated to do it. Um, no, no, that's it's the not deal a you made, huh? Yeah. That's yeah. that's the deal that they made, like, 
Yeah, you're co- you're contractually obligated to your fans <laughs> and the people who gave you money, sure. But if, yeah, if you want them it, to keep supporting you, uh, and, and someone I forget who made this point, but they wanted they needed like thirty five dollars to complete out the to get to the hundred. It's like nobody gave you the the other money. You just needed weed. Thirty five bucks is enough for uh you know an eighth of weed or a little bit more or whatever the fuck depending on who you're buying it from. Right? Yeah, uh, Miss Parker so, made that yeah. point. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. So like it. Yeah. The more and the more I, ne- I learn about all these people, the more I feel better about my own life. Yeah, I think that's it's why, no, that's why I'm a, dude, I'm, like, I'm, that's why a lot of people watch them. Oh yeah, yeah that's true. That's you that's know, people, honestly, honestly, what I do if I need inspiration to. <laughs> to like if i if i come in from work and it's my day off and i need to clean and i just don't want to i will literally put on like what like the video of their that walkthrough that drag showed and be like Mm -hmm. all right need to get up off my ass yeah that's um and then i'll put on some music and i'll get the shit done (laughs) remember i know i know uh lasagna princess remembers got it this time um (laughs) Remember what sparked the uh, clean ki- clean kitchen? Yep. In the Discord. Yep. It was, it was all that, because was of Shani's kitchen. Mm-hmm. I was oh, like, it was I was disgusting. I looked at hers. I was like, man, mine could be that way. Mine's pretty fucking dirty. I clean my kitchen like religiously now. I keep that shit super clean. <clears throat> yeah. Super yeah. Uh, awkward call. But uh, <laughs> but I, I don't keep it. I keep it. I I don't keep it like Gordon Ramsay clean, but I keep it clean enough so that like I know that when I if something falls off of my cutting board and I put it back into the pot, it's not going to get me sick. Does that mean? Does that is that yeah. fair enough? Like basically, like, he's my just trying to say that you can eat off his floor. Yeah. Well, no, I'm not gonna. It falls <laughs> on the floor. It's it's getting washed. Like know? I've I've seen pictures of Lizard's Kitchen, especially during the Clean Kitchen campaign that we had going in the Discord, and like I would cook in that kitchen because it is clean. It is clean to a standard that I am okay with. And like, if I'm not willing to cook in your kitchen, then there's a fucking problem. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, like. Well, she's got a culinary. She knows what she's doing. Why do you think my food looks so good? <laughs> I'm just saying. I've got to quit sending you I, recipes. <laughs> all right. I'll, I'll, she's supposed I'll, to start I'll, working I'll, with me at some point. You've created a monster. See, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> what, what's going to happen is you're going to stop sending me recipes, and then I'm just going to be like, all right, fine. I'll just use my recipes. public affairs skills and make the it, take the greatest picture that I can of this food. You'd be like, wow, that looks delicious. I'm like, yeah. Tastes like garlic and fucking dog ass, but you know, <laughs> <fucking> cool. <laughs> garlic and dog ass. What the fuck, look, man. Look, it, the supply chains are limited, seasonings are. That's all that's on the so shelf inside. anymore, it's just dog ass. Yeah, like, what do you just marinate my steaks? Dog ass. I was looking. I was looking for some meat tenderizer, but all I had was dog ass. So I was like, all right. hey, there's there's plenty under Vaughn's trailer. Oh, 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 oh that's oh, maybe God, that's dude. why he's making his I'll money. Oh, dude, because we know he's not business savvy, so he's only making a few the schmeckles here and there. Yes. Yeah, oh. Anyway, what's the going so, rate for dog? Is ass it just me or does Rev kind of look like <laughs> Beavis? $14.99. Oh, <laughs> That's your question. He looks like uh he looks like he a looks Beavis like Dayton, Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Fuck? What the she fuck does like, that mean? Dayton, Ohio is like the uh fucking heroin capital of America. <laughs> So I'm gonna say it's like yeah. Jay's younger no, brother. No, this is Seattle in the <laughs> early nineties. <laughs> he's got that that hate Ashbury fucking towards its way tail end kind of thing going on. 
Now he, he does have the the bright orange hat just in case he's nodding out in the middle of the streets so cars out, can see uh, him. Out in the woods and stuff too, so he doesn't get shot. I don't know, <laughs> yeah. out there no, him. dude, I was just tired. I've been working all day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I, don't, I don't have this tin foil and lighter. <laughs> some, some, some what are you talking about? Talking about. <laughs> No, I just wore it on the I got an orange hat. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, I hope yeah. it was worth it for you, man. Yeah. I hope you had fun. I mean, it's cool. The user. Oh, can, you, can anybody else feel that ulcer just like manifesting in his gut? I mean, that motherfucker must be like a foot long. Dude, I'm going to. Okay. Fucker. Okay, on a, here here's another theory I have. When he finally snaps, it may be severe enough. Do you think he may possibly have a stroke? Oh no. Honestly, I don't probably think... a mental breakdown of some sort. Oh god. Yeah. My my biggest issue is Rev is a child, so he'll get violent. Oh yeah, because he will react. And children as, usually do you know, that. Like it, it, he's gonna react as, as he can. He's gonna he's, fail, gonna he's gonna have a tantrum. He might even shove. Exactly. Didn't he and get beat up by Shanny? He's been yeah. beaten up by Shanny. Yeah. He's thrown things at her. He's he spit, spit on her. He spit on her. Yeah. What a lovely yeah. couple. They have yeah. children together. No. no, 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 no. Oh, thank God. Shani oh, thank has God. children from a someone premium. who is a <clears throat> uh, meth G-Pain. dealer slash maker slash oh, user slash question Scumbag. mark uh, and in prison. Oh. Huh. He, he has no connection with the children at all at this point. But okay. Rev, well, are they much better? No. Simple question, uh, simple answer. I mean, it's it's and in fact, feck no, <laughs> feck no. <laughs> yeah. I mean, It'll, honestly, yeah. how could hey, he not good. see them? I mean, it's it's been said plenty of times, but he didn't invest this money properly. I mean, if he had got if he had gotten an accountant or, an, or a broker to fucking take care of it for him. And done it right. He's still got like a shitload of money. Yeah, apparently there's get off his ass and find it. Right. Apparently there's some accounts and some investments that he never bothered to check into that are still out there somewhere. But look at it this way: even if they got it, how long do you think it would be before it was gone? Oh, they'd blow. They'd blow it like they blew it. It would disappear. It would. It would disappear in a day. The, the amount of resentment that must be seething just underneath the skin, knowing that he had that much money and it's all gone. And the, and yeah. the fact that she gaslights him and just downgrades him like on in fun in, uh, live maybe on the goddamn the, internet. Words is hard. Maybe, maybe um, that's what his kink is. He likes being degraded like that. And then they have like, no, dude. I mean, sex. fuck it. Ugh. Sorry. I mean, Sorry honestly, like the thing, the, 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 that massive thing sitting next to you blew through all your money, did nothing to attempt to try to help you hang on to it and actually be responsible. Instead turned every day basically into, Ooh, let's go here. Let's spin this. Let's do this. Let's stream and make fun of everyone else because we are apparently better than they are. And now you know what we're doing right now. And, and right. I mean, she still <laughs> acts like I feel better than them though. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's like, she's still hanging on to this, pathetic dream of hers that she's going to be famous on YouTube and that's how she's going to make a living. And exactly. Oh, Jesus, man. She, she thinks like, she thinks the ghetto sketty is like something to be proud of. Ghetto like, sketty. Like, honestly, no, like I, if you had hit this, if you, after everything that you had and you like just squandered away, and now look where you are. Do you really think that you should be live streaming on the fucking YouTube, Why? dude? I would be. Excuse me. Like 
thoroughly embarrassed. I was like, absolutely just wandered that away. But at oh, this yeah. point, I mean, these motherfuckers are so goddamn clueless that they it doesn't even matter to them. They don't get it. They don't they don't understand that like money money is an infinite yet finite resource. You have to earn it. You have exactly. to mine it essentially. Whereas like it's 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 just like it's it's sort of like coal or salt. It's you can mine it, you can mine it, you can mine it, you can get it, you can get it, you can work for it, you can grab it. Some people are just inherited with the fucking mine. Yeah. Now, you and, know, they, they like to say a lot of this is perform I'm sorry. I'm I'm sorry, Lizard. Go ahead. My bad. No, go, no, no, no. No, um go go ahead. I, I lost my train of thought. Oh <laughs> my bad, brother. I'm sorry. <laughs> um now they like to say a lot of what they do is quote unquote performance art. I will say this. If this was in fact performance art, while a lot of it, which it clearly isn't, but let's subtract all of the um, incredibly evil parts of the, all of this that do exist. And we know they do exist. Let's extract those. And it isn't, it has in fact been like just one big performance art piece. If that were the, in fact the case, it would be fucking brilliant because you get to, you're literally watching the decline of, 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 of someone. I mean, obviously it would be fake and, but you know, if it were that, okay, but why the fuck are you still broadcasting in after all of your videos have not aged well at all? And you're still trying to do this. Why? They don't, they don't have any skills. Like name a name a one skill, however mundane it is, that you guys have. And I'll start with mango and we'll go down the line. Like uh, I'll, I, I can drive a forklift. There you go. Same here. I mean, I have a culinary degree. I like. There you go. Right. I can clean my goddamn apartment. <laughs> I'm a failed cartoonist, but I drive a forklift for a living. So. <laughs> 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 Just like most cartoonists, it's okay. Hands yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ruined and waste. <laughs> Pays Look, at, at least you got to work with your hands. Uh, uh, Gavin Cadmonkey. How should I? Re anyway, I should Cadmonkey. How name yeah, a skill that you have, mundane as it may be, that did you you just have that you could fall back on and make a little bit of money somewhere um you mean besides my day job <laughs> no you're like including your day job like any oh. skill that you have like retail or fucking oh yeah well, driving, I, i've been in the, or... the, en the engineering business for almost 20 years oh, i nice. mean drafting design yeah i mean i'll i'll, I'll never be out of work you know yeah, no right shit. But but I put myself through that. I, I paid my way through college and did what it took to get there. Yeah. Right. So. And I'm thoroughly jealous of you because not only am I horrible at math, but uh well I'm not good at I math. I was either. an engineer. I, I, so. yeah, I'm not an engineer, but yeah. Okay. <laughs> he doesn't but, know how to drive a train like Billy does. Yeah. <laughs> yes. No. Wait, I thought Billy got the trains run on him, but that's that's a question <laughs> for uh, Mrs. Frank. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Oh no, wait. Maybe that's when it was when he was in the Navy. I don't know. <laughs> Blowing Billy's back. No, the up. Navy had trains. <laughs> that's weird. Yeah. He seems like a strong dude to like we love you, a Billy. locomotive on top of him. I don't know what he's talking about. Oh my god. <laughs> Every, everyone, we Christian love you, boy. Billy. <laughs> I tolerate you, Billy. <laughs> we all do. <laughs> I, I, I kind of wanted to point uh, something out that Rick Zilla said that was actually 100% on point. Uh, the mental failing that debil 
debilitates Rev most is rigid, rigid refusal to adapt to his environment. Oh. He is at that is, dude, Rixilla. If you have ever done anything right, that is the one that's the thing because you have hit the nail on the fucking head. Rev cannot adapt to his environment. Well, he's got, and he's this, got a jacket on. He looks like he taped up the windows so they'd keep themselves warm. He <laughs> imagine if things started exploding around him. Oh, well, he'd freak the fuck out and probably shit his pants. Shit his pants. Oh, he would run towards the explosions. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh, comments that? are getting deleted. <laughs> oh, yep. There they my go. My comments? Or... No. No yeah. live. Oh, no live. Okay. No, their oh, live, the live chat's chat been running the whole time. Okay. Yeah. So if if anybody uh, wants to go ahead and post their stuff in here, by all Very means, funny, go ahead. I mean. Well, they are. Kind no, of that's their live chat, not yours. Law, yeah. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, oh. go ahead and. They're talking. They're talking in our <laughs> chat. They're like, what the fuck are they going on about? Because <laughs> we're watching this on my channel, so you'll actually be able to see your yeah. your chats go up and see if they respond to yeah, them. Because so. they're not asking permission. You need written permission. Written. No, you, you don't. Content. No, written you don't. Explicit written permission. No, you don't. Explicit they're all. And does <laughs> anybody remember that thing I was saying about my boxer <laughs> earlier? This fucking face. Does, does anybody <laughs> fucking remember it? Hey. That one's good too. That's a good one. Too. Wait, what? Lizard, Grr. what, man? <laughs> Hold on. We were all distracted. I'm going to say this. <laughs> I'm going to say this because apparently it's what everybody's distracted. Oh my God. <laughs> that's to that's totally just like a I hate my life look. <laughs> this, should, this should be in the that's moment. Dude. Child, like, right there. This is. This is, okay, I didn't I'm get my cookie at snack time and I'm mad about yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, I guarantee. I ran you, out of apple juice. <laughs> I I guarantee you, I could I could spend 50 bucks to print this on canvas <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then sell it to like a bunch of dipshit conservatives and be like, oh yeah, this is millennial con personified. No, right I there. call this oppressed there America. There you go. <laughs> Depressed America. <laughs> it's, it's the next generation. Hashtag the next generation. There it is. Thanks, right Biden. There. <laughs> Thanks, Biden. <laughs> no. Oh, my God. no, Biden 2024. There we go. All right. All right. I'll, I'll cut you guys in. I'm not sure how much, but uh, let me get the canvas prints up. Just <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, man. Oh, this dude is uh, such a fucking uh, he's nothing, dude. Can you imagine being nothing? Like oh, we uh, in the grand scheme of things, all of us are peons and pieces of shit, and we would die instantly oh, in any kind of war, nuclear war. But like What am I looking at? What do we have in front of us? Yeah, it kind of blows my mind to try to imagine an existence where I've never worked a day in my life. I've never aspired to do anything other than sit and make crappy YouTube videos and be horrible at it. And that's it. There's nothing else. You've never done anything. Hey, man, that, that's not fair to talk about me like that. <laughs> <laughs> well you're, you're at least good at what you do oh, that's good. the difference <laughs> also you're uh yeah i don't know what's going on here Boop. <laughs> right, anyway permission and... written to use other people's oh. content written permission no damn dude no. Written permission. fair use there, there it is there it is. Oh yeah! <laughs> fucking boxer eyes. I told you. He's signaling to us. Written permission. No, I didn't. I'm, no, you need it. I didn't go in the trash, dude. Rev. I didn't go in the trash. Wink twice if you need help. Can he blink? I haven't seen him blink. YouTube, really. Yeah. There it goes. There we go. He needs help. So, that's two. Yeah, <laughs> two in like two. five you and a half minutes of video. 
They are. <laughs> oh, yeah, so, I know so, you uh, can hear us Rev, talking what about drugs are you on this time? Oh, yes. I saw the spam, though. Because sure, when why not? You, you can see, it's like those are the a ones. faded, like, <laughs> yes, Rev, do, do the next thing. Yeah. That only the person who owns the channel can see. I'm waiting for the next thing. Yeah. Yeah, yep. I'm a little cold right now, yeah. Yeah, I bet you are. I, I, Dude, I'll get you're warm withering away. I, my body I'm actually a little bit on Ooh. the warm side. I should turn my heat down. Me too. I'm actually about to turn my ha- my heater off and take my hat off, not because I'm that warm, be- but because I just want to throw Folks. shade. Folks, he's going to take the hat off. Oh, oh no. Who's this person? Whoa. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> He's, it's like one of those herbal essence commercials. <laughs> Maybe he's born with it. I'll, I'll, I'll take mine off so you don't feel so alone. Okay, there we go. See, All right. Well, I, I haven't fully grasped the... Uh, you just got to take it off. I, I, haven't, just, I haven't fully <laughs> accepted. I, I Look, I might I, get some keeps, but I got to work a little extra overtime. That's, that's yeah. the problem. <laughs> I Lizard, feel so I'm bad. just going to tell you right now. On and I have the AC running. Lizard, I'm going to tell you, brother. Just, this... just, just roll with it, man. Just go ahead and buzz it down. Beat Mother Nature to the punch, bro. I'm telling hey, you, man. Look, I, I get a haircut once a month for like seven bucks. Because it's like two snips and it's deal. done. <laughs> yeah. hey, look. Look. It's like I, a handful take, of hair. I, I take it a task if you weren't in the same boat, all right? Uh, <laughs> so, like, I've been shaving my head for like 10 years, man. I I used to have good hair. I like ugh, I got that. We I all did. <laughs> what's what's funny is like two of my siblings have actually like really good thick hair. The anti vex brother, yeah, he does have like good thick hair. I'm like, oh, like motherfucker, you're like 12 yeah, it's, years it's, older than me. Why the fuck do you have? It's good because hair? he didn't get the vaccine. It's isn't it's, it obvious? Oh, that son of a yeah. bitch. You know what? <clears throat> the hell with genetics. He should have you know? just... told me about this fucking vaccine like 12 <laughs> years ago when I started losing my fucking hair. God damn. It. Uh fucking hell. All right. So where are we at? At least I didn't take my shirt off. <laughs> that costs money. It's oh, true. Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Anybody? I don't see my cash app opening up. Mm-hmm. I give you guys written permission to use my com- comment. Thank you, Holy Spirit. <laughs> what a dumbass. <sighs> Oh, give me written permission to use my comment. I I, I just no, no, no. I I thought for a second someone was trolling her. I give you like saying, Oh, I give you written permission to do whatever you want. No, it was uh, someone saying, Oh, you can use my comment. My bad. Oh, yeah, I think I read that. (laughs) I'm exhausted. Same. Oh, that smells so good. Yeah, because sitting on your ass and doing nothing all day long really, really takes it out of you. Yeah. I got to put some back on. I mean, it's one thing to be lazy on a day off and you're at home and you just want to lay around and watch movies and shit. But just to be complete scumbags on the internet and not. I mean, yeah, yeah, there's just no. you're, you're, You're hitting the nail on the head. Everyone here is probably like seething a little bit just because, well, we all work. Like I'm, I'm tired because I'm physically exhausted. Mm-hmm. I'm mentally exhausted. My new co coworker is a Marine. I got to train that motherfucker once in a while. Okay. It's not, it's not easy. All right. <laughs> Just remember to keep some crayons on you as a treat for when he does something great. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it, it's fun to go to the CVS and spend $8 on a fucking box of 64. That motherfucker can just go through it at lunch, whatever. But no, I'm oh, kidding. You know, they sell uh, Jolly Rancher scented ones now. Make it extra oh, special what? for him. 
Uh oh. They're, they're just asking. To get <laughs> you don't move fast enough for that shit. I, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not spending my money. I'm not spending extra uh, 48 cents on some Jolly Rancher fucking <laughs> crayons. Uh, yeah, would... yeah. Can you imagine work? Oh, oh. <laughs> that would be the That's worst. Like I have to get up four in the morning for every freaking week. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, Dude. yeah. Like you, like you were saying, I, I'm tired, but I worked all week. No. But I'm also satisfied with what I do for a living, and it's enjoyable. So. There yeah, goes, as long it's, as a well, it's a good tire. It's a good tire. I got up, I got time. up and I got up and and was did some adult things day. I went and got my rent money and got it taken care of and I went to the store and you know got yeah, things that I yeah. need for the house. You know, uh really? things that are a, a responsible adult is supposed to do. I know it's the weirdest thing. Can you imagine actually being responsible? Imagine buying cat litter. Oh my goodness! Oh, oh yeah. I mean, I have to do that. Uh, I have to do that as soon as well. So oh, that'll be taken care of. It's like every week for me, I get new, just constantly. I mean, I, I recently just bought food for myself. Holy crap! Really? I oh, know. Here. You're lying. Holy get, fucking get shit, man! Ever living shit out of here, and uh, yeah. So um, very recently, this is actually. What I bought. Ugh. Wow. Like Real super, food. Super, super, <laughs> wow. That that actually, that's it, huh? Uh, look at it. Look at it, guys. Look at that cut, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that plastic is stretched so tight. Right. <laughs> wow. I think hey, you, got che- you got you got cheesy puffs too. Nice. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he wants cheesy puffs. Cheesy puffs. <laughs> okay, I, um, no, fair enough. Okay, I got the cheesy day. poofs. I got the cheesy poofs because I was actually shopping on my stomach. But this is some fairly good marbling. My right? God, how many did you get, brother? Just one. Just the one. That's a good price. Oh, it's a great I, price. I didn't realize. I thought that was your basket next to it, not a display. <laughs> oh no, 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 no! no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, seriously, because if you look at it like quick enough, you don't realize it's not a basket and there's just a bunch of fucking containers of fucking cheesy poops in there. Oh, I, got fucking, I got 12 jars of cheesy poops just sitting there. It's most Steak and cheesy poops. That's all he lives off of. That's how, that's how he stays so lean. <laughs> Oh, oh my God. He's gonna crust that meat in some cheesy. Food. He's gonna pull a code. <laughs> yeah, pull a code. No, 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 no. These these are cheesy poofs, not Doritos. Uh, oh yeah. I think yeah. these. I would I would go ahead and say that cheesy poofs are more of a northwestern rather than a uh, Wyoming. I don't even know what. Where does Wyoming? <laughs> Sit in the United. Is it its own Midwest. place? It's a Midwest. It's its own place. Yeah, of course it is. You know, Wyoming, right? <laughs> like, I well, no, hover, I'm saying like, like you got Midwest, you got the Central Time, and then you got fucking past Pacific Time. Uh, It'd be in specific. Mountain Time, I think. Mountain Pacific Time. It's Northwest it's Wyoming. Let's can we just call it that? Can we just like put it in its own area? <laughs> No, that's like, Texas that wants to do that. Technically, it is. I, I'm not convinced okay. Wyoming yes. even exists. <laughs> Look, we. I mean, I've, no, I've never been there. Wyoming I, is another dimension. <laughs> I have seen video of Casper, Wyoming. So at least Casper, Wyoming exists. But the rest. I don't know is whether somewhere. Wyoming, the state, <laughs> is yeah. a real place, but nobody lives there. <laughs> yeah, the, who, why <laughs> oming would you live there <laughs> oh my god yeah you're welcome oh, anyway this is a, a fantastic steak that i got and i also have another steak to uh cook anyway what was i trying to flex on fuck you, 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 you that you're an adult <laughs> with a job so you can afford real food yeah and you bought food mm. for yourself yeah. oh i also um bought that food at a discount because i have my advantage card Wow. And guess what that guess what that does? Gives you an advantage. It's <laughs> Another <laughs> advantage. <laughs> it, takes, it takes my fucking um, gas from four dollars to about four fifty. 
Wait, no, three fifty. Wait, I was about to say, 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 whoa, that's a bad deal, man. (laughs) Thanks, uh, thanks, Obama. (laughs) Yeah, in this damn house. Damn. Shut up. Yeah. (laughs) Just read copyright law, and you'll see it. It needs express Mm -hmm. written permission. It only, only needs express written you know, permission for certain things. Um, usually yeah, those things have their own copyright to them. It. They have multiple people that are involved with the ownership of said item. Uh, fair use applies to things like YouTube videos. It applies to things like Twitch streams, Rumble videos. But fair use only applies to things like newscasts and clips of shows, but not the full thing. All right, who gave the lizard twenty dollars? <laughs> uh, nobody. I'm I'm just flexing on Rev because uh, well he's tightening up his gloves and I'm actually kind of a little toasty in here. Yeah, I'm actually getting uh, a little but, sweaty. Oof. Yeah. By the way, we're about a uh, two hundred miles apart, maybe. Just saying. What's going on? Same okay. latitude. If it's for reference, by the way, it's different. Sorry, right, if you guys can yeah. hear sirens. Like if you're playing a news clip. That I was wondering it. where that was coming from. Well, they still need to use those things too. <gasps> written on the news. The yes, no, yeah, they, they don't. Don't worry, guys. I got this. I was an MP once. I'll talk <laughs> to the cops. <laughs> Trust me. No, honestly, uh, yeah, uh, I, if if we ever got together, yeah, I would talk to the cops and be like, okay, uh, this is no, 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 no. They're just being a bunch of assholes. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Black people on my right. Whoa! What? Whoa. 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 Oh, Jesus man. Christ! Look, cancel. I know how to talk to the cops. Okay, I know uh, how to talk to the cops. That's all I'm saying. Well, yeah, you want to talk to cops the, the way that they should be, unless sure, you know they want to get arrested. Just gotta make sure they're American. Oh, the Canadian cops are a little bit different. We we usually would have like a smoke and like talk it out, and then they'd be like, oh, okay, I guess we should work. I'm like, yeah. Oh, what are you doing, eh? <laughs> oh, just having some uh, domestic violence over here, eh? Oh, yeah, she got it. Oh, okay. it. Yeah, she you drive a little fast back there, domestic eh? Violence, so. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've been I've been pulled over once reeking of weed in the car, and she's like, she's like, I smell weed. I'm like, yeah, there's there, you could probably smell weed in here, but there's no weed. She's like, yeah, come on, you can tell me. I used to smoke weed. I'm like, no. No weed here. She's like, okay, I guess uh, you have yourself a good night then. Thanks. Well, I hope, yeah. oh, well, I hope you drive home safe and make it there. Uh, uh, let me, give me a call. Here's my phone number. Give me a call when you get home. Eh? No, okay. no, no. She was, she was tricking me. Like, no police officer admits to smoking weed. How what? dare they? They're, they're sneaky here, but they're really like passive aggressive, right? So you got to be Look, passive aggressive as well. Pretty much every. MP or police officer I know has done pretty much a lot of drugs. Let's just say that. Mm. <laughs> I know. Well, they, they, used to, they used to get <laughs> people addicted to heroin and then take it away from them. So then they would get all jittery and want more heroin. So they'll, they'll spill the beans on whatever uh, crime that they committed or the crime that they're associated with. I thought that was fa- oh, pretty yeah. fascinating. It was like in the 60s and shit. Yeah. Uh, there, there was a guy on uh, Joe Rogan's podcast well before he went super shitty. Um, I forget the guy's name, but he has been in and out of prison his entire life. Like he has just had the shittiest life, and he confessed to uh, some murders, or he confessed to a murder Jesus. while he because he was uh a meth addict and he was coming down like he was in withdrawal so he's just like yeah. yeah i need help i need help i'll do i'll do whatever he wasn't in his right mind yeah and um the, probably one of the nicest people you'll ever meet i'm going to actually find that fucking uh strange oh, or the, uh, the, the thing because it's actually a really good meeting knowing this guy is actually pretty cool but uh yeah some hmm. people just get fucked over oh yeah and yeah, uh, to to reply to Mister Unite, yeah, Canadians only really write tickets if you know you're blatantly fucking stupid. But they mostly just give you warnings to everyone. Just gonna be tickets nice. taste like maple syrup. Um, our money does. Our hundred dollar bills apparently smell like maple syrup. It's weird. <laughs> yeah, they don't, have a little scratch ask. and sniff thing on them. 
<laughs> yeah, just, just make sure it's real. real, this real is, so currency. If, if American currency had a scratch and sniff, what would it smell like? Okay. Um, <laughs> dog ass. Um, <laughs> yes. The last country we destroyed and like invaded and regime changed. Accurate and correct. There we go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It would smell like the previous administration. <laughs> <laughs> smell like blood. Smell oh, blood do I, with that what you money. will. <laughs> what is Trump oh, smell? Cool. Like? We got we got, yeah, we got scratch, yeah. scratch and sniff hundred dollar bills. Cool. Is it? Oh, I was going to say it smells most uh, most dollar bills <laughs> from America smell like cocaine. Yeah, <laughs> it smells like a well done steak with ketchup. Oh, <laughs> oh God, <laughs> dude! I I had a whole ass conversation with. uh my my boss about steak and like it just being stringy enough to not be desirable and i was like yeah yeah, yeah. i like mine just just enough so i can taste the meat and everything i've gotten uh, more into like rarer steaks mm -hmm. the juices and stuff I, have you ever tried wagyu i wagyu wish steak? oh i wish oh, they, there's good. like the american wagyu is pretty fucking decent now i go i go for australian wagyu that's what's it served in Burger Kitchen. Burger Kitchen. That's the only thing we serve in Burger <laughs> Kitchen is Australian Wagyu. Australian. Anybody? 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 Kitchen uh, nightmares. I know. I know. Yes, thank is you. Is there kitchen I nightmares? Know. Oh, shit. Yes. Yeah. Oh, man. I Fucking love how... Burger, I get, Burger oh, Kitchen. Burger Kitchen. Ahead, I like the American version where it's just like, yeah, it's it's so cliche. It's got those violin sounds and everything. But when you watch the, Ameri uh, the, the British version like the uk version he's always like for some reason he's always taking it he's always having a shower and they always have him like his ass <laughs> exposed and everything have you ever seen that no I... it's like damn like yeah. well... <laughs> i don't remember that. I thought this was yeah, about he, food this was, yeah. it's like he, yeah. he gets ready to prep himself in the kitchen so he's having a shower and they're filming him have a shower and he's like you know, getting ready to put on his uniform and everything. And it's like every every episode is him with his ass. Oh, and you see yeah. his ass in every episode. It's like, damn, shit. I don't remember seeing his ass, but I do remember him shouting. He's like, he's like, oi, we got to get into the, this kitchen. I know it's going to be dirty. But yeah, you Alberta know what? These, really these, 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 these chefs, they need to really get their shit together. And they need to clean up. And we're going to do it. That's how this is going to go. Sorry, I went a little Australian there. Yeah, that was, that was very Australian. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> no, you, you started Australian, then you went into American, and then back to Australian. It was a and weird a little, progression. Little cock, cock my like my bad, Peter Thulu. Sorry. <laughs> Oi, mate. <laughs> I didn't realize. I didn't realize I was making fun of your culture. <laughs> <laughs> now, what well, I'm going to do is sneak up behind him and jam my thumb in his bottle. <laughs> How you do it? I'll Technically, it's a cloaca, but he doesn't know that. We're gonna get in there. Watch this, <laughs> Crikey! Oh, he's oh, going after me, man! <laughs> oh, I didn't get my finger in his in his cloaca good enough. Oh, I gotta get in there. Oh. Sorry. Fuck. Sorry, I watched a little too much Steve Irwin. Or wait, that was yeah. Steve Irwin's on uh, like. Omega, right? What? I have no Wait, clue. What? Oh, sorry. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> let's go to uh, Didi Duval. Uh, so true. I have a hundred dollar CAD bill, and it does. I have a maple sir, uh, a maple scent. No shit. Holy. No well, shit. I guess it does. Well, I sure. learned something today. Well, Alberta could it be that, for the that, win. That... I'll, I'll take it. Oh, uh, with, Oh, go ahead. So no, no, no. Go ahead. No, no. Sorry, I was gonna say. Or could it be that all Canadians they eat so much maple syrup that just the money just everyone's hands are sticky? Yeah, you know? <laughs> just like a, like, it's like an alcoholic just saturated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, you been drinking? No. You know they say that it's almost. <laughs> go ahead. I think it's like almost all money in the U.S., with the exception of like brand new. You know. All of that has like traces of cocaine on it. Yeah, for oh yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I mean that's. That I mean, you have to figure right. that, I right? That, I think that's more like from the '80s when cocaine was a far more popular drug. 
but like yeah it it does make a whole hell of a lot of sense considering like uh forgive me what else I, are you gonna use <laughs> right <laughs> you know? forgive me i need to uh you need to hit the head. probably have a dollar on you i'm just saying <laughs> i gotta hit the head i'll be right back hit the head I'm oh. actually about to uh, dip out soon because I've been here for like five hours now, almost. Oh, geez. yeah, we're going on five hours. Yeah, we're about to hit five yeah. hours. So uh, we're going to check in a, a rev just a little bit longer. Um, what do you say? Ten minutes? Is that okay? Sure. Yeah, I can do All ten right. more minutes. I can do rev. All right. Yeah, because I don't want to go too much longer. It's 2 a.m. <laughs> yeah. My yeah. story <laughs> was in journalism. Yeah, I understand. That's bullshit, yeah. though. It should be allowed to be used everywhere if it's news. You don't know the first but, fucking thing about journalism. Uh, Please challenge me. Yeah, copyright. Like I, I, I'm not. I'm. I hate to fucking pause it again. I'm no like professional like DC Meteor Girl. Yeah, whatever qualms you have about her, she is a professional journalist. But uh, please come at me. I would love to fucking and, and see it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yep. Rev, what are you staring at? The void. <laughs> right? <laughs> like, that's so fucking creepy. Just. The door. Uh, Look at his eyes. That smells so good. They have something in I the air fryer, I'm sure. They yep. The best of life. I can't wait to have some Texas feet on that shit. Oh. Yeah, they got something in the air fryer. And e huh? Oh. You're like, I'm getting your Texas Pete. So, Probably to be able to step away right from now. you for a moment. Mm -hmm. Take a little breather. That's good. Well, they've been going for like nine hours. Or yeah, so far, you can right? try it. I'm not doing it anymore. It's mm -hmm. like. Yeah, I want to say I about that. Capacity. You can do it. Can you imagine not having something to do tomorrow? Must be nice. Oh, yeah. yeah. Would it be, though? No, I'm not doing it. I get really bored really fast. Yeah. I'm, actually, I'm actually a little bit... I'm sorry. I'm actually a little, I'm I'm actually a little bit scared of retirement, honestly. And I want to be under oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. What am I going to do? Masturbate. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down. Oh, yeah. Just coom and coom and coom. <laughs> I think I think um, a lot of like retired people are, are actually like being drawn to the internet. They're just like streaming because it's super easy to just sit here and you know put on your camera and try and work the uh, the software and everything. And you know, a lot of retired people are just starting to do that. Like uh, I don't know if uh, Glober Mom is retired per se, but she's an older woman. She just uh, yeah, I'm gonna do a stream. I'm gonna do what the what the hell, Karen, and stuff like that. It's a hobby. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, you better fucking build a garden or something. Just don't go back to work. Fuck that, dude. <laughs> like, no, be a consultant or I'm something. <laughs> well, people that are even have uh, are ready for retirement are not retiring. It should have been lower. Yeah. We'll keep freaking well, working until yeah. they can't anymore. I don't want to say that. Especially right now with how everything's going. I'm back because oh. money isn't worth anything. Yes, I do. I don't know. What isn't worth but as much. Who's gonna go you know? up against the news? And Gas TV has gone up and everything. Instagram photos and TikTok oh, can't videos, find a place so. to rent. It's ridiculous. Oh, uh, dude, my coworker also, tried to say that gas is going up Good. so substantially because of Biden's policies and not because um, World War Three is almost about to happen. So. <sighs> That should, At that least should you don't have to deal with that directly. Reason well, to protect other people. You guys have the cheapest like gas, like I would have to say. Like for us, we pay. We're one of the most expensive countries for gas. They don't own. What what, what is, what is the dollar gas dollar. around you? Per, well, well, you, you do liters of gallons. We have liters. So okay. for like a liter, it's like almost two dollars. <laughs> Where it used it's to about be like, six, yeah, it's about six dollars a gallon. How is yeah. it in the middle? That's fucking. Are ridiculous. you fucking serious, man? You don't. You don't even. 
Which yeah, one are you talking about? Six dollars a gallon or them digging out of the air fryer? Just like the fucking air, the air fryer, fryer, like right <laughs> where they fucking sleep. Yeah. My God, people. Maybe they oh, like to if, wake up in the morning to their air fryer. Just like if anybody has that picture, sorry to cut you off, but anybody has that picture of their room, please send yes. it to the DMs and let me know because I really need to see that. I I oh now that did, it comes up. I really need to see that shit. Did, did you guys Go see ahead. that stream where they were? Um, they kept popping the breaker because they had two two space heaters in there, the air fryer, uh, and who knows what else? All their electronics. They are and turning like, that house into a fire hazard. Oh yeah. Oh the the house is uh, legally condemned. As yep. far are you as serious? I know. Oh yeah. They, they they should not be li living there at it's all. It's only a matter of time till they get pushed out. Yeah, and for those of uh, disclaimer, those people that are like, "Oh, this is horrible." Yeah, they have kids and everything. Don't do a goddamn thing. Don't do anything. Everything's in the works. Shut the fuck up about it. People that need Don't, to know are aware. Yeah, just so yeah, every, yeah, everyone that's just, just chill, sit back and watch. You're not involved. That's all you have to. That's all you have to know. As much as you want to get involved, as much as you want to like march in there and be like, hey, "Look, I'm taking these fucking kids." No, don't. It's it's. You got about they got about two weeks. I'd say, so. It with those teeth. <sighs> and honestly, this is actually a great fucking uh, screenshot <laughs> of Shaney just. Those teeth, are just, those teeth are just hanging on. Those nasty-ass teeth. And she's and just reaching right into the, the air fryer. Like, right into the basin. <sighs> but, sorry. Oh, no, man. Not, no, no, no. You're good. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Um, <laughs> the fact that she thinks that people enjoy watching her shove food in her gullet just That's astonishes me. Yeah. Like really? The only time I, I like watching people eat right is now. when I <laughs> go ahead. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I, fuck. No, I just I feel uncomfortable eating right now. But like, there's people out there. Like when I was streaming earlier, people enjoy for some reason. It's weird, but to have someone like that eating. I mean, it's fairly selective. I mean, there's a pretty, pretty hard line between. <clears throat> People who like watching people eat and people who don't like watching people eat. You know, I mean, I, I, when I, if I ever chew something, I put my hand over my mouth, and that's actually something I've learned from women. It's actually just put, put your hand over your mouth and just be like, oh, no, 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 no I'm going to talk and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, Simply because it's, it's a better thing to do because you're not spitting your fucking food all over the place. Oh, or you can get your little bits and parts out there but these <laughs> <laughs> I mean at Cotillion if you ever dared try to speak with food in your mouth you got smacked well it's not proper southern etiquette women do not speak with food in their mouths oh man that's um so like that's sexist you know how Putin wants to turn Ukraine to like a nuclear wasteland? Can we just like do that to the south? Especially hey. Florida. Okay, well, uh, let's Whoa. start with Florida. Okay, that's fair. Can we do that? Um, see guys how are already goes? doing hey. it on your own slowly. Hey, but I, I, just... I happen to reside in that part of the world. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm sorry to so do I. Back, buddy, but Look. Sucks to be you. Here. <laughs> you've got you got plenty of warning. You can mosey out of there anytime you want. <laughs> yeah, just leave. Hey. The just fact leave. that you just use the word mosey is just like fucking weird. <laughs> Come on, my mom's shelter. Okay, fine. now I have a question. I have a question. What do we think that she is about to pull out of this thing? Chicken. Hmm. Oh, she wants it with the hot sauce. Chicken. Chicken. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hot sauce chicken. I think it's I, I some kind of sandwich. Air fried sandwich? <laughs> Grilled cheese? <laughs> air, air fried <laughs> cheese? I don't know. Oh. Maybe. I mean, you never know with these two. It's, well, it could be like a... I mean, they're definitely going to be 
buying frozen, not fresh. Right. So it could be like a frozen sandwich. That's true. Or like chicken tenders or something. Yes. Something like that. Like the, the fries. No, they're, they're not going to be fresh potatoes because uh, I think for three ninety nine I could get a bunch of like crinkle cut fries and stuff. But for five ninety nine you can get five pounds of potatoes. S- Sydney, don't spoil the surprise. <laughs> yeah, don't be a noble lizard, Sydney. <laughs> well, she said she knows what it is. I'm like, wait. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, so let's see. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Drum roll, yeah, please. I'm worried about the middle. Oh, okay. You wanna, oh, you wanna, what was that? Well, Ooh, it's, certain... it's definitely something thick. What? She says she's worried about the middle. Well, so, it could be chicken then. Something it, chicken. It possibly. Could, could be, yeah. I don't know. Pork I would even? say chicken because it's got to be, there's got to be some kind of protein in there, some kind of meat. Do we re- even remember what? I'm pretty sure they said it. We just missed it. Put a knife. Oh, okay. oh and then yeah, they forget to mute their mic when they. Yeah, it feels. We'll be right hard. back. Okay. Oh, they. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> do it for two more minutes. Wow. Well. Like we'll do it slowly. Wait for Keep the yellow. Air fryer cane. Not really. It's very. Yeah. If you screw that up, then I'll be done. Did you guys fucking hear that? No. What do you say? say? Hold the fuck on. Can you turn that up? Can you turn it up a little bit? Yeah, I'm gonna turn it up for you guys because the uh, the audio on the video is a little bit low. Hold on. I think I heard him correctly. Hold on. Yeah. If you screw that up, then oh my god. If you screw that up, then oh my god. Wait, hold on. Slowly. He's an air fryer cane. Not really. It's very easy to do. Okay. Yeah. If you screw that up, then oh my god. Okay, I I thought he I thought he said you got to put that on mute if you screw that up. Oh, like or help me, God! <laughs> that would have been that would have been fucking epic. But mm, so I also no. picked up on he's an air fryer keen, king. Yeah, keen. No, keen. The <laughs> yeah, G does I, not exist. Right. No, no, no. Well, yeah. it exists. It exists at, uh, for something, but we're not going to go into that. Oh, right. Yeah, we'll we'll uh, talk yeah. about she, that sure. later. She saves up the G's. <laughs> yeah, she, definitely. She's got a little G box. <laughs> she oh, saves oh. them up for when they really matter. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> when, they, when she can connect them to certain uh, other letters, yeah, hard ones. She likes. <laughs> do, do, do. Any new updates from XX? There, uh, Miss Lasagna. My phone's oh, charging. No. That isn't a watermelon. What, That's a what? freaking tobacco bag. Oh, it's the and, tobacco. and the grape juice. I thought it was a watermelon head. They thought it was a cat. The the fuck? Fuck? What? Because I mean the problem is is that they have so little light in here that the cameras are struggling to get anything in. And they have the gain turned all the way up. Hmm. So the, these cameras are 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 dying. They're like we need light. They don't have any. They don't have three point lighting like they used to have in the the um, Colorado apartment. They don't have uh, natural lighting or anything. They just have basic lighting. So like the way I use my screens to light myself, that's the way they're doing this, and it's not fucking working. Partially because well, she has a blue screen behind her. So it's just absorbing all of that light and she's an idiot, but the camera can't make sense of anything that's going on over here. Yeah. <laughs> yes. 
hey, I'm just helping the folks along. There we go. Okay, is this an option? Yes. That's enough. Okay, great. That is. That is my pickle. The most recent update from XX is a quote from Shani that says, You can see the Africa in his eyes. <laughs> what? Mr. Grumpy Head. Oh. What is that? Uh, I love you. Uh. Whatever that means. Is, yeah. Is it, is it that he's starving? Is that a. Is it a starving joke? Or. And did Rev become an Ethernopian? <laughs> Rev changed his name to Starving Marvin. <laughs> so fucked no. up. I'm sorry. <laughs> That was that was that was good. That was a good one. That was, that was good. Really great. That was really good. Yes. <laughs> so, who who here thinks that they're going to actually last twenty four hours on the stream and not just pass out? I believe they'll pass out. Turn off I, the lights and start humping again. Yeah, they'll how last. The, how the f take it, kitty? Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, kitty. That's my pie pie. That's a bad kitty. That's my chicken pie pie. <laughs> Mom, oh Kitty's God. being a dildo. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, good. I'm glad we've all seen the first South Park. Yeah. <laughs> I know. How could you not? Sleeping with mommy tonight. <laughs> Don't you put that evil on him, Ricky Bobby? <laughs> oh no. Oh my God! Uh, take care, uh, D. Duval. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, we're about Bye, to Pandine. we're about to sign off. Which uh, wait, that's Pandine, is it? That's Pandine. Okay. Thank you, Pandine, for being here. I always appreciate it. Yeah, we're about to sign off. We should have done that thirty minutes ago. Anyway, <laughs> um, fuck these. Even idiots. though you're grumpster. Ooh, air fryer chimichangas. Oh, no. oh. oh. That's well, what it is. they those are not cooked. Nope. Those are not cooked through. And do, you, um, and do you really need three of them? I mean, I know they're not that big, but still. No. Oh, dude. Eating I can, one I can, and a half is enough for me because, like, once yeah. I get into the second one, it's like, oh, I regret this decision. Unless you know, <laughs> I, I always just order one? three chimichangas. <laughs> Milk's just like I hate my life. <laughs> yeah, but you're probably ordering good Jimmy Chong is not frozen, right? Oh, yeah, exactly. no, all he has is frozen. No judgment. Here. No judgment. You know what you know what pisses me off about uh ordering chimichangas? I feel like everyone's gonna be like, oh great, he's doing it because of death pool. Uh, here we go. Uh, Fuck you. No, I've been ordering chimichangas at Mexican restaurants since uh, I discovered them. Because they're the greatest thing. Yeah, they're the yeah. only. They're, the, they're like the go-to. I don't it's know like why a, it's so like, it's with, with Deadpool oh, at all. You know, like I understand that he loves those he used chimichangas. To, yeah, he uses it once in a while. You know, I, I would say like, the comics. He only maybe Good. says it maybe four or five times. It's a catchphrase. Good, but it doesn't make the character. It doesn't make the person. Right. They like chimichangas. Because I love my chimichangas. Oh, yeah, who doesn't fucking love chimichangas? It's a deep fried burrito. Hey man, if Deadpool can eat chimichangas, I can eat chimichangas. You know what? I'm about to go fucking jump into a river. <laughs> it's cold outside. Anyway, <laughs> folks. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Ooh, air fryer chimichangas. Oh, don't fall. Oh, man. if she yeah, dropped it, that would have been bed. hilarious. Just flopped on the bed. Still eat it, though. They look. Ooh, air covered in cat hair. Fryer yeah. They look. Soft. Five second rule. Yeah, chimichangas are supposed to be crispy, right? They're deep fried. Yeah, yeah they're yeah. supposed to be very crispy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, those look soft. Though they don't actually. Well, I'd be curious to try is... one on a deep fryer, or uh, not deep fryer, air fryer. Well, these aren't cooked properly, so I would be right. more. If, than if it was thought out beforehand, <laughs> I'm. Then maybe I'm. Just... Be a higher chance. 
How that, um, they they just see the thing is like I bought. Sorry to cut you off. Uh, no, no, you're good, bro. Like, I'm so, I'm sorry, man. I I I bought uh mini egg rolls from the grocery store earlier today, mm-hmm. and I literally just went on my phone and was just like, oh well, how do I cook these in an air fryer? Because they didn't have instructions. They didn't do this. They cooked them in the microwave instructions. Hmm. Oh, I guess uh, I, I could see that happening. Because they're dumb. Right. They're, they're some saucer Are there. they? Those, uh, I was about to say, those uh, chimichangas look like they may ha- have a little more uh, slack and floppage than Rev. <laughs> Ooh, they, they definitely have a little uh, a lot more girth let's just say that <laughs> but they're just as doughy and soft <laughs> <laughs> hashtag revs front butt <laughs> <laughs> and with that good night folks fucking <laughs> 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 you broke Widow's song. Do what? Where did we go? Here we go. Those need some sauce over them. Happy go. Where? No, they don't. <laughs> where? What? Can I see one of your like regular meals? Because I don't think I, I don't yeah, think you totally need sauce. Have on proper it. nutrition. Like somebody needs to cook. A, a meal for you like what the fuck these don't need sauce they need they need <laughs> cooking they need competence they need some some dipping sauce maybe but some sour cream on the side some salsa you know that's all you really need but these, normally these traditional are... chimichangas don't they just cover it in a nice sauce yes it's uh yeah. closer to like an enchilada sauce it's a red sauce mm. yes i think that makes an enchilada soon these are cold in the middle Yes, they have to be. Well, let's see. If they bite into it, they might. One of them might get mad at the other one. Do they I bite into the it? Oh, don't fall. Oh. You don't fall off and the I'm only plate that they have. No. Oh, my God. That's. Fun fact. If you ever go to a military defect in the, <laughs> defect in the United States, that stands for dining facility, if you ever go there, the only hot sauce you will find is Texas Pete because that's the only hot sauce that has a contract with the United States military. So uh, that Texas Pete, I wonder how long they've had that because that looks very off colored if you look at the bottom. Uh, that's yeah. more of a brown yeah. had it color. Ever. It's separated. I got a dollar <laughs> says she doesn't shake the bottle. Yeah, I was going to say if you shake it, it should be fine, but you know. Also expiry mm. dates too, maybe. No, she's she's not gonna shake that bottle. Oh. Well, if see. you're in the South, you damn well know that Texas Pete is the best. Texas Pete is not Yo. the best. No, it is not. Hey, there you go. That's the, have you guys ever had that? I have. No. It's delicious. It is. It's delicious. I love it. I will say I'm more of a fan of uh, Tapatio. Oh, yeah, you can't go wrong with that. You like some tapatio. It's it's um, not it's not too hot. It's not overbearing. It's actually very nice, and I like to cook with it. Uh, I like Ooh, heat. I, yeah, I don't like chemical right. heat. Like if it's a chemical hot, no, oh, I can't have it. Or a vinegar I hot. That. Uh, it, See, it depends. I'll, hmm? I'll take the vinegar hot over the like the chemical hot because. Like if it's overbearing, yeah, but like the the tapatio is great for like cooking because it cooks off a lot of the stuff, uh, a lot of the medium, and then keeps the spices. Whereas like Tabasco and stuff is just sort of like keeps the Tabasco vinegar flavor. Yeah, for me, but like my my thing is just um, no, dude, I lived in the South for three fucking years. Um, if you took Texas Pete to anybody that I knew that I know they'd be like a Southern staple. Are you fucking kidding? No, we could, <laughs> we, we'll go for like authentic barbecue sauce or hot sauce or something. Texas Pete. 
What? Tapatio, maybe, because I'm on the border, but fuck you, Texas Pete. Who <laughs> what? <laughs> Some northern shit, asshole. <laughs> it's like going to Australia and ordering a Foster's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like, they will uh, they will deport you from Australia. They will straight to the airport. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, mate. <laughs> Me, Are you me stop there. I think they wouldn't say mate, they would say another four letter word. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, uh, uh, meanwhile in the US, like you if the Australians come over to the US, they're like, Oh, give me a Bud Light. It's like, okay, sure, here's that's yeah. six dollars. <laughs> Hashtag capitalism, whatever. <laughs> give me that yeah. fucking money. Six dollars <laughs> for a <laughs> bottle of pure garbage. It's like, oh, this tastes like shit. Yeah, it's a Bud Light. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to America. Who <laughs> 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 the fuck you think you are, Eddie Murphy? Shit. <laughs> Texas individual. I love Texas Pete. What the fuck? God, he's go. so bundled up, dude. Texas individual. Well, dude, can looks you imagine like, there's like that window? Is that a window in. above them? I think it's uh, she was moving it around. I think it's like a lamp or something. Well, Mindy oh. F there. said Rev is a Captain Morgan. Oh, I see there's... the light goes on and off. I thought it was like a window with like duct tape with like surround rats. Apple. Apple. No, it's in the no. foreground. Oh my god, how many have we got? Yeah, I I feel like that might be some kind of like lot. diffuser Quite or something. Names. Yeah. yeah. But they're not using it properly because they're in shit lighting and and they're dumb. Exactly, and it it. <laughs> Sorry. Captain Obvious here. I was trying to hold it together, but I can't. <laughs> She looks like she just ripped a fart in Ram's direction. <laughs> After eating those burritos, you don't want to be trusting any farts. And uh, all right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and uh, post that one in the uh, Discord. Y'all do what you want. Um, <laughs> Go on now. <laughs> go on. seem drastic or if Jesus comes. Yeah. I think Jesus might wake us up. Honestly, Rev, Rev, literally, That's an awesome, you're right. stand up and walk out the door. Just literally, that's, that's all you have to do. You have no obligation to anything that's going on here. I know Am I wrong? Red hot. No, you're red not red wrong. Hot. If anything, no. she owes him for all oh, that money yes. she blew. I like but he could just walk like away. Yeah, he could. Walk yeah. away. Red. Hey, don't look really back. Just. I really love Ooh, can you scratch my back? Get your ass up in the middle of the night when she is sawing massive logs and sucking all the oxygen out of the room. Get your ass up and leave. What is happening That's here? One of the... Was he digging around back there? <laughs> she oh, wanted gosh. him to scratch his her back, and uh, that's the face that she's making while he's doing it. And I have concerns. <laughs> Rev. Oh, they're gonna they're gonna smash right on YouTube. <laughs> They've done it before. They did it in the last sleep stream. Yeah. Oh man, I just I oh. Another South Park reference came to mind, but I really shouldn't do it. I really shouldn't. Yeah, Y'all yeah. seen that video of the mm. Russian soldier carrying grenades through a crowd where he's just like, oh, I got hand grenades and shit like that. Can't this guy come to their house and, like, trip? <laughs> oh, oh but Butterfingers. Oh. <laughs> In Minecraft. In Minecraft. In Minecraft. Exactly. Thank I you. Mean... Thank you, Widow. I was going to say. <laughs> In Minecraft, of course. Look, I mean, trip. Uh, I was just going to say, trip balls on acid like they do. All trip the time balls on acid. <laughs> do you... Oh, my God, man. That shit was the bomb. Hey, I. 
Here's your half of the sunshine acid. Eat it. (laughs) (laughs) That's what I've heard from all of the elves that talk to me. Oh, yeah. (laughs) From my experiences. That's cool. Turn on, tune in, and drop out, as Timothy Leary said. Exactly. That's why I listen to everything that lives on my shoulders. Remember, kids. (laughs) Remember, kids. (laughs) Stay in drugs. Don't do school. (laughs) Oh, shit. Fuck that one up. (laughs) That's why I listen to everything on my shoulder. (laughs) Jesus Christ, man. What do you have living up there? (laughs) Um, Hopefully. Don't answer that. I'm afraid afraid to know. (laughs) Yeah, do you really want to (laughs) know? Hey. Yeah. Let me straighten on my hat and I'll I'll tell you. Okay. <laughs> married is they can scratch your back. When you're itchy. Okay. Hearts in the chat for Sydney. Oh, easily like this. Oh, look at that! Hey guys, check this shit, shit out. Oh <laughs> shit! You can do that too, oh, man. man. Oh, hey, and actually, man. look at this. I have abs and muscles too, and I have oh, a fucking Jesus. job. Crazy. Oh, scratch my back. I want to see I Shandy know. try to do that. Oh, no. She would. Yeah. Well, yeah. her. Yeah. Yeah. She'd pass yeah. out from the blood flow. I'm, out. My I'm, I'm on it, Shandy. I'm on yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, that's really oh good. My God. Oh, my God. I need to go to the hospital. <laughs> I was stretching. I just stretched my chest and my, my crinkle heart. Oh, God, guys. The crinkle heart. Crinkle heart. We need to go to the hospital. All over the place. We're going to the Crinkle Heart factory. We got Crinkle Hearts. It's not just my alcoholism. (laughs) (laughs) Rev said there was a pepperoni on my back. I was trying to get it. (laughs) No, that's that's actually just a sore. It's called a sore. Like I know you're hungry, but cook Don't pepperoni. Eat <laughs> cook pepperoni. Uh, <laughs> <best or. laughs> oh God! Just saying, man. Like <laughs> I know the convenience store you go to sells pizza, so just don't compare that to your next meal off of Shanny's back. This pizza tastes like shit. I mean, I I wonder if he just subsists from the fucking yeast or bread that is in her folds. If he just sort of like scoops it out when she's not looking. Oh, what you got going on there? What are you smoking? Is he smoking a? He's smoking something. No, I thought it is. I thought it was like a. I, well, I can't really tell. If it's like a tobacco pipe, or that's crying, what it looks like. She's eating. <laughs> Dude, well, I mean, it look, looks like he's, look how he actually is. Because <laughs> I know he's probably taking a toke or something, but it looked like he was, she was when she was chewing into it. His face, he's just like. Uh, uh, I mean, I want some water. water. <sighs> Look at this, man. Look at the Rev, dude. Guys, guys. There are three chimichangas on that plate. She has them all. It's just... Rev. <laughs> takes a bite. Dude. Hurts more. <laughs> Remember, okay, guys. Who's wearing a hat? Who is bundled up? Poor Rev. He needs need some, need some weight. You put on some weight. Yeah, he, he doesn't have enough. Goddamn fat on his body. He doesn't. He doesn't have enough calories to keep his body warm. Oh, he doesn't. Okay. Look more and more we talk about this guy, the more I feel bad for him. It's like he's oh, in a. Uh, no, no. It, it don't, called, don't. Right? it's not worth. It's not worth feeling bad for him. Uh, he is know, in this position on his own. So. I'm just trying to stay up. It's hard. Why are frozen Stop burritos so good, That's man. the word I was looking for. He is Monterey, seething. Real, the El Monterey burritos and chimneys are so good. Mm. They're amazing. 
How the fuck would you know? <laughs> They're healthy. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Frozen I mean, burritos yeah. are so healthy for you, dude. Yum. Yeah. You know all the all the sodium content and mm -hmm. additives and extra shit that's unnecessary. I have a question. Okay. Yeah. What question? Of the do you want of the bulk. Riddle me this, YouTube. Why is this still up? Why is he? Uh, like why is this? Why is this monetized? Uh, we don't do drugs. Is it monetized? It's, it's not monetized. Yes, anymore. it is. Yes, they're monetized. Yes, still, they it have is. subscriptions. Are they yes. I'm sorry. Uh, earlier in her chat, she had green names because she has subscribers. I don't do drugs. Or memberships. That's it. Wait, can they take super yes. chats? Yes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the super chats are on right now. Uh, if you if you go check um, XX's Twitter, she has screenshots of them. I mean, all so he has to do is exit full screen, and he could probably see the little thing. Yep, there it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. I know it's going to happen. Oh, shit. Lizard. It's that moment. <laughs> Lizard. What are you thinking over there? Oh, no. This has been in the works, bro. Oh, um, oh, can, oh did we get to witness this? Yeah, I hope so. Oh. So, what we're going to do... Just man, make sure to remember to hit the live button so that we news. can actually see it as it happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Folks, uh, folks. Uh, history, this is every, the moment. Everyone get your popcorn ready. Um, I got my little whiskey ready. I to take his little hoodie off. <laughs> That's that adorable. didn't sound weird at all. <laughs> oh, no. That's adorable. What? They ended it at nine hours. Are you serious? Oh, I told you. Ha. They we never made it. They're not live anymore. Huh. They duped you. So they they cut it off. Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> if only if only you guys knew really... what was coming up. Trust me, uh, I, I'm saving it. Ooh, next this time. is a secret weapon. Next Still time. Next but time. oh my really? I thought you were gonna go for twenty four hours, but instead I guess well let's see what happened. I do plans. Fuck it. She says she does plans or plants. I never took Regardless, she doesn't take care of either. I've never tried it. Wanna try it together? Dayquil? Yeah. Uh actually they are still what going the to sleep there under a new stream. I will post the link in the private chat. Please They're about that. to post a sleeping stream. Uh, no, they're no. currently doing a sleeping stream. It started 28 minutes ago. They are both curled the up in blankets, passed the fuck out on camera. How do you do that? God, get away yeah. with that? I thought it was. Hmm. I, I think that might be Twitch. Because I know Twitch um, locked down real hard on sleeping oh, they streams. Have, they have sleeping streams now. Do they? You can actually, yeah, you can actually change a category. Like I could be streaming right now, and then change it to just sleeping, and go and sit in my lazy boy and just like sleep, roll around in the cans. Yeah, roll around in the cans. <laughs> Hopefully, don't wake up in morning wood because that's the only thing that I fear. If I ever do a sleeping stream, I don't want to wake yeah. up crying like, with myself. And going, oh, hey, 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 guys, good morning. Honestly, yeah. I. Did. I have thought about doing sleeping streams, but then it like fell out of favor. It's just like, oh no, we're not going to do that. Um, the, the platforms were like, yeah, we're not going to uh, have that happen. And uh, that was around like drunken peasants time. But uh, yeah, I kind of don't. I should wear blankets lots. <laughs> <laughs> that was random. Yeah, that, well, I gotta have thick covers. I'm just saying, I don't want to get kicked off of the internet. Yeah, you never know. What <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just, 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 you, just need, you just need a mummy mummy bag. 
like women, you guys don't understand the trials and tribulations <laughs> men go through when they're trying to stream the pain on the and internet. Struggle we go through fighting with I might... own the word attachments. <laughs> I might have to roll over with my boner. You don't. You don't get it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All right, so. I wonder. Oh, that's exciting. All right. Are they sleeping? This is disgusting. Are they actually sleeping? I, I hope that's sleeping. Just get to watch Shani's labored breathing. Yeah, she's just breathing, and he's surprised he went right to sleep. That's wild. Um, you know what's funny about that? Uh, Dragnaut decided to stream their stuff just willy nilly just like replay stuff for 24 hours while they were doing this because well drag doesn't give a fuck youtube is his hobby like you know the rest right. of us hey, so like, i think they're just stealing from him and just be like oh yeah well we can stream whatever we want no you're not that interesting nobody cares but the people People are giving money to drag because He's you suck. <laughs> you suck that much. Welcome to the 2020 election, dude. You're Donald <laughs> Trump. You <laughs> just suck that much. <laughs> wow. the, fact that he, the fact that he just tolerates, like, just... Mm, Sitting there watching her shove food in her face, man. Yeah, she shoved some chimichangas. He probably didn't even bite one. He was just smoking. Nope. Where the hell he was smoking yeah, under the jacket there? If it was weed, it would, I think it'd be, it'd be okay to smoke it on, on your streams, right? If it's well, legal in your state. It's not legal in their state. I mean, I think oh, then, it. well, well, turn back. Well, actually, actually, what, uh, what allegedly happens is, uh, Shani can get uh, medical marijuana. However, she's the only one who can get that prescription because it's right. pres prescription. So the same thing is uh, if Rev were taking her Oxycontin. <laughs> he, can't, he, oh, no. he, can't, he can't use her drugs. So if he is using her yeah. drugs, then uh, yeah, like yeah, I said... I but what Those, is the actual probability that she went to the doctor? She has been to the doctor. She has refused to continue physical therapy because they make her do things. Oh, no. Rehab and walking and moving your body and using kinetics. Oh, that's a shame. Hey, anybody remember my uh, hand being broken? Yep. I'm just saying, it's kind of because I went to fucking rehab. Yeah, with my knee, I, I couldn't walk properly, and I had to go through rehab for two years. It, it's, I have to say, it's the best fucking thing that I would do, because otherwise I'd be just getting worse because I wouldn't do anything. Wait, a medical doctor knew better, better than you? Weird. Right? Fuck. I know. At least yours was free. Like oh, wait, everything. mine was. <laughs> <laughs> The, the, I feel kind of like you, know, you mentioned that. Oh, well, sorry. Go ahead. I was just gonna gonna say the the fucked up thing is like both of us got our medical care for free, but I had to serve in the military to to get it. Oh. <laughs> I was just, I just have to be born in the right place at the right time. I guess shit. Yeah. I won't but anyway, I just feel I feel kind of grateful that like I just no found kind of like. Here, yeah, well, that's that's a that's a hoax here. Uh, that's on the East Coast. <laughs> but um, uh, it's just crazy how I, where I live, I can just call. I can just literally go online, make an order, and I can get weed delivered to me within like twenty minutes. They come right to the door. It's an extra five dollars. It's like, oh wow, it's like old school buying dope from a dope dealer. But now it's legal, so it's like. Except that it's an extra five dollars. Like, yeah, I don't that. have to. I don't have to drive there or anything. They can have that five dollars. No, I mean, I'll meet my out. boy at the park. Granny's going to be forty-five minutes late, but like, yeah, right. Well, with, with how much you guys didn't are have that gas. many seats in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, no, no, no I'm, I'm, I'm talking about walking. 
I'll, I'll walk to get my weed. I'm walk, not driving anywhere. Yeah, I don't want to go to the store and ask for what selection yeah. they have, and then they give me all these random names for the same pretty much strain. <laughs> Guys, I Meanwhile, need to head to bed because it's like 2.40 yeah. in the morning. Yeah, I am also <laughs> uh, going to head to bed. Uh, we're going to play this for just a little bit longer. I think we'll round it out to fucking six hours. Why well, don't see why not? Sure. Because uh, some yeah. of you guys are on the West Coast and West Coast, everything and whatnot. We so up and hopefully the money we'll see. All right, well, I'll catch you guys later. All right. Take care. Mango, I'll see you. Uh, I will uh, see you on the show this afternoon. Ah. Absolutely. Hey, this afternoon, shit. This <laughs> afternoon, yeah. holy shit. See you, lasagna princess. Yeah. All right. Take care, hey, uh, your majesty. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Royalty, lasagna land. <laughs> hey, hey All Allie, right. want, Allie wants to know if she can join in. Allie Dean. Oh. I sent oh, you a link. Oh, did you? Oh. For da, da, ever again. Uh, let's see. Did I? I'm sure I did. Let me double check. Shani's looking over yep. at Rev like, I know you it's want to buy it, don't you? <laughs> these are mine. You can't add. Yeah, these are mine, Jimmy Chuggs. Get on your knees and beg for yeah. it. Well, nicely, he cooked those for her, like by the way. Nine, what, did you want more? Well, yeah. Yeah. Well, a cook likes to watch, you know, the people they're serving food to eat, like eat, it's like a pleasure for them. I'm sorry. But this poor guy, man. Oh, there it goes. Next thing. Oh. Look at him go. Look at that. The neck. He's still the going. Thing. They're getting longer and longer. Yeah. See, are you sure he's smoking weed, or is he smoking like spice or something? I don't know, but. Lisa. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love this one. You gave me two bites of the sub. Did you want more? Holy <laughs> shit. I mean, I like I didn't eat anything. Everybody was getting filled wow. up. Well, I, and they ate everything. Nobody even offered to give me like, I, I, a piece of something. Nobody even offered. Fibaria <laughs> scared. I got the egg custard packets. <laughs> Dino oh, oh my god. Dirty Dino Bites. Dude. The, the, the part that gets me about this is the uh, I, food, glorious food. I've got me and mustard packets. Like that shit fucking. <laughs> I, w I was like, I'm beating my head against my fucking forklift, just like laughing my ass. I wish I could match fucking not only fat photog skill, but his attention to detail, because <laughs> this motherfucker does his, everything great. His videos are the best. They say it all the time, and I and I'll repeat it. We don't deserve him. We don't. Scurvy. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, I probably do. <laughs> oh, God Allie. fucking damn it! For once, we're not. We're not Allie. Allie being human Hello. Being. You up there because you, you deserve it. How's the sausage fest going? Uh, it well, was great until you yeah, showed up. <laughs> I ruined it. I ruined it all. <laughs> yeah. um, I well, always come late, things. but you know that's that's a complaint from most men. But you know it's their fault. Um, but, at, but at least you get most, there. most. At least I well, come. They got better I'm things here. to do. They, <laughs> they, they, they come yeah. and then they go and they do the rest of their day. Like you know. You know I. I I'm not a faker. You better their, put the effort in. That's all I gotta say. Mm. <laughs> At least I'm like, you better honest. work that shit. Welcome to Costco. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Does it have electrolytes too? <laughs> okay. I don't really what plants <laughs> crave. <laughs> Welcome to Costco. Right. I love you. 
<laughs> okay, Lizard, I am here to fuck your shit up. You know why? Because I'm always why? here to fuck your shit up. Because okay, cool. What do we got? That's our friendship. Me fucking your shit up, right? Dope. And who paid like, you to like take your shirt going. off? Or did uh, you just nobody. do it? Just I just, exactly, I that's just what I thought. He's trying, to flex on, he's trying to flex on Rev is what okay. it is. Yeah, it, they're very <laughs> cold. <laughs> Which is very well, easy to do. that hard. Rev, Rev is that's a very cold hard. boy, while I am a very toasty lizard. Let so. me go get a sack of potatoes and I could flex hard. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, yeah. I mean, I was about to say, let me take my shirt off, but I'm sure everyone. Hold on, mm, okay. Hold on. wait. Ali Dean's about to take All right. shirt off. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, wow. <laughs> <Hey, hey, ooh. laughs> Fuck you. I hate hey, men. <laughs> I, I like the way you think. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name's Ali Dean. Wow, that's a lot of that's a lot of beer cans behind you, Milk. Yeah, it's for the fort. Mm. Yeah, beer for it's Canadian. I've worry. seen you a little bit on streams, and I I think I kind of like you. Oh, well, I'm just a person on the stream. Oh, oof. With the beer cans Ouch. and the eye, you know. I Damn. like the I like white trashness. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, isn't that what Get, that is? A bunch of beer yeah, cans you in the back, no matter who me. you are. The man who okay, lives lizard. in a trailer. Okay, God, you real trailer rejected trash. me. Tell tell the um, people what you said, what you, what you would do to me if you saw me on Tinder the first time we talked. Mm. I don't remember that. <laughs> um, oh, but I do you remember. Fight. Get him! Get him! Oh. Fight! 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 <laughs> Remind me. You have the opportunity because I don't remember. It's okay, you guys. Okay, so lizard and I had a rough start. We went back and forth, which is usually what I like, though. I don't like someone who's like, oh, Allie, nah. like, if you compliment me and shit, like, fuck you, go away. So Lizard came in, you know, just giving me shit or whatever. But then he said, um, what was it? If I, saw, if I saw you on Tinder, I'd swipe left. Did I, I don't know that? Tinder, though. <laughs> is that where it is started? left bad? Left is bad. Right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, it was after a couple of sentences. It was, you know, and then he was like, well, if I saw you was, on Tinder, I'd swipe left. And I was like, oh. Was this before or after? During. No, 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 before or after the comment. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait. Hey, put her the on there. Put her on there. Eh, I'd let you, you know. Okay, so when you say comment, I'm thinking of the actual comments. No, no, what do you no, mean I'm before or after? Of, I'm thinking of... The, the, where we actually had the interaction. I'm lost, but we're friends okay. now, so <laughs> it's all okay. good. <laughs> That's all that matters. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go with that. Fuck it. We're uh, all good now. But really, would you have swiped left? I don't think so. Well, you're married. So, yes. But, but I don't think yeah. so. But if she's uh, on Tinder, that's her problem. Exactly, because right. I'm on Tinder. No, I met Whoa. my husband on Plenty of Fish, so if that tells you anything about me. <laughs> That's okay. I, I know plenty of people who have met online. It's okay. And oh. it, on Tinder you... who are married as well. It's not a, it's not, a, I don't think it's a bad thing. I'm not, I'm going to be serious right, real quick. I don't think it's a bad thing to meet mm -mm. people online. Like dating apps, they're there for a reason. You don't find the right person in your area especially, especially nowadays, if you're right? yeah, but you, you get to yeah, socialize and, and actually get to meet people yeah, sort of online like when i was on yeah. those dating apps i never really had any intention to be like oh yes oh fuck oh fuck yeah, yeah. no <laughs> nothing like that it's more of uh uh you know getting to know people of the opposite sex because yeah to be fair i am terrible awkwardly social like socially awkward yeah. to anyone so it's i don't know I think it's kind of cool online because you have like the initial attraction, right? Like you see the person, there's the attraction, and then you can see Excuse the profile. Me. Not necessarily that the profile is like 100% true or factual, but there's, you know, like there's the initial and then you get to see and then interact. While if you're just in a coffee shop, there's just the like, oh, you're hot, you know, like I, times are changing too. I sound like an old, I'm, 
Am I a boomer? No. Okay, I'm no. gonna mute myself. All right. <laughs> you, no, no, no. You're you're spot on because um. You're just stoned. Like yeah. <laughs> meeting, <laughs> like meeting people in person is a lot more intimidating than online because. I mean, even when you're dating online, trying to meet people and you're like, I want to go on a date with you, but I'm going to ghost you because I'm scared. But I don't yeah. want to be lonely, but I want to meet like, you, but I'm scared. So bye. I'm not going to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> so like, a ghosting is probably like probably the biggest insult I could find among like date- like just be just say you're not interested. Don't just fucking disappear i mean why is that a thing why do people ghost like why okay so if you were to set up a date with someone is it's easier to ghost than just to be like one i'm i thought about it and i'm not attracted to you like i I guess as humans we don't want to hurt people's feelings right the vast majority of people are non-confrontational so they yeah. Like you said, they don't want to hurt people's feelings. So think about um, people want to be with people too, and then they're so upset that they're alone. But then they don't want to go meet people. It's it's this weird. Yeah, it's like I hate I'm people, stuck. but I want to be around people. <laughs> but I also hate them. But I right I, like it's I, think about a are weird like, man. <laughs> think about your uh, going to a trying. restaurant. Your your order being screwed up a little bit instead of guacamole you got salsa how okay, many what would people you are do? going what would i do would you correct them and be like i didn't yeah, I'd, 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 I'd be like uh i ordered guacamole I'd just eat first it of all it's like, two dollars extra yeah i just i just i wouldn't really bother them because they're probably busy or be like just, i just won't know, come back no, I won't, uh, I maybe but but like, like, the, <laughs> the waiter <laughs> isn't the chef right <laughs> And so the chef could be in a pissed off mood and or, they or just, just have to like, like give you the shit. Or that's kind of like, my point. Hey, like, when... Sorry. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. No, no, no. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, I was just like, hey, hey, when you no, get a you chance, go. could I get a side of guacamole? Just be nice about it. You know? And then they charge you like, like an extra $4 to your bill and you're like, oh, shit. Yeah, I <laughs> mean, guacamole. Now my, my thing is guacamole. like all four of you were just like, yeah, just Sort of, yeah, I just pass it off, whatever. But, like, that just proves that one out of five people are actually somewhat confrontational. You'll, you're able to actually, like, go against someone. So, like... Well, it's, I, I Don't get me wrong. I, I, if, it's, uh, if it's fucked up my order, then yes. But if it's a little thing like that, it's like, well, depends on what I'm having. If it has to have, essentially have to have guacamole in it and shit. No, it has I feel to be like if you worked in customer service, you have a little bit more grace towards other people who work in customer service. Too. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So you yeah. kind of like, like the other day, um, I didn't go out for Valentine's Day, but we went out a week after. And for some reason, that was like the busiest weekend. An hour later, I was like, hey, waiter, um, I haven't got our food yet. Oh, your ticket got lost. Da, 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 da. Had to like babysitters line up everything so i i don't know it's fucking shitty because i haven't gone out in like a year but not the waiter's fault right right so got the food to go he still gave us the food tipped him still like twenty dollars because it wasn't mm. his fault he still tipped the chip or like not tipped us i'm drunk still gave us <laughs> our drinks tipped him good because we knew it like you know it wasn't his yeah. fault and i was a hairstylist and i know what it's like to like live off tips and shit but for me, it was still a fucking shitty experience, but it wasn't his fault, right? So I'm not going to, like, blame him or not tip him because he still did a good job on all the other shit. But I just feel bad if I was a Karen. Wow, oh, he would have had a bad so night. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. yeah. I, I, I don't just know where don't... I was going with that. I'm a great person, so pat me on the back. Oh. That's where I was going with it. Like if if you guys are pissed off at the food that's served to you, um, tell your waitress or waiter or server or whoever it is to take it up with the chef. Tell them tell the chef my food is not good because it's not their they fault. They're just they're just serving you. They just give you the fucking food. Exactly. It's, 
it's the chef or the cook that fucked up. Usually Wilson, because well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's always about Wilson. Because it's Wilson. Fucking I mean, Wilson. Well, I mean, he's usually about a, a fifth of old crow deep. A volleyball doesn't even have arms. arms. How does it cook food? I mean, it's yeah, what true. do you expect? That's why everything tastes so rubbery. It's well, look and at, everyone look goes, at, Wilson. Well, look at burnt toast. I mean, she's a piece she's a piece of bread. How does she do she what is? she does? She is a literal piece of bread. And somehow mm. has But she's toasted cords. bread, and toasted bread mm. is better than regular bread. So oh, she's so she's a little more hearty. Do you know if she actually cooks bread in the like classic in the oven uh, way. Oh wow! So uh, she's not I, only a burnt it, toast; she is a classically baker. Is that how you cook all bread or most bread? No, yet sometimes uh, people buy the bread, bread makers. Yeah, and, that's yeah. what I use. The burnt toast seems like the kind of person that would like get a a, a wood oven and be like, "No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this. We're gonna have a brick oven. <laughs> we're, we're gonna, gonna make traditional. Bread. It's tradition." <laughs> Yeah, it sounds so Well, she good. said that's like... how she makes her bread, is tradi- the more but... traditional way. So that's why yeah, I know that's that. that. But, but... really fucking good. <laughs> but no, seriously, I um, she's... Um, I've got the chance to talk to her a few times, and she is, she is quite the lovely young lady. I always enjoy get, mm-hmm. talking to her when I get a chance. Yeah. I love her. She's cool. She's, she's always been really cool cool to me uh, when i only had 50 subscribers and now i'm so big with 200 wait 320 subscribers i'm i'm blowing up guys i'm sorry if i don't remember you if i'm sorry if I forget you on the way up but you know Jeez, no. let me know what your agent's number is you know if i remember you like i said i you know well, what's your name once you? i'm up there i might yeah. be like what's it what's your mm, oh that's mm. right Liz, Liz, uh, I'll, I'll be... Liz, Lizard, 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 Lizard. Uh, Lizard. Yeah, that's, that's the name. Yeah. The name. <laughs> Can you not see oh. that word? I'm, I'm wondering what. No, I'm just being that. a anyway. fucking weirdo. Like <laughs> well, I ladies know. and gentlemen, I do need to, I do need to head off here. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's about my time as well. I apologize to Allie Dean for <laughs> coming on here. So late. Coming well, here. yeah, you better. <laughs> All right, so. War between us. I'm pissed off. Um, I'm going live after this, and it's on now. It is on. So... It is on. There's going to be a war and a beef. Um, someone tell us what that is, or tell me what it is, so I can keep I going. Can't wait. But, um... I can't wait to see all the videos and response videos that are going to go back and forth. Oh yeah, man. This is this is going to be this is going to be great. Are we going to have a, a streamception like me and Eggs where we just go down? I'm streaming right after you, so it's, it's okay. going down. Yeah, right. uh, I will be asleep. Nice to meet you, Milk. 5 a.m. Yeah, it's a pleasure to meet you. Sorry. Did you say yeah. Milk? Uh, yeah. No, I, all I see is Milk. Wow. I see. <laughs> I mean, am I a Milk? I don't know. But okay, I mean, I saw Milk. You I know what I'd let you do to me? Wow. Whoa. Anyways, what's funny is you da, guys don't da, have the context. Da, da, da. <laughs> context. Da, 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 da. If you guys are into I video games, Elden Ring, mm. come over to the <laughs> New York. Maybe sorry for the shameless plug, but you guys have a, it was a wonderful night. Thank you, Lizard. Hey, good, <laughs> good Take care. You. I'll, I'll promote you, you brother. I'll talk to you later, Widow, and have yourself a great one, okay? Bye. Thank you so much for being here. Bye. That's a uh, milker cream uh, forward slash or twitch.com forward slash milker cream. You got uh, a haircut. Check them out. I did not. I am actually balding. And I took off my hat. You got a haircut. Don't, don't be rude. He got two of them cut. <laughs> oh, sh- you <laughs> sick. <laughs> <laughs> right, fucking Homer Simpson. <laughs> The last two. Hey, the the only reason <laughs> I took my hat off, the, the only reason I took my hat off was just solidarity. I got All you. All right, I, that's 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 fair. I'm. I have the, okay, I being a hairstylist <laughs> who did mostly men's haircuts, I appreciate a man who accepts it and just fucking does the thing. It looks way better than someone who is like, 
please, please save it. Please give oh, me the five hairs and oh. the in the product that goes to the side. And like, I'm sorry, accept it. And uh, especially the Grays men. Damn. All right. Anyways. Um, so what you're saying is you don't you're not attracted to the uh, Jean Baptiste Emmanuel Zorg look. Where you just got like the shaved head and then completely, you know. Oh, uh, um. Here, he, okay. I've Are you looking men for who the don't element? have a lot of hair, body wise, right? And then I've dated men who have more body hair. The ones who have more body hair are um, better, in my opinion. I'll just say that. The ones with the less body hair, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh my god sorry i'm sorry it, it's wait it's okay so you guys doing... with big balls <laughs> oh let me Lord. see the balls okay the biggest balls of them all all right all right ball look ask and you shall receive <laughs> I guess so. Look, Ali's like, now my turn, big old balls. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> just look, Ali Dean, everybody else has to pay for it. So just. just saying. <sighs> Damn it. I'm saying, All right. like, look, if if anybody wants a picture of my penis, they have to pay $1,000. However. No, balls, not penis. <laughs> oh, you just want a picture of my balls? <laughs> All right, that's. I'll tell you what. Uh, Oh, this is are weird. I like balls. <laughs> okay. Oh my god! If people like literally, okay, I have people who like know okay, me and on, like don't know on. when I'm being sarcastic, so I can't even imagine people who don't know me. <laughs> like, oh god! I don't like, I don't like penises. I like balls. I'm like I this like fucking slut. She's <laughs> married. Yeah. Yeah, no I have kids, kids and shit. Because. Cause yep. she knows how to fucking get it, get it out of there. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I know how to get pregnant. Okay. Anyways. Oh. All right. I'm leaving. Um, I might stream later because I'm drunk and my kids are asleep. Uh, thank you so much for having me. And um, I guess so. I'm just a drunk basic <laughs> bitch, but I don't have Uggs, and I don't drink Starbucks. Love you. Bye. Okay, well, I was going to welcome your, her to the panel, but, well, whatever. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I, I got to get out of here. I'm going to go to fucking bed. I'm tired uh, and pass out. Fuck you guys. Uh, not, not fuck you guys, but, like, I just... Yeah, fuck you guys. I'm tired of shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. You're, we're all in the same boat at yep. some point. But, uh, yeah, uh cad monkey uh gavin kickats go ahead and uh i know you have something uh coming up so go ahead and show all you want to do the show oh i don't do i it. don't have anything coming up oh i thought you're i thought you're gonna start streaming but never mind well i've thought about it i don't know yet all right so, yeah, everybody check out gavin kickats yeah. and go check out his uh channel if you can post it in the stream. It doesn't matter. Uh, go, it doesn't matter. It. <laughs> but don't don't worry. I'll, I'll, once you start streaming, I'll promote it uh, right. for real. And you're oh, absolutely. More than welcome anywhere. Um, right. And uh, sure. Widow Sun, I will see you at 3 o'clock tomorrow. Hopefully, I will be at, there at 3 o'clock tomorrow. Yes, the um, uh, 100th episode in 12 hours. So. Uh, I get some sleep. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, um, Bran from TGR will be joining us. Uh, Mango will be there. Mr. Lizard Slim will also be there. Uh, so yeah, we're uh, we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have as much fun as possible. This is gonna be great. And I um, if you guys don't know Slim the Living Cyborg, he was on Ms. Parker's stream I think earlier today or yesterday. Uh, yeah, check out Slim the Living Cyborg. In fact, what I'm going to do is. Go ahead and play his music as our outro, and uh, I will not see you guys in the back studio because I'm going to go to bed. All right. So <laughs> I'm I'm going to go ahead and bounce out, brother. But I will see you in just a little while. Gavin, hope Take you'll uh, stop by and hang out with us too. Yeah, I'll be there. Yeah. All right, man. I'll see y'all later. All right, later, guys. That'll be fun. Bye. All right, take care, folks. 
thank you all for being here. Uh, I forgot what I was going to play. Uh, what was I going to play? Oh, whatever. I'm really tired. And I forgot what I was going to play. So <laughs> there's that. Someone remind me. Uh, one of you guys remind me. Uh, good night. Yes. All right. Because I'm all about fucking signing off. Uh, and I don't want to play combat footage. Yeah, 24 hour marathon. Something short. What was I going to play, guys? Tell me. God damn it. Eight rounds. I did say what I was going to play. Did I not say what I was going to play? I need to go to bed. Slim. That's what it was. Oh, fuck me. Thank you. Guys, I need to go to fucking bed. <laughs> Subscribe to Slim the Living Cyborg right here. He is a dope motherfucker. And uh, if you haven't seen any of his performances, well, you're missing out. Because not only does he do performances and uh, play games, but, uh, well, he's got his own Discord, too. And you can check that out. God damn it, if I can ever find this. Five years ago. No, 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 that's not the one. Ah, there we go. Ratsun Khan? No, that's not the latest one. That's not the latest one where he mutilates himself. Anyway, we're going to go to this one. All right. That's the one. That's not the one. Be suit, folks.